Welcome to the Planescape, where good and evil clash, where law and order maintain their delicate balance, the battleground for gods and monsters. Many heroes have written their legends in the stars of the Astral Sea, but these are not their stories. The Per Aspera and her crew, Kiana, Finbar, Virla, and Danny, may not be the stuff of legends yet, but they're definitely rolling with difficulty. Hello, and welcome to our little planes hopping D&D campaign, folks. My name is Austin, your friendly neighborhood dungeon master, and as always, I am joined by Finbar's fanciful fairies forcefully foiling foes. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Howdy. No, no, no. We're not. We're not the fairies. The fairies got to say hello. No, wait. Oh, those are pixies. So right. Oh, so, yeah, <laughs> I'll yeah. go get them. They're they're in the other room. Hello. Okay. Everyone, Still warming best up. Best pixie voice. Go. <laughs> no. Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Go. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Ooh, that was <laughs> upsetting. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, not do that again. Well, I don't like how Welcome peach back. blossom sounds. So now we're even. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, welcome back to the adventures of the crew of the Paraspora. Uh, we're so excited to have you back uh, for yet another episode in this wonderful season two. Uh, before we get started, we have a sponsor again. So once oh. again, I will throw it over to uh, our producer, Sophia, to do an ad read. Take and with that hit, it's a pop fly on the left field, folks. Oh, that's going to be a... Oh, no, it looks like Sophia's jumped over the edge of the stadium and caught it. And she's unfolding that ball, and it looks like it is indeed, as you all suspected, a sponsor for this adventure. Unfolding that ball. <laughs> Didn't you do this last week? I've done it every Bit week, escalation. and it only gets better with time. What are you talking about? Uh, this sponsor for this better, week's adventure sure. okay. is our beloved friends at World Anvil. World Anvil Whoa. is a browser-based world-building tool designed to help you, the creator, write and world-build, all while keeping your work organized and in one place. World maps, calendars, customizable wikis, visual timelines, and more let you decide how best to build your world, and when you're ready to write, look no further than the built-in word processor. You can write your prose directly in World Anvil to keep every step of the process in one place. We all know TTRPGs are all about the power of friendship, and with real-time collaboration, you can work with your players or other creators on the same project. On top of all of that jazz, World Anvil recently rolled out a new feature called Whiteboards. This visual canvas allows creators to freely draw out their ideas, adding diagrams, flowcharts, mood boards, and more. If you're a more visual creator, this feature is perfect for you. You can chart out character arcs, storyboard key scenes, draw schematics for the totally normal upgrades you plan to make to your spell jammer, or whatever else you need to help make the story you see in your mind come to life. Interested? Of course you are. And it only gets better because for our listeners, World Anvil is offering a special discount. Just use code PLUG at checkout for 40% off a yearly membership. That's code PLUG, P-L-U-G, at checkout for 40% off a yearly membership. Thank you to World Anvil for sponsoring today's adventure. And thank you to the gang for letting me get through that one almost entirely and un- uninterrupted. <laughs> that was clean. It was, was more a clean of a, it was more of a no stunned plug. silence. Yeah. <laughs> We're just so awestruck. Thank you. I am a professional, and with that, uh, you know, I'm, i got to keep you from scoring a run, so she's going to just chuck it all the way back mm. to the catcher. Austin, if you're ready for mm. that one, the score for, <laughs> for Danny's Flames is going up, I guess. <laughs> anyway, yeah. mm. thanks, World Anvil. I'm back so to the tired. show. <laughs> I'm so very tired. Um, uh. okay, thank you. Thank you for passing it back. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, ad read out of the way, introductions out of the way. Uh, with no further ado, I guess we should get right into uh, the episode. Yeah, Hell yeah. So. let's do it. When last we left our heroes. Oh, God. You'd had a nice, wonderful party in Sigil. Uh, Finbar yeah, had secretly for a nice. long time been planning a... Uh, uh, a pseudo birthday party for you, uh, since uh, all of you uh, don't have last names or birth dates um, <laughs> yeah. that you know of. Presumably, just they're out there. Sad somewhere. little orphans. <laughs> since you're all a bunch of sad little orphans, like the Lost Boys, um, you. No, like the Boxcar uh, Kids. Y'all ever read those? I'm sorry, this is a tangent. Boxcar, boxcar Kids. Boxcar Children. <laughs> that's, that's a memory. <laughs> I don't think I ever understood the point of those books. To be completely the kids honest, when they live in a boxcar. They're, I feel like it's very yeah, straightforward. It's pretty. It's in the title. <laughs> What kid doesn't uh, want I think I kept waiting for gimmick. something else to happen, and that was my that was my mm. fatal mistake. 
I think every time they try to leave, they end up coming back anyways. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Boy, that's depressing. <laughs> Tonight's D&D episode has been canceled to speculate on what the plot of the Boxcar Kids might be. <laughs> this is a Boxcar Kids This is remarkably off topic for us. Don't put children in the Boxcar. Uh, anyway, that's it. you had a wonderful party. Uh, friends showed up. Uh, other ones couldn't make it because uh, they had obligations or were elsewhere and didn't receive the message or were just jaded jerks. But you guys received gifts you had a ceremony placed upon you it's amazing and then you settled down for a long restful night's sleep uh during which point you were attacked by some horrid yeah. hitchhiker uh yeah. that had stuck yeah, yeah. itself uh into your ship and attacked from the astral sea Girl. danny and finbar horrible nightmares mm. uh those of you who couldn't dream existed there was mm. uh, an investigation an epic fight exhaustions were accrued but in the end you guys all bedded down for a, a sleep and gains the benefits of a long rest. Uh, we pick yeah. up the very next day. So for those of you who Oof. have any conditions that apply to you, they are still in effect. Uh, everyone can remove one effect of, of exhaustion. If you have any other levels, please remember that those are there, as well as that the ceremony, which gives you a D4 to your ability checks, I believe lasts for 24 hours. So until That's correct. Yes. this evening, uh, you guys will uh, be under those effects. Nice. Fancy. Did anyone besides Finbar have more than one level? Ha- did anyone besides Finbar have any- more than one level of exhaustion? Because I only had the one. No. I only I got only the one during the, one. the fight. Yeah. But wait, okay. didn't we all get one during the fight? Oh, wait, no. I just rolled really badly on Finn that. Finbar got good, more than mind. one. So I just want to make sure we <laughs> yeah, got everyone. <laughs> For the audience's sake, what's everyone feeling like when they wake up this morning? Finbar's at two? I was oh, at God. two. I'm at one right now. Oh, you're at one right now. Okay, Oof. so that's okay. really not so bad. Yeah. Uh, you just uh, Finvar has disadvantage on ability checks until he finishes another long rest. So yeah, you guys get your long rest. Uh, however, we don't start uh, with any of you. Uh, <laughs> instead, we are going to fast Ooh. forward to a couple hours into the morning. The busy docks of Sigil, uh, the the many many different uh, spell jammer ships uh, coming into port and out of port. People are moving crates and all sorts of cargo and things like that across. And we see a figure uh, walk past these, you know an ogre like 12 feet tall and an earth elemental also like 12 feet tall are carrying like this big oblong crate that must weigh like a couple tons and we see like well the ogre girl, like, watch it uh we see this figure emerge from the crowd blue would you like to please describe your character <laughs> oh. uh yes i would uh oh, thank you so much hello <laughs> The reveal. Surprise. <laughs> Emerging. It was a uh, guest episode this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Emerging from the shadows. Yes, my character walking out onto the docks uh, is not uh, especially remarkable at first sight. They uh, are wearing a large, dark cloak that covers up uh, most of their attire, but in the very front where the cloak doesn't meet, you can see a very slight shining glimmer of some kind of silverish looking armor, but it's it's pretty well hidden. This person is not trying to attack a... Uh, Attracts a terrible amount of attention. Um, uh, should I should I give my character's name or should I leave that to, to happen in conversation? Okay, so <laughs> my character's name is uh, Hans Jaeger Jr. Oh and, boy, and uh, they are. <laughs> an... <laughs> we can't, just, oh, we can't oh, brush oh. past that one. <laughs> no, we can, we can, and I will. Uh, they are uh, an an Azamar uh, with uh, long Ooh. dark hair and just the slightest implication uh, of a scraggly, uh, unkempt beard. Uh, and they are uh, walking around the docks currently with uh, with this cloak on, trying to just kind of be chill, keep it cool. Uh, but they are, you know, an Azamar, however much or little that would stick out at the docks of Sigil. Uh, fortunately for you, you've been to some weird places. You've been to some some <laughs> kind of like you know backwater places. You've been to some weird places. Almost no place you've ever been to compares to Sigil. This is a whole new kind of weird, and you blend in in that everyone here sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, Perfect. And I think this is this is probably a little bit louder and more. What's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more lively than most places you're used to being. So I don't know if Hans is feeling sensory overload or what the sensation is, but definitely a little bit of fish out of water sensation going on right now as you pass by the docks. Yeah, it's about now you hear the voice. Now, does your when you communicate with your guardian angel, which is uh. Goes both ways. Do they appear to you, or do you just hear their voice? Do you imagine? Uh, it's it's just a voice that that Hans hears uh, inside his head. In certain certain physical places, uh, angels will appear more, uh, you know, presently and intangibly. But in this instance, uh, the guardian angel, whose name is Arcadios, is just a 
tiny little voice uh, in the back of Hans's head, sometimes uh, talking, sometimes talking back. Uh, but uh, yeah, well, I'll so be the, Hans is I'll having be the a little cool. tiny it is because <laughs> you hear Arcadios come to you as you're sort of like looking around, eyeing the ships. What are you waiting for? Get on one of the ships. Oh. Okay, okay, fine. fine, fine. I, okay, fine. Finally, I, I will go. I will go. Okay. So Hans will go up to the nearest ship in front of him. He's been kind of like wandering nothing. around, like trying to scope one out to like pick which one he's going to go to, and eventually picks the one that that looks closest, where the person looks, you know, like not halfway friendly, but like like an eighth <laughs> of the way friendly, sure. and says, you... uh, uh, "Hello, uh, my friend. Um, I am looking for a passage to uh, Mount Celestia. Could you, uh, uh, could you take me there?" Oh. So the question um, is, which up, of us is he talking to? I know. You roll up to a ship that looks like um, a branch with a bunch of thorns sticking off of it, um, and walking uh, in and out, you see uh, the, this. They were kind of hunched, so you thought you, they had their back to you, and you turn around and you realize they're a giant praying mantis person, a thrykreen. <laughs> <laughs> and they just look down. They like look up. For, they're like seven feet tall, so they're looking straight down, and then look down at you, uh, and the yes, mandibles just make the kind of Perry the Platypus up. noise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is is that yes? I don't I don't know if that means yes. <laughs> they, you see Maybe that the, means no. I'll just start walking away. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you a gesture that you could only interpret as uh, quite a rude one. Um, <gasps> and uh, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> you begin walking away. Uh, you hear the voice come to you. Some dawnbringer you are. Won't even commandeer their ship for the greater good. Well, it, <laughs> They were clearly using it. I didn't want to be rude. I mean, I'm... Part of me of these voices. <laughs> oh, I see what this... This is Moon Knight. I'm really trying oh, to, no. <laughs> to be nice and, and be good. I... I don't... I don't know. It's You You try getting someone to just take you somewhere for free. <laughs> take easy. you somewhere for free, I have say. no need. I'm seated at the right hand of Lavender. And I'm Why seated in the shift pile. What is, what's your point? <laughs> We it's accomplish be nothing kind of by patron. bickering. I see how it is. Okay, 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 fine. So I, I'm gonna go to basically the next ship down and be like, "Okay, Hans. Okay, you'll you'll be a big boy today." And he walks <laughs> up to the person uh, at the you know the midshipman or whatever who's loading the dock and say, uh, "Um, uh, he- hello, good sir. I I would request a a passage uh, on your ship to to Mount Celestia." Yeah. Virla. Yeah! <laughs> yeah oh, you hear someone shout up to you, uh, and you look down from the, uh, you're kind of by the stern, and you look down onto the uh, the docks where the Modrons are kind of lazily mm-hmm. fluttering around, like the incompetent buffoons they are, mm. and yeah. you spy, yeah, this, this previously described figure shouting up at you. <laughs> I don't think I've like actually, I don't think we've actually had contracts established in this thing because usually we go to auto or yeah <laughs> we find uh stuff in that matter so this is this is actually kind of new to virla his first thought is do we know where to get do we know how to get to mount celestia uh are is, you not usually this... accosted for service <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, well we are really. by auto but everyone else here seems to think that's normal so yeah <laughs> uh before he wants to answer virla wants to figure out if he can actually get this person to mount celestia you don't know of uh any portals but you know they might. If you have a, a, a location of a portal or a tuning fork, as well as something suitable to exchange, I see no reason why we cannot. Uh, okay, so so in in, in order of uh, the items which you described, uh, a portal, um, uh, no. Uh, a, a tuning fork, uh, also no. Uh, and means of exchange, uh, I I can do uh, cool stuff like this, and then uh, Hans will just like put his hands up to the side and conjure a little fun ball of light. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah. Just ang with the marble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you hear Arcadios come to you say, "This one demands things of you too. Do they not know who you are? Tell them your name. Tell them your station. Uh, okay, good point. Demand good point. they take you, and I will guide you on the sea." Uh, uh, okay, so, um, maybe, uh, maybe I was underestimating myself, uh, because you see, uh, my name is, is Hans Jaeger Jr., uh, I am a cleric of, of Lathander, uh, and I, uh, have many great, uh, and impressive skills that would be a, a boon, uh, to people like you, so you should, uh, take me on your boat and, uh, buy my, my cool magics, uh, I can probably figure out where a, a, a portal might be. <laughs> 
Hello, Hans Yeager light. Jr. Even when you're being reasonable, you sound pathetic. Hans Yeager Jr., what charisma score are you rocking out of curiosity? <laughs> yeah, that, that, now we're asking the, the right question. Uh, is it, it going to well, be a clean sweep of low charisma people here? <laughs> I think, uh, I think you might be coming out at the top charisma with, I what, a 12? No. Wow. <laughs> a 12? Am well, I just I that really Wait, minus 13, that actually, around? so... Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Minus 11. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm just that pathetic that it's like, oh, what a small, soft bean. <laughs> Let me take care of this poor, poor, useless boy. <laughs> well, I will, I will respond with, hello, Hans Jaeger Jr. I am Virla. It is a bit of a complication that neither of us know how to reach the destination you are seeking, but I am not one to turn down some exploration, a call to adventure, if you will. <laughs> If you wish, come aboard. An exciting incident, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Splendid. Uh, Pilot episode. Thank you. I, I appreciate your kindness uh, and generosity. And I'll just kind of like saunter on deck and like take a look around and see what the hell I'm getting myself into. Yeah. Gently cross the threshold. Virla, have you seen where the Modrons keep putting stuff down on the road? Who's this guy? Hello. My my name is 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 Hans Hans Jaeger Jr. Who are you? Are you part of the of the the, the robot person's crew? Danny, he has a last name. This is important. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. You introduced yourself as Virla. Are, are you part of, of Virla's crew? <laughs> yes. Uh, I, will let her, uh, I will let her introduce herself. I'm Danny. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Full stop. And, uh, are the rest of us, say... like, up on the deck? I, I don't know when yeah, we can... I, well... Uh, you know, I imagine Finbar is probably... But my, my baseline assumption is that you guys are in the normal places that you always hang out unless you stayed otherwise. So, mm-hmm. I'm so statistically, I'm on the deck playing with Plug. St- yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you're you're off playing with Plug, recovering from a nightmare of tra- a night of trauma. Uh, I was this, fine. I just this, fought the thing. Yeah. <laughs> this person just saunters on board. <laughs> so, like, I will huh. go and... I guess I'll introduce Very it. disheveled looking with a cloak and an unkept scraggly beard. <laughs> I don't know this that we look Fiona. much more uh, sheveled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not looking too... We're not looking all that much better either. Uh, I, I would say I'll that you all get the sense that compared to, like, you know, how Hans, like, thinks of himself, he this is the shittiest he's looked in his entire life, and he's wearing, like, spotless armor underneath his cloak. Oh, <laughs> oh you're that kind of person. All right. Uh, I see. <laughs> I will go and I will go and point out the the human in sort of the shimmery purple robes playing with a mechanical accordion cat person. I'll say that is Kiana. She was the last person we picked up. What's up? Hello. Did something happen? Oh, ich bin Hello. Hans. Hi. What's up? Uh, we... I I will be joining on on your ship for a passage uh, to Mount Celestia. Ooh, um, I don't think we've ever been there. That sounds way nicer than the last, like, four places we went. <laughs> it is a very cool place. Uh, they have uh, a cool um, citadel that I'm going to help uh, clean up and get into shape. And it uh, should be pretty cool. Is Celestia... Huh. Is Mount Celestia the name of the plane that we are going to? Or is it a location on the plane? I'm just going to, like, internally, like, uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, buddy, uh, Arcadios, is, is Mount Celestia the plane itself, or is that just a place within the plane? You hear... <sighs> <laughs> Mount Celestia is the plane. The place you are going is the bastion of the Blessed Banner on wow. the Silver Sea. Alliteration in Austin's wow. D&D game. Never heard of it. <laughs> sure. I did not. not make that up. It is in lore. <laughs> uh, so you see, I'm I'm going to a great question. Uh, I'm going to the bastion of the Blessed Banner in uh, the plain of, of Mount Celestia. Oh, that Celestia also is, way is nicer. a plane. Okay. So I've just been observing uh, this guy for like a minute now. Can I roll like a vibe check of some kind? Because Danny's like, <laughs> yeah, that would be this guy's a... Roll for vibe. Yeah, vibes, that would be insane. Yeah, right? uh, also, uh, just to set the scene a little bit, Hans. Uh, you board the ship, and Sigil is not... So it's a floating city, but it's not floating on a flat disc. What Danny, it is Danny, is picture no. a donut rotating around mm. a spire, and gotcha. the middle part of the donut has been shaved, like, cut out. Like, it's like a big yeah. half... It's like two half pipes stuck together. You've been walking along the inside of that's where all the buildings are, and as you board the ship, you walk off over the edge. The gangplank looks down over the vast chasm of nothing. There's nothing but clouds below you, several thousand feet below that you can see uh and you board onto the ship and there's this weird feeling of vertigo because now you're acutely aware that you're perpendicular to the ground but the gravity is pulling you down 
<laughs> but you're standing perpendicular to the mountain. So, okay. Uh, for, for, so, for context, that's <laughs> what just happened. Yeah, so it's the same geography to, like, the real Earth then, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Donut Spire Earth, yeah. 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 Uh, so Hans, <laughs> I guess, would not have said, yeah, uh, would not have said <laughs> anything different, Earth. but it's just the general sense of, like, like, he's kind of, like, wobble inside to side like ever so slightly like if you just look at him for a second you won't notice it but like if you look at him for like a minute you'll notice like oh man he's kind of he's kind of swaying back and forth a, a, a stay tad stay cool. please take care uh, to not Danny, fall. Would you we have had that happen before so Danny was rolling to see to vibe check to see if he's a goober and I rolled a natural 20 <laughs> a <goober>? hell yeah <laughs> there we like, go Danny's a street teen so she's like this guy this would be like an easy mark or something this guy, this guy is screaming <laughs> to me <laughs> Mm. Um, so, but I rolled a 20, a, 22 total, so, like, what's the vibe? On a natural you want 20, me to just, total, like, pull out my character sheet for you for that one? <laughs> um, <laughs> just read that. I would like, yeah. can every, um, can uh, Noir Wally and uh, oh. Red right. please just uh, silence your thing for a moment? Oh, uh, uh, just a second. I'll, oh. give a, I'll give a little wave like this when it's time for you to come back in. <laughs> Lore! Okay. Yeah. And uh, Blue, if you would like to, on a natural 20, if you want to divulge some uh, whatever you're yeah. most trying to keep hidden, if you want to divulge that to Danny. Oh, yeah. No. So, let me, uh, Danny. Let me give you the lowdown uh-huh, here. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, essentially, I, I guess I'll say that you like hear Hans's internal monologue as this is happening. Like all the panicked thoughts, just like millimeters behind his eyes. Uh, he's uh, saying essentially, "Okay, okay, Hans. Uh, not not a good past few weeks here. You were." <sighs> Leaving the spires of morning in Waterdeep, and everything was cool. You were going to go on your fun assignments to do your, like, you know, fun semester abroad, working in the fields, doing, you know, your job, trying to get a sense of what the world is like, going to, you know, places like the Underdark and whatnot, <laughs> keeping an eye on the, uh, the portals opening to the Shadowfell, and just try to make sure that nothing gets out. Uh, you're working with the other clerics uh, from, uh, from the spires, and... Uh, it got pretty scary over there because, you know, there's, there's monsters that come out. That's that's a big fucking deal. Uh, <laughs> and it goes on and on and on and essentially <laughs> it progresses to... So you got yourself out of there uh, and suddenly by the process of uh, <laughs> hops and hitchhiking that you'd rather forget, found yourself uh, in Siegel trying to get to Mount Celestia because that is basically the only safe place you can go where you can pretend like you're doing something useful so that when you go back to the Spires of Morning, they won't think that you just completely shocked out on your duty. So if I can get to Mount uh, Celestia and uh, pretend like I'm being a good adult boy and, you know, helping to fix up the, the Citadel, I'll feel like that was a job well done and I can move past the fact that I am a, a complete coward in every fiber of my being who heard basically a couple of magic explosions once and ran for the hills. <laughs> yeah, that guy's definitely a goober. <laughs> Everyone come back in. We're good? We're good? Yeah, we're Everything's fine. chill? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a great what a miss. Yeah. Just Danny just sort of very, like... Very good. Thank you, Blue. She was just like eyes squinting, yeah. staring at him, and just kind of like <laughs> chuckles to herself and goes back to doing oh, shit stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I wanted to ask... Do we see uh, Hans, like, muttering to himself or, like, to nobody? Or is it all telepathic? Your, his anytime he's talking to, much like with Docent, anytime he's talking to the voice in his head, he's got to speak. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the vibe so, check. Communication is way more funny for that this. way. Okay, later. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> Some sus, but I'm not going to really point it out. Uh, um, is Finbar, so there's the three on the deck. Is Finbar joined yet? I'm just walking out. I actually have a plate of donuts with uh, (gasps) water diving cream cheese and Mm -hmm. some dread black coffee. Uh, I imagine Finbar is chugging that coffee by the tankard. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. After last night, you see this giant dude, this fear bulb, so part giant, emerge from below decks, head stooped, and then is just holding a tray of food. Mm. (laughs) Ooh, coffee. Hey, Uh, Finbar. Y'all hungry? Goober. Yeah. Hans's oh. eyes are wider than the donuts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. We we got another one. Uh, there's plenty of donuts for everyone. I just kind of hand them out. It's We're something. taking him to Mount Celestia, I think. Yeah. Is that what? Uh, it's, is another that place. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Hello. Uh, uh, ich, ich bin Hans. Uh, I am uh, a, a, a traveler uh, going to Mount Celestia aboard your ship. Uh, and those, what, are, what kind of donuts are those? They look delicious. Those are regularly 
run-of-the-mill donuts, but the cream Fine cheese singles. from the material plane. I went all the way out there a couple months back. Uh, had that cream cheese in the back, and I thought, why not? I don't really have time to make anything else this morning, so. Aww. That yeah. is some good shit. I haven't seen anything that's good in months. You had time to get <laughs> cream cheese stocked up while we were running for our lives from Mind Flares? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are truly the most powerful of all of us. Yeah, yeah. Do not eat it. it. It might be an attack against the Dawnbringer. They might be poisoned. <laughs> I, okay, I'm gonna... Can I? What would be the check to see if I am persuaded by uh, by Arcadios as to whether I have? Would that be a Constitution saving throw? Whether I cave and try to eat a donut? <laughs> yeah, maybe Can you resist the urge? Oh my god! There's some pretty good donuts. So, I mean, okay, I'll eat the donut. See. I'll eat it right now. Let's do DC. 12. All right, so that's a that's a fat four. So Hans <laughs> runs over and just starts scarfing down one of the donuts. No, wow. no, idiot. <laughs> You good, bro? No. You oh. hear Hans muttering, no, but they're so tasty, shut up, they're so tasty. <laughs> Just uh, like muttering under his breath as he's eating. Uh, I didn't get your name. Fun. What's your name again, little fella? <laughs> I went Hans, he said. Hans. Hans Jaeger oh, yeah, Jr. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, my, my, my name is Hans. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, fin- whoa, whoa, slow down. Chew. Yeah. No, Finnar's cooking has good. an effect on people. It's been a while since you had anything really I, tasty. N- now oh, you can speak. Oh my gosh. My yes. friends, that's oh my gosh! Wow, uh, ah, so good. It's a cream cheese. You want me to make you breakfast? I really can does. make you really a full does. meal. Like, I, you know, I, I will, I will take you up on that. But uh, uh, my, my name is Hans. Uh, I'm a cleric of Latanda, and I'm going to the the Mount uh, Mount Celestia for for cool, uh, fun, not coward reasons. Uh, a neuron sparks in my brain, and I sidle over, and I'm like, I have a question. Have you heard of a spell called Legend Lore? Uh, yeah. Yeah, why? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, no, I, 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 can, uh, I can do it. I, uh, I learned it right before I went out into the, uh, the field. It's tricky, Whoa. but it's, uh, it's cool. What? It's fun. Okay, that's uh, that's really good. Um, <laughs> I have basically never talked to clerics before and only barely remembered that that was the thing. Okay, so there's this really cool guy, Enoch. Uh, I punched a dragon one time for him, uh, and he said I should seek out somebody who can cast Legend Lore on me because he has no idea what my deal is. And that's... That would be really great. Have we figured I mean, out what yeah. you're exchanging yeah, for, for passage? Because because I would I would super love that. Guys, I don't know if that's enough for everyone else, but... I, I was, was going to offer money. But oh. I suppose this works too. <laughs> in, in a rare moment of intelligence, Hans is like, yeah, that, that would be a fair trade. My impeccable skills in magic uh, for, for this safe passage. A, a gift that I would give to well, you. The Mr. knowledge that you uh, seek. Mr. Haynes, actually, it's a, our services are a bit more expensive than that. The, the spell is a good starting point, but perhaps we could rope you into a few odd jobs around the ship uh, while you're on this particular journey. I am particular uh, as the engineer of this fine vessel could use your assistance. <laughs> I, I would recommend you watch a step though. It's, it's, I, it's not I'll, as simple I'll as following her around. To Danny, I, in the nicest way possible, do I look like I will be of any help to you? Oh, trust me. You'll do perfectly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> your presence aboard the ship should be gift enough. <laughs> I, I I feel like my my, my presence uh, aboard the ship should uh, should be be gift enough. No, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm being so helpful. Yeah. Is there so a, a chance spine? that I can figure out that he's got a voice in his head? Roll an inside check. He has been blatantly <laughs> muttering to himself. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes people just do that. We hang out with you Danny. See. Oh my God, Nat twenty. <laughs> That's too Nat twenty yeah. so far. Yeah. The vibe in this go. session. You immediately get the easy. <laughs> yeah, you clock that immediately. You're like, yeah, oh. You, I've seen Virla react to Dosin. Like this, this guy's got something similar going on. Basically, like you see Hans like looking up and to the right before he repeats something or says something back. And like you know, in those medieval paintings, where like when they had like text instead of word bubbles, they had like scrolls with text yeah. written yep, out on it. Yep. It's like basically one of those, like transparently in the air. Wow! 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 Incredible. Well, the fact of the matter is, if you go around offering yourself as payment for things, you're not going to get very far without getting got with your particular vibe. So I think we're the best deal you're going to get. So our offer is, uh, you cast Legend Lore for our, our good pal here, and uh, an odd job yeah. for uh, me, and then you got passage on the ship. I do not wish to make any implications or promises that we cannot fulfill, however... I need to spend some time and figure out how we will get to Mount Celestia in the first place. So, I might need to 
do some external ex- research. I will do everything that I can I to help, you. and that will be my odd job for the ship, is helping find out where Mount Celestia <laughs> is. Deal, yeah? No, 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 no. You misunderstand me. I'm, I'm uh, going to put a hand on Danny's shoulder and just be like, that That seems sufficient enough. I don't think it. Fairly, we if can get this guy for so much really more. If really can Fairly, do as they say, I will idiot. guide you. <laughs> we got this. I... I, I will help Viola. We can go take a look at the map, and uh, I, uh, with my my immense knowledge and the notes that I have in my my pouch, mostly the notes, uh, will, will help you find it. Hmm. I like this guy's hel- energy. <laughs> Does the helm of like the have a map, ago. or do I need to borrow Finbar's star map? Uh, actually, the star map would be the best way to do it. Okay, mm-hmm. I will ask Finbar if I can borrow Team the map. Teamwork. Teamwork. I'm kind of just put off uh, the necklace around my neck, and I hand it to Viola. It's like, mm-hmm. I guess I gotta go make him a uh, real breakfast. I'll be right back. Uh, we got everything loaded up. We ready to go? Yeah, I gotta just go get the Mildrons to, you know, get their little pinchers off of whatever right. they got the pinchers Be on. nice, hey, Come on, on. Danny. Hey, you know, it's fine. They're, they do a shitty job. They get shit set at them. It's whatever. And Danny walks away grumbling. I assume plug. They're doing their best. Behind. It's fine. <laughs> I've been in their heads. They got one brain cell at any time. <laughs> we don't need to be so mean to them. <laughs> Come, Hans. Let us go to the helm. Mind the trap doors. Trap doors. Okay, yeah, sure. I, 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 I go out of my way to follow, like specifically behind Fearless footsteps as closely Aww. as I possibly can. Oh, sorry, yeah, I, I don't step into anything. So I okay. was hoping for a what trap door, <laughs> but that's okay too. I don't know. It depends on how bad of a of a dex roll I roll, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. How do we how do we find Mount Celestia? <laughs> what are we doing here? All right. So you enter Ouija into board. the dome there, and you. Click on the star map, and stars are projected all across, uh, giving you a on the on the uh, astral sea. This is like the constellations you would see, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see the the projection comes up, Hans. You kind of look around and see, and you hear Arcadio say, "The night is not on me, but the stars each owe allegiance to the thunder. They will guide your way." And you see some of the stars on the map, like one kind of overhead to the right goes blink and blinks, and then another one. Bing, blinks, and they kind of do like a ding, 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 and give you a heading on the astral sea. Hmm. It, so this shows up like on the map that Vera can mm-hmm. see too. This is just as like you're looking at, yeah, yeah, each of them, oh, okay. each of them flash for Ooh. both of you, which is perfect. Vera, you didn't do anything to your knowledge. You yeah. opened it, and then Hans looked up at it, and then a like line of light was drawn zigzagging through the sky. Oh, clerics are so cool. <laughs> is this your doing? Hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally me. You know, when you are a, a big deal uh, magic cleric man, you can do uh, you you can do some tricks. Do I even need to roll an insight check about that one? I was gonna say, like, you're I can give you the benefit of the doubt until well, I'm now. I'm still on the like, deck. You think I can't? Yeah, they're in the drop? dome. They're in the dome. Well, okay. Can that's I fair. roll an insight check because I've been giving him the benefit of the doubt until now? But he's he's being pretty. Uh... Please, please do it. Well, uh, seventeen. Ooh. Technically, we have D4s on these, right? Uh, make a deception oh, yeah. check. Oh, yeah, sure, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, make a deception check. Dirty 20. Check. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Not. <laughs> that's, oh, buddy. Yeah, no, that's not going to That's not gonna be anywhere near. We invite uh, Lou on the show. A and... <laughs> seven. And then we just got in for 30 shit. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I just played, like, the cleric equivalent of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo? <laughs> <laughs> No, Shaggy is actually very powerful. Yeah, oh, my mistake. We wouldn't stand a chance. Oh my yeah. gosh! I right, now three out we of the four PCs can see that I'm just made of glass. Yeah. <laughs> Finbar well, thinks you're all right. Vera <laughs> makes no. Vera makes no outward indication that he thinks you're full of shit. He will say, "Well, <laughs> then it is good that we have you on board. I will go and plug these coordinates in, and we can head in this general direction. I might need to ask you to come back here again just to make sure that we are still headed in." In the correct direction from time to time, but uh, for now, make your final. Do whatever you need to do here in Sigil, and we will be off shortly. Okay, thank you very much. I I, I appreciate that. Hans will look at the map and be like, "How the fuck did that happen? What did I? Was that was that me? Was that you, Arcadios? How the? I hear him say this as he's walking out the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is incredible. You are Sun Greeter. The stars. Move to your beckon. Oh, yeah, so, so, I, I guess being the cleric of the dawn also includes because uh, the dawn is where uh, stars of where the dawn comes from. Yeah, no, that uh, 
What? Yeah, that checks out. I guess we didn't. I I never did much of the, the ship flying. I was. I mean, I was usually just kind of in the, the passenger area. It, anyway, it doesn't matter. I am sidling <laughs> over, like <laughs> trying to eavesdrop, because I don't want to mind link, but I'm really <laughs> curious. <laughs> Just overhearing this poor disaster of a cleric. <laughs> just, oh, what man. if stars where the sun comes from? What is he talking about? Well, uh, assuming there's nothing else, I'm, I'm ready to set sail. Me yeah. too. Danny, you on more. Uh, Finbar, you get breakfast going. The ship, plane shifts to the Astral Sea. There's the uh, familiar rushing up, uh, familiar to four of you. Um, but yeah. <laughs> for you, Hans. Oh, man, he's uh, going He's the sensation 100% gonna hurl. <laughs> yeah, he's is like your gonna... <laughs> the sensation is like you're in an elevator that has just accelerated upwards very quickly, and for a moment everything goes dark, and then the acceleration stops as the wa- uh, ship crests out of water. Water sprays everywhere, and you find yourself in just for a moment. You think that the water was like some weird like phenomenon or something because it looks like you're just floating in space. Uh, and then you realize that, in fact, the sky above you is this, like, dark black purple with all these stars in it. Familiar stars that you just saw. Mm-hmm. Uh, a light aurora boros sort of pinks and green purples dancing in the distance. The surface, you, re- you realize that you're not floating in space. It's not that all around. You're floating on a mirrored surface that is completely of a still ocean that is reflecting all of the stars around you. So to a layman at a quick glance, it would look like you're floating in space, but in fact, you are sitting in water that is mirror still, reflecting the sky above you. Oh Welcome God, to the Astral so cool. Sea. <laughs> that is Make so a concept. Zing, zing. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yes. Do it like. And please why, beef it. Why? Oh, wait, hold on. That's a 12 plus or minus. Uh, plus two, 14, barely. Okay, yes. You don't throw up. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, Oh my god, How so close does so, he come, Why does though? it never show us this? It's always like, oh, dawn, daytime, but like, this is cool too. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Oh, have you never been to the Astral Sea? <laughs> the night is terrible. Not directly, not they usually go through time? the portals. I, well, not that not that you yeah, were there to say that to me, but... <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm on the deck. Oh, no, you're yeah. right there? She's oh, yeah, there. no, I, um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a little bit, um, uh, bracing, uh, but, uh, yeah, oh, no, yeah. usually we just, uh, we go through the portals. Uh, we don't spend, uh, uh any time, uh, out here to... Uh, I guess it's a little dark, but I mean, there's so many stars. It's beautiful. It's more than you ever see in any one of the the actual planes themselves. But it's cool. I know it's beautiful, <laughs> right? It's yeah, very it's uh, it's very it's it's no it's no dawn, but uh, it's not bad. I do not trust this one who likes the night. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how in much fact, do you um? How much do you like the night? <laughs> yeah, like, like, do, do, you, do you prefer it to to the daytime? You Dude, know the dimension is timeless, right? Dude, around his finger. You gotta ease up, man. <laughs> I mean, there's no sun in this dimension. It's just it it doesn't and time doesn't pass. Like, I we don't spend much time in dimensions with like regular time or day Technic- night cycles. Technically, oh, not night day. But I- I'll be honest. The time I spent in the material plane, I basically never saw the sun or the mm. stars. So it's a little bit new to me, so, you know. Okay. But it's a lot more peaceful out here, so, you know, no complaints. Night person, good to I, know. <laughs> in what way is that? <laughs> it is not oh, without I don't have dangers. an opinion on it because I spent the first 19 years of my life underground. Ah, a creature of the night, I see. I mean, <laughs> this is not daytime, so what the hell else is it? What, is there a night? concept of night if there's no sun? That's what night is! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't know. That's the whole point. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like you're putting it in opposition to something that it's not really opposed to. You know, this dimension's kind of its own thing. It doesn't really need a sun to define it. I don't know. I don't know. You're really hung up on this sun thing. I mean, Once well, again, it's... I step out of the kitchen in the middle of this conversation. <laughs> like, what, what are y'all getting worked up about? You, you didn't even have breakfast. You need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Wally, I, I do need to calm the fuck down. You are right, and I'll, I'll walk over and see whatever Wally. Wally's got cooking. Did you just call uh, Finbar so Wally? Wally? <laughs> oh, fuck, sorry. Uh, so close. <laughs> so, uh, Finbar has... Finbar. Uh, shit gang, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, iron really wheat shit crepes uh, with a Ooh. dash of hag spice. Um, yogurt Ooh, with what? celestial what? stardew and Elysian pears. Oh um, and freshly squeezed regular orange juice to go with it. What? So yes. he kind of brings out this giant plate, um, sets it down as the table on top of this barrel, um, pulls oh, out goodness. some chairs for everyone. Uh, wow. so now this, this is breakfast. Elysian pears? Well, yes. <laughs> 
Oh Uh-oh. my gosh, because we 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 get some in, it's the spies of, they're imported to the spies of morning and water deep, but oh, they're, they're delicious. Oh, so well, Finbar hey. is uh, walking all of these trays out of the kitchen. <laughs> Danny would like to scoot down there and see if there's a bottle of hot sauce laying around that she could slip into her pocket. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, there's hot sauce down there. No, don't ruin the Elysian pears, man. <laughs> so my. Danny, emerging from the engine room, is going to try and, um, as stealthily as possible, stick some hot sauce on whatever food Haynes is about okay, to Okay, I'm, I'm going to roll perception <laughs> uh, against yeah. this. Uh, sleight of hand from Danny and perception from Finn. Okay. I have disadvantage, so. You do have disadvantage, but you have a d4. Uh, that is a 19 oh, no. sleight of hand. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a 19 perception. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Finbar, what do you do when you catch her? <laughs> I expect nothing less. It's all right. Let me have this one. Do you let her do it or do you stop her? Do it, let me do it. I, our eyes kind of meet Come as on, she man. does this, and, I, and I'm just like, all right, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my a god. A move from Finbar. Uh, also, Finbar, by the way, uh, are you wearing? I know your armor has uh, Sylvanas holy symbol on it. Are you wearing that now, or do you have any other Sylvanas stuff going on, or no? Well, normally, like after breakfast is done and the adventure is about to start, I go changed. So, like, he wouldn't notice any of the iconography until after that. But cool. yeah, no, typically big Sylvanas uh, theme going on. Cool. All right, but there's nothing right now. Yes. Cool. All right. Uh, what are you doing, Danny? I'm, di- I'm loving some hot sauce on it. It's a hazing ritual <laughs> at this point. <laughs> you know, it's a rite oh, of boy. passage. All right. And what are you, so you're putting it on Hans's, whatever Hans whatever is going to Hans is going to yeah. Hans, what are you going for? Hey, Hans, look up there. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm going to go for the, the crepes with, with the Elise and Pears, of course, because it's like, yeah. oh, man, it was, you know, like they, they got these back at, at, at the Spires. You know, it's, it's a delicacy imported always, you know, such a fancy treat. Uh, so Hans is going to gonna go right for the crepes. <laughs> yeah, Hans. Uh, yeah, you eat the crepe. Oh, how bad? What it's delicious. Out? It's everything you remember. It's make a con save. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's kind of. Oh, I mean, you made so many Constitution saving throws for no reason. That's a one. That's a one. That's a one. So delicious. <laughs> Immediately, like you, there's that moment where you're fine, and then oh, the tears start coming. You're. Po- wow, essentially he really likes those pears. <laughs> essentially, <laughs> like at first with the tears, snot. I think like, oh my god, it's so delicious, and then I realize, wait, no, those aren't happy tears. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> Daddy will I'm, just like I'm in danger. <laughs> innocently, whistle as innocently as Danny can, which is to say, not at all, even a little bit, oh my god. Uh, and sit down at the table across from us, start eating. Ah, uh, I think I can tell what happened here. How's the crepes? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, I think it's immediately evident to everyone what just happened. It's including hey. me. Uh, <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I, I leave that up to your discretion on how insightful you think. Can uh, I Can I make, I guess, an insider perception yeah, check to, to see just yeah. how much of a doofus I'm going to be here? Uh, that's uh, an 11 plus 4, 15. Okay, yeah, I feel like insight, you, you, you know something was up there. Uh, typically, crepes don't have hot sauce like that on them hot sauce from the nine hells on them. <laughs> oh my god I'm, like I'm, I'm like trying to like fan my tongue like thin this is this is little, little, little spicy spicy no it doesn't i don't think it oh it did i did the i give you danny uh no oh actually no danny go get the milk right. okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> you might want to drink Hans is like the milk. <laughs> fully crawling on the floor towards wherever the, the milk is. Yeah, and then he like from. flings open the trap door and he's like eye level with her on the ladder yeah. coming up. <laughs> you might want this. Wow. Hans will, will drink the milk like staring daggers at Danny like I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know if I can blame you. <laughs> but I'm upset, and I need you to know that I'm upset. <laughs> Danny, are the rest of these crepes good? Because I really wanted to try some. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Your mortal body is so tiny and frail. I've told you you should ascend to a being of pure light. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it takes practice, and you have to be in the right mindset, and the hot sauce is not the right mindset, okay? <laughs> Death like... will do it. <laughs> I'll scoop up plug and like give him a little scratch and be like, hey, go help that guy cool down and send him to go like lick Hans's <laughs> face or something if he's still lying on the floor. 
Uh, accordion you, you see this, just... this accordion cat, uh, this mechanical cat that's got a, like, a body that's like a big accordion, uh, just like patter up to you, <laughs> little like weird mechanical feet, and just sit down and stare up at you, wire whiskers twitch. I'm like, oh, uh, hello, like trying to pet the cat is like drinking as much milk as quickly as possible. <laughs> Make an animal handling check. <laughs> Uh, animal <laughs> handling check. Oh no! Man, Bite blue on it the is, podcast. We just oh, met him, nice. guys. Every roll, every everything he does. We roll. just That's met No him. quarter. Fourteen. 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 Uh, so you bad. see uh, all of the little like metal fibers here stand up, and then it meow, accordions back in on <laughs> itself and lets you pet it. Ah. Okay. See, Claude like, likes good, him. Good kitty? Question mark? <laughs> yeah. uh, and then it like pets pets plug well well drinking milk painedly. <laughs> <laughs> All things considered, not the worst first day on the ship. Hans is like, I don't internally like I don't think this is worse than being right next to the the portal to the Shadowfell, but at least that has, you know, a predictable cadence. This is <laughs> This is a mess. <laughs> Debbie is just oh, like yeah. internally, no one, Buster like, Brown. Thinking back to last, because you know she just saw some of her old friends from the heap. She's like, I haven't really had anyone to bully in a while. This is a nice change of pace. <laughs> uh, Finbar's gonna get up and he's just gonna he too start much. I know, right? pulling everything together. And he's gonna say, "Welcome aboard the Paraspra," and he's gonna head back to the kitchen and clean up. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes like when I'm feeling prints. weird, I'll just lie on the deck and stare at the stars for hours. So you might want to try that. Yeah, g- good plan. I'm just gonna like put the glass of milk, the empty glass of milk, down and just like lay face down on the deck for a minute. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work if you're not looking at the. Ah, it's fine. He'll figure it out. Uh, the stars <laughs> are the other way. Goes and sticks his face into the empty glass of milk <laughs> and just gets it stuck. Picks it up with a glass on the head and starts like shaking oh, it around. Buddy, hey, yeah, stay still. I got a train. Pull it off. <laughs> it Fantastic. makes a humorous little accordion sound as the milk clubs off. <laughs> Just horrible computer rebooting sounds. Uh, Virla, are you setting a course? I am, yeah. I assume that I've been behind the helm this whole time. Yeehaw. Yes. Up at the helm, uh, when all this started, you felt the ship hitch underneath you. The ship has three masts, one that comes out of the center of the deck, straight up, mm-hmm. and then there are two that come out of either side of the ship, the port and starboard side, and are angled down. So if you were yes. to look at the ship, it looked from like the bow or the stern, it would look like a. it's been split into thirds. Yeah, the ship kind of pitches a little bit. One mast comes up a little bit out of the water as you make a turn to starboard begin making your way towards where you're told this portal to mount celestia is so presumably you'll know it when you see it <laughs> yeah i was gonna say like i don't know judging for where i am and where the the stars on the star map seem to be heading me do i know a rough eta or do i know that it's gonna be like no longer Dist- than an eight hour distance ship? is pointless <laughs> on the astral sea are we trying to get away from star parallax in a dimension without time <laughs> yeah Ugh, physics people <laughs> If a spell jammer is hey, moving, hey, don't you put those words in my mouth. I'm a pure math person. <laughs> hmm, anyway. You mean physics without application? How dare <laughs> Red takes you two points of real psychic physics? damage. <laughs> Hang Fantastic. on, we don't know if that's true. We need to make countless theorems and proofs to prove that it's true. And then once we finish that, we do it again. <laughs> Then you have to publish it, and, and then television. all your other friends have to be the numbers. exact same ones. So, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the same. But Everyone's yeah, but, getting but, their turn on the bottom of the wheel this episode. <laughs> 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 Everyone's getting dunked on! Well, that's what Vera was spending his eight hours just uh, moving. <laughs> yeah, Hans, you recover, and uh, yeah, the journey is set forth in earnest, Virla at the helm. There are several hours of uh, which you can preoccupy yourself however you would like what would you like to do so how does legend lore like work uh yeah uh it's you know it's a spell that they, that they teach you when you get uh you know higher up uh in in the, the cleric training process once you have a, a strong enough connection to your divinity you can channel the omniscience of that deity and figure out things about uh, a person place or object it's oh I mean, it's 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 complicated. It takes a lot of you know energy and and, and time and, and effort, but it's a uh, you know on the principle of it is is a fairly simple spell. Okay, so like, should we do it like sooner or later, or I don't know. 
Oh, well, I mean, yeah, it's, how long uh, does it take? It, it, you know, like, like ten minutes. Yeah, I, I couldn't do oh, it. You know, ten in, minutes. In a pinch, yeah, but uh, you I mean, do I, need I think you need some time. materials for it. Uh, but they are the kind mm-hmm. of it's the stuff you wouldn't carry around. Uh, but it's the kind of things that you presumably would find at like a temple. So. Austin. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So um, the the only problem is that I would need uh, two hundred fifty uh. gold pieces worth of incense. It, it it takes a lot. You need to burn a bunch to get the gods to notice you. Uh, and mm. then uh, four ivory strips uh, worth at least fifty gold each. It's uh, it's you know mechanically it's an easy spell to perform, but it's you know it takes prep. It's 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 intensive. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. And we can you get that when we get where fast. we're going, probably. Uh, oh like, yeah, no, at uh, at Mount Celestia, yeah, they've got loads of the shit. Uh, yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna go lie down on the deck. <laughs> so what? What business do you have? I got my so at... high. <laughs> Aww. So what business do you have at Mount Celestia? Virla's just gonna shout from across the. <laughs> <laughs> just turns up the volume dial. Doesn't change yeah. the, oh, uh, the tip. Yeah, Virla shouts. By the way, um, we haven't brought it up in a long time, and I'll tell since Hans is here. If you're quiet and listen, there is an ambient noise to this plane, and it sounds like thousands of voices in like a perfect choral harmony. But they're singing like so far away, it's barely registering. Gotcha. Hell yeah. That's, That's cool. cool. That's, That's the soundtrack of my dreams, baby. <laughs> it's like a thousand. Well, yeah. It's also the uh... at the same time. <laughs> yeah, there's just a bunch Maybe. of people. <laughs> uh, that's what it sounds like to plug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, plug just hears. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just no, the it's Meow Mix commercial. <laughs> Guys, we got this. I love this stuff. Three different interpretations of the inspiration. Yeah, still see. <laughs> I'm shocked that Red's the one who went to Cats and not me or Noir. This is a real turning point in the group dynamic. This is true. I had to snipe it out from under you. <laughs> Well, as, as, as long as it got out there. <laughs> oh God! No. There's the no. <laughs> Divine and patron, pop tart cat. cat. <laughs> if th- wow. that is, if if you are amenable to sharing, of course. If you have some oh, yeah, secret divine yeah. purpose. No, it's, uh, it's uh, no. There's uh, there's nothing secret to uh, to the uh, to the, the all-seeing uh, gaze of of Lethanda, the uh, the god of the dawn. Uh, essentially. The long and the short of it is, uh, I uh, studied how to be a cleric uh, at the Spires of Morning in Waterdeep, and I am on an assignment to the the, the plain Mount Celestia at uh, what was the name of the place? The Banner of uh, like the, the Bastion <laughs> of the Blessed Banner. The, at the Bastion of the Blessed Banner, there's a uh, a, a, a citadel, a uh, citadel monastery kind of thing where we go to. Uh, uh, to fix it up, and that's part of our, our big pilgrimage. Uh, it is a, a big deal, but, uh, you know, they don't uh, take you there right away. You have to find your way, and that's kind of part of the challenge. Um, and the idea is that you uh, you undergo trials uh, on your way to Mount Celestia, and then once you're there, you, uh, you know, you, you do the stuff, you fix up the monastery, and then you can uh, can commune with Lathanda. How long have you been on your journey? <laughs> Don't insight check that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this isn't, but, but this is not a, like, like not everyone goes to the Bastion. This is a, like, you asked specifically um, your, yeah, your, so, uh, your, de- your, your angel, and they were like, well, this thing's been abandoned. Arcadius is like, this thing uh, was important. It was abandoned. So if you want to go fix that up, that'd be a, yeah, so that'd be I, a good deal. Oh, uh, essentially, it was a partial truth. Um, ah. but, uh, Red, to, to your question. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been on this journey for about, uh, and then Hans kind of like touches his face like, uh, like, like two <laughs> weeks, three weeks maybe. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well you had to journey, you had to journey to a portal to Sigil, uh, which is the city of doors. So there's all portals all over the place to it. So you got to the city of doors and then you had to find your way from there. Yeah, so, yeah, so I was only on, on Sigil for, for a, a short while, uh, many days of, asking people if they would take me on the ships and no one said yes. But before then it was a uh, couple of weeks, couple of weeks, yeah. Hmm. Sounds like fun. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Can I insight check that? <laughs> Pretty please. Would Vera uh, know Is there anything, anything hidden? I mean, only insight check if there's, uh, is there any hidden intention behind that or is that at face okay. value? Uh, no, I mean, it was, uh, the reason why it was not uh, pleasant is is hidden information, but the fact that it was oh, not yeah. pleasant. So go ahead, uh, go ahead and roll insight then. Yeah. Good, all right. If there's anything obscured, if it's there's nothing obscured by a comment, then, you know, insight will just get you uh, what insight. All right, well, 15. What do I roll against that? Uh, deception, if you're trying to hide okay. something. 
Uh, pfft, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So yeah, yeah, this, this, total, deception? this total <laughs> boob just getting seen through it every turn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they say that Azamar have, like, you know, kind of pale, like, ivory, you know, like, dark purple or, you know, like, ashen skin, but actually he's just made of glass. Uh, <laughs> um, glass you, you, <laughs> you, yeah, uh, you, you get the sense that the, the, the no was a genuine answer, but uh, the reason why, the reason why it was a no is because Hans has basically been out in the woods, uh, hitchhiking through portals, getting, you know, falling into dimensions and swiftly trying to jump back when he realizes, oh, oh not this one, uh, <laughs> making his way around the uh, uh, the various planes for a good, like, two weeks now. Of course, to him, it feels like it's been months. Uh, <laughs> um, so from from wherever he left from, uh, he's had he's had a bad time kind of, like, scraping his way along. And clearly he's, like, you know, he's still got, like, perfectly polished armor, but he feels like shit. <laughs> Wow, that is extremely funny, but also so very funny. relatable. Yeah. So freaking funny. <laughs> uh, Gotta say, wow. great that you've kept up that pepper attitude. <laughs> <laughs> There's no right, chance that see. Hans is standing anywhere near one of Danny's trap doors in the top deck, is he? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, Finbar <laughs> notices one of them, moves him slightly over three feet, and uh, says, Hell yeah. So laugh, Andrew, huh? Yeah, uh, the, uh, the, the the gods of, of the dawn and the rising sun and, and all the, the joy and lights that uh, the, the daytime brings. Yeah, yeah, I, I know of it. Yeah, it's, uh, Sylvanas and uh, Chantia are kind of my patron gods. Kind of the same thing, more or less. You know, light, life, harmony, and all that. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't... Uh, I didn't learn much about uh, the other ones. We kind of only talked about uh, the last time. They kind of like the one Just guy the for one. us, but uh, that uh, that seems cool. What uh, what is the experience of of being a cleric, <laughs> uh, a follower, follower, uh, follower uh, of of Sylvanas? What's that? Uh, what's that like? Well, the biggest thing is you know balance of nature and all that. You know, yeah. fight when you can, protect what you can, um, and yeah. It, you, you met the crew, uh, a little yep. rough around the edges. Uh, don't mind Danny, she means well. Uh, <laughs> but well, well, I, I do she expect means. she does not, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, we'll get you yeah. up on that mountain in one piece, hopefully. Yeah, like and uh, yeah, hopefully, it, what are we paying you again? No, no, you paying us. That's how right. Yeah, I'm doing yeah, yeah. The, uh, the magic for your, for, for your friend. Ah, okay. Uh, the the thing she's been looking for. I, I, for, I forgot what it's called, but yeah. No, no. Awfully nice to you. Yeah, mm. it's, uh, uh, she, she wanted to uh, have the, the Legend of Lords. It's a fun trick. I don't get to use it often. It takes a lot of components. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's, it's nice to be on, uh, on, on a ship that was uh, uh, so, so welcoming. If uh, the welcoming was a little bit of a kind of like, uh, here's your dinner, and they pull the tablecloth out from under you, and then everything spills everywhere. It's a little bit like that, but I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's better than it's been. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. Uh, and I oh, appreciate no. your hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This one venerates the creations, those things that rely upon the sun. Hmm. Yeah, that is so, acceptable. Uh, we've Ask the others a... what gods they venerate. <laughs> We kind of have a, a yeah, similar yeah. thing with you know the sun and the light. It's uh, you know you nature to be in balance, and nature to be in balance requires light for for the plants to snack on. So you know we kind of have a yeah the the sun, the light, and nature. It's all mm -hmm. same. And that's they rely thing. upon you, and you are the sun above all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hans in a moment of of like wildly going beyond his usual like reserve self be like it's it's you know it's kind of a, a a cool thing with you know like the sun kind of like makes all the the, the nature and everything else you know possible yeah well yeah the sun's no, I mean, a pretty big deal yeah well it's nice to have uh, another man of the gods on board so uh yeah yeah is it the same sun in different dimensions like was it the same sun in the feywild when we then when we were in the material plane like what about that thing in the uh, in the in the peaceful kingdoms where it, like there is yeah. no sun? There's no, just like just the rotating order. black and they white thing. So, that's not an actual uh, sun. Actually, that's, that's a good question. Uh, Kiana, are you who are you putting this to? Uh, 
but they're just having that conversation, like, I assume near where I'm just flopped out on the deck, so I'm just directing <laughs> it in their general direction. <laughs> cool. Uh, anyone can roll a religion or an arcana if they want. I'd love right. to do that. Uh, I, yeah, I'd say, I'd say, yeah. Actually, this would be interesting to get a religion from a uh, from the cleric and arcana check from the wizard about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ooh. a it's uh, an ability that is, off. <laughs> that's that's a twenty two religion Ooh. for me. Oh, Ooh. Nice. Okay. Uh, with the with the celebration ability score increase, that's a twenty seven. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so um, Virla. You know that the inner planes, which is the prime material, the Feywild, the Shadowfell, and then the elemental planes are all mm-hmm. kind of buzzing at a way more similar frequency than any of the other planes. You can, there's a lot of, there's portals all over, but in a, you know, in a sort of cosmological sense, you can walk to those other places while you might have to take a boat to the outer yeah. planes, so to, to, yeah. to, you know, create a bit of a metaphor there. So the the sun that the shadow fell and the fey wild I actually don't know how well the sun shines in the shadow fell I'd have to look that up but Probably if it badly. does shine there uh, I think it does shine it's really dim or whatever anyway the sun that shines there is the same sun because those are the positive and negative reflections of the prime material so it's almost like it's going through a filter it's almost like yeah it's the same light but uh, fey wild is getting like the UV that we can't see and Shadowfell is getting the infrared we can't see and then everything else is the color on the prime material plane, right? So Mm -hmm. that's sort of what's going on there. Other planes of existence that are the outer planes don't have a sun. They might have something that shines light like a sun, uh, but more often than not, like in Mechanus, it's just sort of like an ambient light that comes from the universe. Uh, In Hell, I think the sun, the sky is just on fire. In Arcadia, it's not a sun, it's, I believe it's called the orb of day and night, and it's just a light that shines and rotates around. Yeah, from an Arcana's perspective, hmm. uh, yeah, it's the same sun on those those reflections of the prime material, and elsewhere, uh, it's uh, just different aspects. Um, so that's the Arcana. Uh, as far as the origin, religion goes, Lathander is god of all suns. Uh, these are all under his purview. These are all <laughs> suns. Uh, he is, uh, he, uh, his stretches, um, I believe he's stationed in, um, uh, what's the plane of neutral good? Elysium. He's stationed in Elysium, and from there, uh, his reach touches all of the multiverse and uh, imbues it with light. So that's why we love the pales. <laughs> Glad you enjoy them. <laughs> the flavor was a little drowned out, but otherwise, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm um, actually. Him. I'll, I'll just <laughs> let him believe that. He, I'll, I'll let him believe what he thinks. Uh. <laughs> all right. So uh, we yeah. we gonna be there in a little bit. Like, what's the ETA? It is unclear. Mm-hmm. This plane, there, no time elapses. So. The stars don't change, sadly. They are, they are so impatient. Do they time how long it takes for the sun to rise and set? No, I think not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from that, you uh, sail on for, there's uh, the whole duration of this since arriving in the Astral Sea to about now probably about like six hours or so following those uh, stars, Virla, exactly as you know that they should. And uh, sure enough, some time passes and uh, you see that you are approaching, the sound of water falling through a portal comes to your ears first. uh, And then you see in the distance uh, a golden ring, the color of pool uh, that leads to Mount Celestia is is pure gold. Uh, And so you see a golden ring in the distance. That's promising. If I had to guess, I would say that looks like it, yeah. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the I think so, too. Of, I mean, I've never been there myself before. We've heard about it. So it's like, okay, gold, waterfalls. Yeah, no, I mean, checks out. Okay. <laughs> if you're sure. <laughs> Let us hope it is nicer than Arcadia. And I'll, I'll go forward. <laughs> no fees. It's, uh, it's one step clockwise from Arcadia, uh, cosmologically. Does that uh, make them guys, more lawful? Uh, or more good? It makes them equally lawful more good hmm Mm. well fingers crossed so i guess by definition better than arcadia (laughs) was was something wrong with arcadia i've I've never been so i wouldn't know Uh, i I wouldn't say wrong they just a little annoying they like called us to help with a guy who was like illegally poaching i mean understatement but he was also <laughs> illegally poaching. Uh, and then when Among we left, others. they were like, also, you've accumulated 45 gold in fees from doing the thing we asked you to do. So uh, we're fine with it, but Virla's kind of holding a grudge. I am building up a strong litigation. 
Are we close? <laughs> yeah, but we are here. You might want to strap in. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shiny. You uh, yeah. approach, you guys sail towards the uh, golden ring. You're about 100 yards away when uh, you hear a voice when? call out, uh, speaking from nowhere, uh, you hear a voice come out and say, Halt right there! Oh, uh, no. Fuck not pirates again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, Austin? We're doing pirates. this now? Turn over your gold, all your valuables, and we'll let you pass. I don't believe Do in material see... possessions. What kind of spell jam are we looking at out here? Who's, yeah. uh, who is this? Roll a perception check. Who is this oh. chump? Yeah, I'll roll a perception check. Let's do this. <laughs> Everyone yeah. just roll a perception if they'd like. Everyone, is okay, this a thank frequent you. occurrence for you guys? Surprisingly, yes. <laughs> Danny, Oof. no. I rolled a what natural one. Minus one, Five. so zero. Five, zero. Okay. Five, no. Uh, 19. Nope. Nothing. Uh, nope. 19 20. is a nothing? 19 is a nothing. 23. Wow. 23. Uh, DM does a zero. Do you see blue. anything? Sorry, Wally, what'd you get? <laughs> 23. And blue? I got a one. You got one? Uh, yeah, you so did. you guys are all looking around for these voice, uh, environment voices. Finbar, you kind of tune your ears in and you clock a shift in the stars actually to your left and to your right. That classic, like, uh, invisibility uh, oh. that just vaguely warps the perception when you're looking through a predator camo style. You hear a voice that sounds pretty similar, but like just a little deeper than the other one saying, like, Shit, he's he's made us. We're in trouble. And the other one calls out, Don't give it away. You're giving away the con. Oh. Okay. I like these guys. You guys, uh, you I guys. I also like these guys. <laughs> you see, um, uh, the other one says, Screw it. We're doing the intimidation play. <gasps> and uh, over to the right, the, um, uh, the, the invisibility fades away, and you see this massive flying creature um it's Ooh. got like a hammerhead shark kind of looking thing with a long pointy nose kind of you know big long wings uh tail oh. uh, and astride it you <laughs> see this uh purple chitinous kind of bug looking dude uh he's holding a trident and he's you know he's got armor uh he's about human size he's got you know big compound eyes yeah but you never fucked with anyone like us before so <laughs> why don't we uh why don't we do this smooth you're gonna give us all your possessions and we'll let you sail on out of here with your lives I would like to Is this the Australian <laughs> No, these are the Australian gif, gif I've yeah, heard about no, before. No, no the gif no, look no. like people. Th these Tim guys are going to turn okay. to Danny and these be like, bug people. how do you want to handle this? I got this one. Uh, all right, <laughs> you, you, do? Gonna... you hear that it goes, um, the other one that was on the left uh, loses the invisibility. What are you talking about? There's no handling this. There's only going down one way. You shouldn't give them an option. You demand it. You demand it. There's only one way. You turn over your stuff. And then there you might go. be options, but you ain't picking. There's no options. Danny, I can uh, I can punch these guys if you really want, but like no, 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 no need to waste your resources. What? And I will summon really? <laughs> a small force ballista onto the railing of our ship. Shit, shit. Turn it to face them. Put a leg up on it. A hand on the knee. A hand, no, chin on the hand, and just sort of. <laughs> Blue, do you have something you want to even uh, Yeah, the, the moment where the other guy is telling the first person to be more assertive is a moment of realization for Hans, like, ha. Huh. Okay, yeah, noted. Okay, cool, good. Hans good is know. embarking maybe, on a journey of self discovery. Maybe that, maybe that is what I sound like. Okay, good to know. Cool. <laughs> this is thine allegory. Hello, gentlemen. For his manic pixie dream starship crew. <laughs> I'm under the impression that you're pretty new at this. I feel like I should inform you that we're not, so uh, take those odds at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got, you got, a, you got like a fucking uh, chicken motherfucker there. It's nothing. <laughs> we're, we're, you, we're you galas. We're not scared of you. I fire a warning shot like way wide of the ship. <laughs> 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 Boars, you want to go? Shit! The other goes. Stay cool. <laughs> I like these guys. Well, gents, what's it gonna be? <laughs> you know, I've seen like comedy routines in some of the bars in Sigil that I feel like they'd really appreciate your like em energy. <laughs> like, you go legit. <laughs> Get off! Take this routine on the road. And, yeah. Oh, we're, just, we're just gonna roll initiative. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Do we have to? No, this will be fun. I mean, you guys can choose not to yeah. fight. I'm just letting you know, uh, if, Mediocre. well, when it gets on my turn, I'm just going towards the portal. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore <laughs> We're them. just ignoring them? <laughs> yeah. Incredible. What are they going to do? <laughs> Chase us. All right. We've got, uh, oh, uh, okay. Vera Wait, coming in at initiative a is a skill check, right? Yep. Oh, right. I guess oh. you could add the, 
We, so you, oh yeah, yeah sorry. The, so add D4 to that. Add D4 to it. Uh, except for oh. obviously blue, you don't. But everyone else gets yeah, add D4. No, no, okay, no, of course not. Virla coming in at a hot twenty. Danny coming in at a uh, hot twenty-one, baby. I rolled a four. Uh, oh wow. Twenty-one. Wow. Finbar coming in at nineteen. Even at I rolled an eighteen and a oh nineteen my God. at this. And, one time, this is like literally the one uh, time all season 17. that I actually rolled a good. Yeah, I rolled initiative. an eight, but oh, no, sorry, I rolled a five, but my initiative is plus eight, and then I rolled a four on my d4. So. Nice. Blue <laughs> coming in at twenty. Jeez. Okay. And now let's see how the Mesoloths and the uh, Star Lancers do. Ooh, so, yeah. Star so did they? Did I hear Star them correctly when they claim to be Yugoloths? Yeah, <laughs> they are. Okay. Yeah. These guys aren't yeah. Yugoloths. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Great. <laughs> well, they're. I, I'm sorry. Yugoloth is a Austin might have said that wrong. They're a type of. Are, they, are is Yugoloth not the uh, catch-all term yeah, for it the? Is. Uh, yeah. 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 So they're. Yeah. Mesoloths oh, are a type okay. of Yugoloth. Oh. Uh, okay. So they're it's, like, it's like they're it's like they're the... saying it's like um instead of they caught they said we're devils and they're and if they were chain devils if they'd said that you know uh, uh, so they're okay. a type of of you all. Okay, so the star lancers coming in at fifteen, even worse than that. The pinky and the brain here are coming in at <laughs> ooh a big old nine. Ooh. Wow, Tragic. this is not going to end well for them. No, it is not. Blue, what'd you get on the initiative? Oh, I see. Uh, 19, yeah. All right, oh. fantastic. So, Which was uh, a miracle yeah. roll with the way I've been rolling today. <laughs> One of them said, oh, yeah. Uh, so, actually, we got a tied at 20, Hans and Virla. Who has the higher dexterity? Uh, I've got a 14 dex. Okay, I, Virla. I, I have a 10, so. Ah. Ooh. Okay, so Hans is up first. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Danny, quick draw McGraw here. They're, they're like, we're just gonna we're just gonna kill you and take your stuff. Uh, we don't care. And whoops. And uh, how would you like to open this up, Danny? So the Star Lancers are creatures, not like a ship. Uh, yep, yep. They're yeah. They're they they look like a uh, big like flying sharks. Cool. So Danny's head is like, mm. if I take out the ride, then they're just stuck in the middle of the astral sea. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm gonna use the bonus action with the force <laughs> blast. Uh, <laughs> they can paddle their way towards. <laughs> they can the, doggy uh, paddle their way <laughs> the to portal safety if they want. Um, use the force ballista on the Star Lancer closest to me on that left hand. Uh, I don't know port and starboard, but left hand side. That would be port. Stuff. Also, they're labeled. Uh, can you guys see Star Lancer 1, Star Lancer 2 labels? Yes. yes. Star Lancer I 2. Cool. Sorry, yes. I have it very zoomed out because um, <laughs> inside baseball, I'm recording the screen to use in the VODs. Uh, uh-huh. so, so I can't zoom in. Ooh. Don't shake the illusion. We're all <laughs> sitting at the same table. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I rolled a natural 19 plus 6, so that's a 25 to hit. And why oh, don't even God. bother asking? Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> 13 points of force damage, and they get pushed uh, 5 feet. Yeah, five feet away from the cannon. So if the cannon's right next to me, back. Yeah. Back you, go. you see, yeah, standing on the deck, kind of, you push it back at an angle. Uh, yeah, this thing just catches the shark in the wing and kind of sends it back. It flaps and regains itself. It doesn't go down, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty hefty hit on this thing. What size category is the shark? The shark is large. It's a large shark. How much real estate <laughs> does <laughs> the Yugoloth have to stand on the shark? Oh, no. Uh, well, it's a large creature, so he's a medium size, so, you know, hmm, okay. he sits in the middle of it. Where's this going? <laughs> I was debating if I want to do damage or reduce it, but I think we're going to just do damage. That would be a comical oh. image. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 if you made it... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you made the Star Lancer small, mm-hmm. so if you use reduce on it and it failed and it, it became medium size, it could still hold him, but they'd be at a half speed. Yeah, they're close. He'd be skateboarding on it. <laughs> yeah, he would basically, yeah, he'd be like clutching it like it's a uh, merry-go-round pony instead of like an actual <laughs> mount. Ooh. Oh, that's delightful. I kind of I... hope you do it anyway. Follow-up question. What if I greased the... <laughs> <laughs> it's not standing on shark? anything. <laughs> but like, you know what? He, he like slides... <laughs> if you make the shark greasy, so the yeah, person no. on top of the shark. <laughs> greasy no, that's shark. that's okay. Yep. Um, mm, that's the exact kind of bullshit I'm not going to allow. <laughs> as we all know, sharks are very smooth, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember our time in like hell, Danny teeth. is just doing some mental math and trying to think if these guys would be fireproof. Because I remember when we were in Avernus, couldn't do a lot of fire damage. And uh, that's a good question. Um, would you know, I feel like, are you trained in Arcana? Uh, yeah, actually, I have a plus six to that. <laughs> You're what? proficient in Arcana? Go mm-hmm. ahead, roll an Arcana check for free. Woo! I gotta institute Woo. an actual rule on free checks when you're proficient and whatnot, but uh-huh. that's for now good. I'm gonna roll with it. Uh, 23. Ooh. They, they're not immune. They, they resist it like a lot of other creatures, but they're not yeah. immune. 
I'm sorry, is that true of the Sky Shark boys too, or? Just... Oh, you have no idea about the Sky Shark. Like they're really, mm. like who knows what they are? Um, okay. You need a higher. You need a higher than twenty three. These are like super rare creatures. So, Ooh. but you 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 know just because Mesoloths are part of like that whole fiend subcategory. Yeah. So that's that's how you you've never like, you know. You never mm-hmm. studied a Mesoloth, but just using context clues from other fiends, you're like, okay, yeah, these guys aren't immune, but they do resist it. All right, I'll, uh, having shot his ride back a little bit, whip back around to uh, Ratchet and Clank over there, and I'm gonna fire off a firebolt <laughs> at uh, the guy who's shark. I just pushed back. Okay, cool, yeah. Oh, another natural 19 plus seven, so it's 26 to hit. 26 will hit the, you're hitting the Mesoloth this time, right? Yes. Yep, 26 will hit the Mesoloth. Yeah, that's got I would it. hope so. 2d10 plus 1d8 because it's coming through my arcane fire. Uh, that's 15 points of fire damage. All right, have two seven. And Daniel just sort of keeps standing there, like, <laughs> grinning at <laughs> the guy I've been hitting. <laughs> End my turn. <laughs> All right, Hans Jaeger Jr., what are, you, what are you up to? All right, so uh, I, I think the answer is no, but uh, is there a point that I can stand on the ship, theoretically, like, behind the, the mast, where I'm within 30 feet of everybody. I think I either need to leave out uh, Kiana or uh, Virla. So I think, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll go over here then, one to the right. Uh, so I'm not like it mechanically giving me cover, but like as if to cower. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to yeah, cast, sure. uh, I'm gonna cast a first level bless on Ooh. Finbar on, um, God, what? Danny. Danny, uh, on, on Danny and on <laughs> Kiana. Uh, so be like, sweet. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> give you a little concentration token here. Cool. So what does that do? So you all have uh, a. <laughs> if we were to assign this a, a mechanical value, uh, you all have a d4 adding to the number of all of your uh, uh, one attack roll or saving throw uh, per turn. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, no. It's uh, all. No, it's it's, it's all of them. It's all of yep, them. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, you guys uh, do your thing. Uh, I'm <laughs> good over here. Fearla, <laughs> <laughs> so you're up. I yeah, you see. Okay, actually, add. I should say, how does how do you bless uh, Hans? How does a how does a bless from you <laughs> look when you you know in, endow this this uh, celestial um, boon to your companions? How does that? How do you do it? Yeah, so uh, what I do is that I'll, I'll kind of run behind to where I'm going. <laughs> I'll, I'll part my cloak and reach out to uh, an amulet uh, around my neck, which is mm-hmm. uh, not that any of the other PCs would be able to see it from here, but uh, it's a little amber vial, uh, very Ooh. small, like the size of a size of a fist, with three or four drops of Lathander's blood, and oh. they're like kind of gold Ooh. and glowy. And then when I when I take it and, and clasp it to do a spell, it itself starts to kind of glow like a nice, like, rosy morning dawn color on Ooh. brand theming. Uh, mm-hmm. And then I'll, I'll chant a little invocation in my ridiculously offensive German accent. Uh, <laughs> Apologies <laughs> then... to our third largest viewing audience, Germans. <laughs> Last season, we made enemies of all of the Australian listeners out there. This season, we're coming for you, Germany. <laughs> Every <laughs> consonant gets their turn at the bottom of the wheel. <laughs> what, you guys don't like you, you guys don't like the nightcrawler chic we got going here. <laughs> uh, and, and as uh, as Han starts to to just do a very short invocation, the the three of you who who did get blessed kind of feel like a little bit of a like a, a golden not like an aura because I think you know, other magic spells do aura things, uh, but you you get like a kind of a little tingly feeling at the edge of your fingers for a second, and then it kind of goes away. Uh, mm-hmm. And everything at the very edges of the Astral Sea just starts to look a little bit like like faint little flickers of, of, of pink kind of coming up over the, the kind of median horizon. Not that it's there in the world, but like you see a little bit of this dawn kind of like superimposed into your That's region. sick. Oh, that's, that's, cool. that's weird. <laughs> very cool. I like that's that. That's very cool. Oh, no. <laughs> You, yeah, you reach out this, like, to all of you, this, like, pink light and this, you know, this, this warm glow emanates from the deck uh, as you cast Bless. Uh, Hans, you hear, what? No, no, do not bless the heathens. Destroy them. Burn the enemies. Burn them. Wait, Burn them. Wait, no, I, I'm heathens. not going to fight them. They might hit me. <laughs> Is that will hurt worse than the hot sauce? Wait, which of us are the heathens? I think all of us. Yeah, he's, all of us he's, he's saying don't help the heathens, burn the other guys, destroy them. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Coward. 
Not diegetically, but Hans is like, he's talking about you. (laughs) (laughs) Virla, you're up. Well, Virla did intend to ask during the trip at some point whether or not Hans could sort of hold himself up in a fight, but I guess he doesn't have to ask that anymore. Um, (laughs) I wanted to to try and see if I could hit both Abbott and Costello, but I'll just go for, I think I'll just go for Mezaloth too. Uh, And Starlancer too. What Mm, I will do is I will cast... I will cast Tasha's Mind Whip at third level, which oh means gosh. I can hit two creatures as long as they're within thirty feet of each other. So I'm gonna go for the <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna go for Mezloth two right, so... and uh, the Star Lancer that they sit upon. Cool. So Ren and Stimpy both gotta make saves. So how many yeah. duos do we all know? <laughs> I hope uh, I hopefully this one won't last long enough that we run out. <laughs> this is intelligence oh. saves. Yeah, for the both of them. Okay. Star Lancer Good luck, rolls Statler and Waldorf. <laughs> Damn it, that was going to be mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had a bunch and I decided that's a... Oh, no. Rosencrantz and Gilderstein. <laughs> that was no, don't use them all now. <laughs> don't use them now. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't waste them. Save them for your turn. Save it for oh the God. pod. Save yeah. it for the pod. Okay, bird <laughs> turning. That's my last one. Sorry. The Mesoloths have magical resistance, so they roll advantage, but they also have a minus two intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, my God. They rolled really good, but I still think they're going to fail. 14. Yeah, fails. Woo! Yes. <laughs> All right, so yeah, both of these, both, both of these guys get uh, mind whipped. I'm, I'm, no, I'm getting, I'm getting one of the Mesoloths and the Star Lancer because like it's yes, they, yes. They have... both the Star okay. Lancer and the Mesoloth got mind whipped. Gotcha. Cool. All right, so they take thirteen. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, thirteen, 13 to both of them. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's not bad. And it can only choose an action, a bonus action, or movement. On, uh, when it moves, when it's its turn next, and they can't take reactions. So, actually, on that point, is it my movement or an action to move the spell jammer? Oh my goodness! Um, <laughs> do, 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 let me double check my. Because I know, oops. I, I, I think it might be my movement because I can take an action to dash. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It just uses your movement. Okay, that's okay then. I won't, I won't move. So when I'm captaining the spell jammer, can I do the uh, the movement action and bonus action dash? Ooh. Yep. Yeah. 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 Eventually, oh, you get exhausted. Yeah, you exactly. would be faster. There's exhaustion rules. If you do, if you dash for too long, you'll get exhausted. Um, so it, the same thing applies. It's just mental strain instead of physical strain. But yes, theoretically, if you need to go really fast, Kian is actually the person who can move the ship the <laughs> fastest <laughs> over a short period of time. Uh, not oh, okay. Good to know. Hopefully, I'm shifting right. into <laughs> maximum <laughs> overdrive. <laughs> Finn, you're up. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna sort of hold the shield in one hand, pull out Leyland, and I'm, I'm gonna whisper into my coat and I say, go help Kiana. Um, oh, as the pixies oh. fly out, and I'm gonna cast Fairy Fire on Mezaloth and Star Lancer 1. Okay, Dex is No, you both have to um, name a duo whenever you're gonna attack. <laughs> oh, one horse Gromit. Hey. Nice. <laughs> Hot damn. Okay. Uh, all right. Star Lancer is going to make a dex save. Natural one. <laughs> this goes away. And then the Mesoloth makes us at advantage. Nine. Both fair. So Both these the guys pixies. just light up. What color? What is your... Um, what does it look like? Your it looks like favorite. a couple of pixies, you know, pulling out their hair, scales, <laughs> armor, and everything just bothering them. Oh, it's just incredible. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, they can't turn invisible again. again, and uh, attacks have advantage. Cool. Yeah, these two just get plastered with light. Attack rules against them are going to have advantage. They're concentrating Finbar. You hear the the first one who got mind move goes, Ah, oh, they fucked me. I can't think. <laughs> Help. And then the other one goes, It's too bright. <laughs> Kiana, kill them, please. Wait, okay. I still have a bonus action. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry to, please. Please. Oh. Uh, I'm going to uh, activate my starry cry. form and uh, take the form of the dragon. Oh, Sweet. So, dragon appears uh, as constellations on my shield. Uh, and be like, yeah. Uh, and I'll turn to Hans and be like, yeah. I command the stars as well. Oh! <laughs> that is cool as Hell shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right. It's kind My of turn. cool. <laughs> yeah, it's yours, Kiana. <laughs> Ooh, divine approval. All right, I'm going to hop up on this banister right here. Uh, it won't let me go exactly on the line, but you know how I am. Yep. My slippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Yep. Um, You're good. And I'm going to, uh, well, first things first, uh, I'm going to, just for funsies, these guys seem pretty squirrely. So what I'm going to do is both 
my my astral arms and my visage of the astral self, which gives me advantage on intimidation checks. Hell yeah. Um, and I just think it would be funny to flash him a nice, big, scary face mask. Just friendly smile, you know. What the hell are you? It's freaky. Hey. You're too bright. <laughs> oh, boy. Duck okay. saves. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, they gotta make them some, uh, yeah, DC. Actually, it's gotta be, uh, 16 because it's a monk ability, so my belt raises the DC by one. Correct. Does a three or a four save? <laughs> no! <laughs> I, I promise right. these guys actually have decent stats. I'm just not rolling oh, yeah, for sure, shit. <laughs> sure. Well, they take, uh, seven it's points of force Hans damage. There. Um, and let's see how much damage I can deal to Fezzik and Inigo over here. Yes. Um, all right. And these I have advantage on these guys because of the fairy fire? Yep. And a D4 from Bless. Is that on the two hit roll? Yep. It's on the D20, not on your damage. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's start. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm punching the uh, the rider. I feel like the, uh, the steed is probably not so much at fault here. So we're going to start with the rider. First attack, first roll. Oh, well, I mean, I'm guessing a 21 is going to hit, but I'll roll again just in case it crits. I'm guessing a 24 definitely hits. Please hold while I pick up the dice. Yes. So that first one is going to be d6 plus 4 force damage, 10 points of force damage on the first hit. Second hit, first roll. Uh, does a 17 hit? It will not hit the mesolite. Okay, well, I have advantage, so I'm going to try again. Oh, yeah, also ah, you get a d4, worse. so. Yeah, I added the d4. Okay. Uh, well, that second one was worse, uh, so we're going to flurry of blows. Like, uh, um, use the bonus action to uh, uh, activate the astral arms. Oh, you're so right. I guess I can't flurry of right. blows. I don't know. What does an intimidation check do? <laughs> Could be funny. Yes. Oh, you want to go Go ahead and roll intimidation? I mean, I've never done one before. <laughs> be scary, I'm not Kiana. a particularly intimidating person. Um, so that first one would have been, I think, 17 total. 17? You roll up on him, rubbing his big bug eyes. You get up close, uh, pound on him. Uh, he opens his mandibles and lets out this shriek. Uh, and then you see your astral face just like opens cavern, like this cavernous <laughs> void kind of thing for a moment. Uh, and he just shrinks back. He's not mechanically afraid, but you scared him. Yay. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Now it is the baddies turn. Ooh, no. And the uh, <laughs> they're actually going, they're, they go together. So I'm just going to have them. I'm going to lump them together for simplicity. So uh, first we got Timon and Pumba over here. Nice, nice. <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> uh, this one's good. They're going to move into melee. First, the uh, the Star Lance is going to make an attack on Kiana with its horn. Okay. Dirty 20 to hit. Well, that will hit. And then that is uh, five piercing damage. Ouchies. The Mesoloth will make an attack with its claws and one with its trident. This is a, no, 13 will not hit. No. Uh, and a 14 will not hit. No. So yeah, you see, yeah, uh, just the Star Lancer comes in and swipes you, but the Mesoloth isn't able to like, get any purchase. Uh, and then the Star Lancer is gonna use flyby and fly without provoking any top, uh, opportunity attacks. <gasps> it's gonna How fly, dare. so it's five, whoops. There we go, fly up over there. What? And then They're grouping uh, up. this one is going to fly at Danny. Ha. Uh, it can only move 10, 15. Uh, so it's gonna move there, and then the Mesoloth is going to make uh, attacks. It's been mind whipped, right? Uh, yeah, so the, the Star Lancer is moving. The Mesoloth is attacking. Oh, mm. sneaky, 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 sneaky. So. They're each okay. getting the one uh, thing they can do. I guess that's fine. You're going to have to mind whip them harder next time. <laughs> All right, Danny. Mm -hmm. First claw. Uh, it's a 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll Ooh. hit. And take 11 slashing damage. Ouch. Oh. And then the trident uh, is only a 14 to hit. That won't hit. Okay. And then is going to continue moving. Fly up over here. There we go. And that will end their turns. Danny, you're up. Yeah, all right. Well, Beavis and Butthead over here have had enough time, so let's keep it going. <laughs> Guys, I got a list of, like, 15 duos. I'm ready for this fight to last forever. <laughs> I hope okay. y'all are ready for my next one, because it's going to be a reboot reference. Ooh, Nobody else is going to get that one. <laughs> Go. It's for the six other people in the audience who I've managed to indoctrinate. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so I'm going to keep going for the... Uh, Sky Lancer, I was I was doing the work to last time. I think it was believe it was two, uh, with the Force yep. Ballista. So that just like mm -hmm. on its little chicken feet, just like pivots around like and locks in, <laughs> uh, and it's gonna fire off 
a force ballista shot with my bonus action. Okay, uh, that is a 17 to hit. That will hit. Okay, okay, okay. Didn't my 17 miss last time? Nah, uh, you were attacking the Mezaloth. Oh, my B. Uh, that is 12 points of force damage and he gets pushed five feet back. And then with five my feet, action, uh, <laughs> having seen that the fire attack did nothing, Danny, who now has an alternate option, will whip out <laughs> the pistol from last time. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and uh, take aim um, at the cool, Yugoloth as a 19 to hit. That will hit. Ooh, pretty good. Uh, nine points of piercing damage. Okay, that's half to four because he resists non-magical uh, piercing damage. Uh, <laughs> he, Danny can't catch a break. You know that bit in Full Metal Alchemist where Hawkeye's like, bullets don't work on anything these days. <laughs> <laughs> What's the goddamn point? Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'll use my movement. Let's see. I'll get uh, right up to, ha- to Haynes here. Oh, hey, you got anything to use against uh, Bill and Ted, or are you just going to stand there the whole time? <laughs> And, uh, and Ted, great I, heroes I, from, uh, I, 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 from the Prime <laughs> Material Plane. Yes, <laughs> legendary. And that will end my turn. Yeah. Their preachings okay. of be most excellent to each other uh-huh. have made it all the way to the hallowed halls of Mount Celestia. Yeah. Can we have them as warlock patrons? This uh, is very important for any characters I build yes. in the future. No, but you could have George Carlin in that uh, movie uh, as a warlock <laughs> patron. Oh, uh, I forgot to draw on the cannon earlier, but it was just next to where Danny was standing, so that's where the force Fantastic. Hans, you're up. Okay, so I'm like a character with no combat sense whatsoever. Uh, sees these things flying around, gathers that fire doesn't work on them super well. Correct. Okay. Uh, Hans is like, okay, most of the stuff that taught me was fire. Okay. Hey, okay, me okay. too. Sing, 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 hey, sing, sing, sing. Hey, hey, have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Hans is gonna like, like pure moment of panic. Look at the uh, the little um, uh, para guys over here, Archduke, Franz Ferdinand, and Gorilla <laughs> Princip, and cast Guiding Bolt. <laughs> cool. Uh, A classic what pairing, no? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the most blue reference you could have done. Yeah, uh, really. Which monster specifically are you targeting? Because you can only hit one which, with that. Yeah, uh, I'm going to target the, uh, the the Star Lancer again. Uh, the, the Assume... Get the rider, or get the ride, knock off the rider. Uh, so I'll go with uh, a okay. second level um, guiding bolt, cool. which is. Star Lancer uh, 2 down here? Yeah, cool. number two. So many tabs you guys are dealing with, guys. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I have three well, yeah, devices my hell. running simultaneously. I also simultaneously. have to deal with <laughs> multiple I have monsters. Three monitors. Multi track drifting. Rules. <laughs> yeah, so I will uh, roll for that. It's plus eight to hit. Uh, that's a 14 plus 8, 22. Nice. 22 will hit. Okay, and that is uh, 5d6. So that's yeah, it. 5d6 oh. radiant. Um, 4 plus 4, that's 9 plus 4, 13 damage. Cool. Uh, the Star Lancer resists mm-hmm. radiant damage, so instead you deal 6 uh, points of radiant. Interesting. Oh, no. So oh, okay. Hans, like, basically what happens is, you know, the, the Star Lancer flies around, and then Danny's like, you got anything? And Hans is like, yeah, kind of like points, and it's like, <laughs> with, 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 with a small sheepish yelp, and just a little, little blast of, of light shoots out uh, from, from his hand. Uh, it, it manages to, of course, land on target, but it doesn't really... It's like, you know, the difference between like like a hard light or like a lightning bolt and like shining a flashlight on someone, <laughs> it's like halfway between those two. But okay. a guiding bolt yeah. doesn't it provide advantage on later it, attacks? The next yes, attack, attack. roll against it will have yeah, advantage. So yeah, you see it lights up, but uh, yeah, it sort of absorbs some of what you expect to, um, especially since these things are being ridden by fiends, it's kind of mm-hmm. weird that this creature seemed to resist radiant damage, which is typically like a godly thing to do. Yeah, Red, you know that Hans wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Fearlo, what would you like to do? <sighs> Again, I would have liked to get them both, but I will settle for just one of them. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, bonus <laughs> action, pop Bing out. Yes, good. And I will sort of angle him sort of on level with uh, the rest of the crew. And the intent is to sort of angle the line of sight upward so that it would hit both uh, the yep. second Mesoloth and Starlancer yeah. 2. You're gonna both. Yeah. Lighting bolts. 
Okay. This uh, might not be the best, but I'll try dexterity saving. They, they, they got to do dexterity saving for this. We're slowly figuring out uh, what all their elemental is a, immunities are. Mm. It is a 19 against... Uh, the Star Lancer makes a 19. Okay, that succeeds. Uh, the Mesoloth is going to roll an advantage and only roll a 14. No. Uh, that fails. Okay. Nice. All right. Uh, I only do it at third level, so it's only only 86. Only eight. Did you name a duo when you attack? Because that's the key to success in this game. <laughs> oh, uh, I only get red, not blue. Ooh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Inspiration. <Whoa>. Meta. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 24 for the Mesoloth. Yeah. Uh, at 12 for the Star Lancer. Oh, Ooh, nice. almost take the Star Lancer out, but not quite the Mesoloth. So, also lightning. Uh, resist lightning, so uh, Damn it it all does. Right. Oh, Of course. Okay. Everything. <laughs> Not yeah, force, though. Yeah, bright and warm. Extra force planar is creatures get get weird with all that. Yeah, so yeah, the lightning bolts just arcs, uh, you know, shoots up and <laughs> often yeah. illuminates the the night sky. There's a lot of indistinct chattering in. Um, actually, what do what do, they, what do they speak? Since they're feed, they speak. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they have no native tongue really, so they, they'll <laughs> he'll jabber it off in abyssal. Does Dosa know abyssal? Do any of us know abyssal? Uh, I don't know. Check um, your languages. Does anyone um, know abyssal? Nope, I do not know no, abyssal. Dosa no. does not. I'm nope. checking. Don't think so. No, nope. interesting. No, nope. oh, yeah. But they could be, if yeah. they were speaking celestial or undercommon, we'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also speak celestial. Ah. I mean, like, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just hear a shout out like, dynamic thoughts, bah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> uh, Finn, you're up. He's oh, still trashing these fuckers. <laughs> So Finbar's watching these guys just fly around. He's like, okay, all right, y'all need to calm down. Um, and he's going to shoot out a vine whip. Try to pull one off. Uh, so this is going to Batman of Batman and Robin. Uh, Mezzaloth ah, one. Nice, nice. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Uh, that's a nat 20. Ooh! <laughs> Finish it. Okay, 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 2d6. Okay. No. Woo. But you are going to get to, you know, add max damage on this, so. Yes. 12 plus 9 is 21 piercing. Damn. And he's pulled how far? Uh, 15. Uh, no. It's 10 feet closer to me. That's Ooh. enough to pull him off the Star Lancer. Yeah. You see a vine erupts from, I guess your spellcasting focus, where he reaches around and just pulls this thing off. Uh, separate, uh, separating Tweedledum from Tweedledumber, uh, just <laughs> thump, hits the deck, uh, and then looks up at you, uh, scared as shit. <laughs> um, Still actually, glowing bright from your uh, your what do you call fire. it? Your fairy fire. Yes. Um, Bonus and I needed to make a strength save. Terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, Very huge. Low. Um, so I'm going to send action, him an additional 15 feet towards Kiana. Yeah. Like, uh, stop running away. Yep. He's been yoked. Oh, Get already. over here. The pixies yeah, just delicious. track him. Uh, he starts swatting at them. He's got four arms, by the way. So he's having a hard, even even so he's having a hard time swatting these things. I'm hoping these Star Lancer things aren't inherently uh, evil because I kind of really like them. <laughs> uh, oh, true. Sweet, Keanu, what would you like to do? It's well, uh, now that Hack has been separated from Slash, I'm gonna roll up and start punching. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I got that, but I know. <laughs> okay, I, I really don't need to be in range of him, but eh, it's fine. All oh, right, Fairy Fire still. So with advantage, advantage and with the D4, and roll with guidance, number yeah. one. Oh my God, Nat twenty. Let's Ooh. go. Fuck him up. Fuck okay. Him up, fuck him up, well, fuck I mean, up. that adjusts to a twenty-nine, but like, who needs it? Uh, okay, so it's max roll plus. Is it, yeah, does so. it when when you double it? Does that include the bonus to the die that I? No, oh. so it's a okay. d6 plus four normally, so you're gonna add a d6 plus four plus, plus six, because that's the max, yeah. Okay, so 1d6 so plus, plus 10. Plus 10. Yep. Ah, 16. Four <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Woo Thank you, uh, sparkly blue dye. Haven't failed me yet. Well, that's not true, but that's okay. Um, all right, ah, Jesus, we're good. Um, okay, second hit, okay, that's a lot worse. Uh, that's a 15, but I'm gonna, I, it, it's an advantage, so roll two of two. I might. Should I stop using this die? That's a second Put nat 20. Put it in timeout. Or no, yes. keep that well, one. If they're good, why would you stop using them? I just person? don't want to, like, okay, fine. It just feels a little fine. Take All right, 26 plus 10 dark. again. I've seen you roll terribly pl plenty often. You're allowed That's to roll certainly good true. Yeah. All right, d6 plus 10. Uh, okay, 13 force damage that time. All right. This guy's one more of those he's not going to take. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, key point. Flurry of blows. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> At advantage, roll one of four. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, 22 to hit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me roll again just in case I crit. Nope. But it was close. Just imagining. Oh, this D20 is terrible. It's just a ball with a 20. <laughs> All 20s, yeah. Uh, that's nine points of force damage. I finish him. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I just do the full, like, slow mo Mortal Kombat KO uppercut. Yeah. <laughs> you do the uppercut. Uh, Fatality. You now, actually, here's a question. I know that devils turn to smoke, demons turn to ichor. Yeah. Uh, Wally, do you happen to know what Yugoloths turn to when they die? I actually have no idea. Wow. All right, we're going to say it's they a combination of the two. It's kind of like, yeah, like a wet sludgy dust. Oh. Uh, this thing just, just, fortunately it's your astral arm so you don't get all over you, but yeah, this thing, uh, Scott Pilgrim style, uh, just <laughs> smashes into bits. Incredible. And uh, like Scott Pilgrim does, goes, style, gets teleported <laughs> back home, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah, it goes back to uh, Hades. Perfect. Is that it, Kiana? You got anything else in, in the tank? Well, uh, let's see. I moved like 10 feet. I don't suppose I can use the rest of my movement to try Why and close not? with... Well, I guess I can. All right. Let's go check out uh, you gonna go for Miss uh, Piggy over here. I was going to say, you're going for Ratchet or Clank. Um, I think we've already used well, Ratchet I, or Clank. Um, you're gonna did need, we? Yeah. You're yep, going for Banjo my... or Kazooie? There we go. Oh, there we go. I think, that was my next one. I think one. I'm still going for Kazooie. I got nothing against these space shark <laughs> things, but let's see if I can even close the distance. Uh... I want to say I only had to move like five or how far did I? You know what? Uh, it's fine. 10 feet. I think I had to move 10 because he got off the railing. Okay. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh my, 45. I can just make it in time to try my last and final punch. All right. Punch number four, but I don't have advantage on this guy, right? Nope. Just straight, but you do get the D4. Okay. Hacha. Uh, that's a 27 to hit. <laughs> That'll hit. Holy okay. Shit. D6 plus four. Come on, Diana. Eh. Only six points of force damage this time. Uh, you, you see, you explode the one bezel off. Uh, what? the other one, uh, the, the first, oh, no, you explode the first bezel oh, off. Uh, okay. and then this one shouts out, No, brother! And then you just deck him in the face. <laughs> 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 Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I don't know Good why stuff. this spike turned out way funnier than I thought it was going to be. Um, how how much were you committing to the bit of what? these two are just like a, a bad comedy duo? <laughs> uh, I kind of knew they were going to be goofy, but is that in your turn? Uh, yeah, I think um, that's that's about me done. <laughs> All right. Well, seeing as one half of Chip and Dale is gone, um, <laughs> you see, uh, <laughs> this one is going to point down. Back my words. You've been an enemy this day. We'll be back for you. We'll be back for you and your little cat too. <gasps> How dare! Uh, and then he's just gonna make some quick attacks on Kiana in a desperate attempt to get anything done. Claws did uh, only eleven, but it was a crit on the trident. Ooh, that's not good. So right. here we go. So, uh, so that seven plus eight is uh, fifteen points of piercing damage. Ouch! He goes, ha ha, sucker! Uh, and then just turns invisible <laughs> like a fucking coward. Um, and uh, you hear the wings flapping away. The other Star Lance is going to do the exact same thing. Just, no, come uh, back. Use, use its action to, to turn invisible. You. <laughs> Incredible. And dip. Yeah, good job, guys. I, I like I like wow. enemies that have morale and can dip. Uh, yeah. Not everything <laughs> fights to the death, you know. Can I run through my yeah. list of alternative duo names that we did get to? Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Spike and Bulk, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Thelma and Louise, Bert and Ernie, Phineas and Ferb, Shaggy and Scoob, Waluigi and Wario, or alternatively Mario and Luigi, but we know inherently one of those duos is more comedic than the other. Ron and Rufus, right. Luna and Artemis, R2 and 3PO, Ice Climbers, Goose and Maverick, Samwise and Frodo, Beaker and Bunsen, Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg, and I think my personal favorite, Mungo Jerry and Rumpel Teaser. Thank oh. you and good night. Nice. <laughs> I thought I, You didn't have Rocky and Bullwinkle on there? Someone Come said on, it already, man. I thought. Really? I took. I no, took. I, don't I think had. Rocky and Bullwinkle, I had we? Chippendale on there. I had Batman and Robin on there, uh, and there was one more that I took off because someone said it. But I'm ready. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> prepared. I was going to use was uh, Henry the Eighth and any wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good too. <laughs> oh, fantastic! All right, yeah. So... Sonic and Knuckles was also Ooh, on my list. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles. 
Sonic and Tails? Uh, yeah, I was no. gonna say, Sonic, Sonic and a too. human woman. No, no. <laughs> that that came retconned itself out of existence. You don't bring it in here. Okay. Come into Fair my enough. house, my Sonic soldier. Sonic and ugly Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, Vera was um, just gonna keep yeah, going just, towards the yeah, portal. I guess we're just going. <laughs> well, that not was really, <laughs> not really phased by that. Fantastic. All right, yeah, you guys just keep sailing without missing a beat. Uh, Hans, I mean, how do you feel about all that? Hans is currently cowering behind his shield with his back against the mast, <laughs> like. And this is chill for you guys. You clearly have Actually, not been in a lot good. of scrapes. Yeah, it's par yeah. for the course. And you're uh... a quick warm up. Cleric? What domain are you? Aren't clerics usually, uh, like, well, quah, fighting and all that? <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, sometimes, I mean, we, 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 we know some, like, you know, attacks and spells and stuff that shoots, but, like, all the, the spells I have are, like, we shoot lights, we shoot fire, and these guys were bad for ease of that, so. Mm, um, we do a lot of, uh, of, of, of healing. Um, Ooh, but, healing! Uh, oh, that sounds good right now. <laughs> do, you, oh, do you do do you need do you need some? Uh, some not things? to impose, but like if I had to put a number on it, we're at like a solid fifty percent right now. <laughs> oh yeah, no, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That last yeah. stabby uh, did we, a number. <laughs> we we also have plenty of utility spells, which are really good in a pinch. Uh, okay, <laughs> then Hans is gonna walk over and uh, uh, do. Okay, uh, Red, how much health do you need? Because it depends on how high uh, of a like a uh, solid like I'll... twenty hit points would be nice. But you know, I'm, I'm not picky. Gotcha. It'll probably get chewed through by whatever nightmare we face in your magical paradise dimension anyway, so. Yeah, okay, I'll use uh, healing hands for uh, for 44, and then I'll do another one if we need to. Ooh. Um, 44, so that is, yeah, heck. I fell, <laughs> I ran away to crime. Uh, okay, that's uh, six plus, no, seven plus four, 11 points. So how much more do you need after that? I can't do math. Nine. <laughs> But you thanks. See, yeah. <laughs> you see Hans come over and like put uh, his hands out, and uh, there's no spell. He doesn't do uh, any of the like. Usually, there's verbal, somatic, or material components. There's no wiggly fingers or spoken word. He just holds his hands out, and they glow, and your uh, spear wound starts to close. Ooh, that's really okay. fancy. Mm. Uh, and then I'll also cast after that uh, cure wounds for uh, five points of healing. Because um, I rolled a one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically what happens is like Hans like puts a hand on your shoulder, takes it off, puts it back. Except it feels like it feels like half as strong as the last one is like, okay, I, I mean, I guess I can use that last one again. Yeah, we're, but, we're uh, good. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, hey, Danny, and, uh, how are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, on, me? Thing. Yeah. Uh, need a little bit. I could use a little bit of, you know, Shark Boy and Lava Girl did a got a hit on me. But <laughs> that was also on my list. Flash and <laughs> speed, you know, the whole classic duos. We're all familiar. Uh. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll walk over to. Uh, I'll no, walk over it's to, all right. I, um, I got this one. Danny. Um, oh, and I'm okay. going to pump a uh, second level Cure Wounds. Uh, it's going to be 19. Oh, Aww. not to flex or anything. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, uh, Hans is gonna walk back over to <laughs> Kiana and just one more time just be like, Okay, and that is the last five because I rolled a one again. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I feel good. Actually, great. wait, that was a d4. So, okay, well, that was a two. Okay, yeah. Uh, so it's, that, it's, that, it's good. It's fine. That, Thank you. <laughs> so that should take you back up to full. <laughs> yep, we're good. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm a little on edge with all the, the, the shooting and flying, and uh, yeah. Is that, is that why they call you Hans? Because you gotta keep. <laughs> Putting your ha hands on people? Uh, no, but the reason they called me Junior is because I was by far the weakest cleric in my group. Oh, it's not it's not dad was also Do you not have a father named Hans Jaeger Senior? <laughs> no, he had he had a different name. Uh, his, his name was Sebastian, but uh, no, I was called Junior just because I was uh, apparently small and weak. Would your name not then be either Junior or Hans? But not Hans Jaeger Jr. <laughs> no, they, they were insisting that I'd be Hans Jaeger Jr. You know, specifically kinda... so that even when calling me by my full name, I would I, I would remember. And you continue to call yourself me. this. <laughs> you you know you when you have a behavior that's internalized for long enough, you just kind of can't get rid of it, yeah. We would not yeah. have known. You could have just called yourself Hans Jaeger. 
You could have called yourself Bone Crusher McChad, and we would have been fine with it. I think we would have doubted that. But well, I feel like you would have seen through me on that one, so I'm honestly just not going to try and lie anymore because I've seen how far that's gotten me. It is a little disturbing that I had a more supportive upbringing than you did. Like. Oh, I mean, I learned a lot. It's just, you know, a gentle ribbing that goes on for like six years. Uh huh. Hmm. Honestly, that's pretty real to what I assume yeah. happens to most people growing up. <laughs> I would not know. Yeah, we didn't get that, really. Oh, it was just, you know, underdark. Have we fallen yet? Have we, cult stuff. Have we dipped across <laughs> yet? <laughs> or are we just riffing in Elysium? <laughs> or you, uh, as, you, as you guys go back and forth and they starlight and sunlight uh, mingle with all this healing that's going on. Uh, yeah, the ship bow crests over the edge of the hole and then down into the colored pool. And yeah, there's that moment of the rushing upwards again as you guys plane shift from the Astral Sea into Mount Celestia. Uh, and I think that'll be a good time to take our break. Yeah. yeah! Yeah. Rolling with difficulty. Today's adventure was brought to you by World Anvil. World Anvil is a browser-based world-building and writing tool designed to help you keep all your work organized and in one place. From world maps to timelines and beyond, the site is packed with everything you need to design your world. And when you're ready to write, there's a word processor built right in. With World Anvil, you don't have to create alone. Real-time collaboration allows you to work with your players, co-creators, cat, or whoever to work in tandem on the same project. If you're a more visual creator, then World Anvil's whiteboards feature is for you. Chart out character arcs, diagrams, mood boards, and more on World Anvil's visual canvas. For our listeners, World Anvil has a very special offer. Just use code PLUG at checkout for 40% off yearly memberships. That's code PLUG, P-L-U-G, for 40% off yearly memberships. And a special thank you once again to World Anvil for sponsoring today's adventure. Rolling with difficulty. We see an ocean not dissimilar from the one that you just left. Uh, A vast night sky overhead. Um, ah. dark waters, but instead of a perfect mirrored surface, uh, this one is sort of choppy. Uh, you know, the, there's there's actual waves here, uh, and the sound of the surf can be heard. In addition, instead of an unbroken sky, we see, kind of silhouetted against this night sky, uh, a mountain that rises up, and uh, the peak obscured, uh, sort of the opposite of uh, Sigil, actually, where you see the peak and then clouds obscure below it. Instead, the mountain seems to rise up from this massive island, just an impossibly wide base of this mountain, uh, and then a few, like, thousand feet up just disappears behind this cloud layer. Uh, It is here that we see the Paraspra crest out of the water and settle back down into what is known as the uh, Silver Sea on the first layer of Mount Celestia called Lunia. Crew of the Paraspra, what would you like to do? So, uh, what's your stop, man? Uh, Hans is like looking at it like, oh my god, that is so cool, that is so cool, oh, it's even cooler in person, I read it in some books, this is so cool! Yeah, let's give um, him a minute. So, uh, he, <laughs> he does that sec. for another minute, and it's like, okay, 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 um, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to, that's the, the thing, I, I know that I'm going to work on one of the, the citadels that was needing some repairs somewhere, but I do not know entirely where it is, I think there's kind of like a whole thing where you have to, like, work up the mountain through, like, your your faults and, like, ponder and, and pray and through, oh, like, spiritual no. contemplation you can ascend. So, like, I think I'm going to be here a while, so if you can get me to, like, the docks, I, I feel like I'll be able to find the rest of my way. Hey, uh, Well, Kiana, the ship can fly, you... so, yeah, what's up? Did he give you the, the legend lore spell yet? No, there's, like, stuff he needs. Do you I've think, been really patient. Do you think the stuff he needs is going to be at the docks, or do you think it's going to be up the mountain? Because I don't want to have to walk up the mountain. Well, the ship can fly. We could so. try flying up the mountain, but I suppose that if the whole shtick of this place is, as Hans we says, it. we might not be able to. Well, maybe the but ship has some stuff it needs to work through, too. We don't know. <laughs> so there is a possibility that the it's ship flying can kind of, it like, bypass it. the whole, like, like, you know, psychological, spiritual purging process. So I've never been. We'd have to try. I'm sure that the metaphysical landscape of this entire plane can be circumvented just by flying instead of walking. <laughs> yes. Uh, Only one way to yeah. find out. But, uh, uh, highest passive perception is Wally, I think, right? That's correct. Yeah. Mm. While you hear, first of all, by the way, uh, you see as your like eyes kind of adjust to the darkness here. Way off, you can see the shore and every like couple miles on the shore. So the 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 mountain is a couple miles out, 
every like mile or so ish it's kind of hard to tell this distance but there's like a there's like a lighthouse almost feature that you see glowing kind of illuminating the mountain mm-hmm. um also you see that there are lights just kind of these um they're not quite will o wispy will o wispy have kind of like a jellyfish motion to them they're more like i don't know a little like white uh they're not quite a ball of fire they don't have like the thing they uh like the, the, it doesn't lick up but it kind of has that kind of shimmer to it uh there these like white lights are just kind of floating there's like one every like couple like hundred yards or something out over the ocean here finn you hear uh splashing down in the water uh and as you go look you see uh uh heads poking out there's first one the two and then three kind of spread out uh they are residents here uh they're called the uh Zaveri. Uh, and they're basically octopus mermaids instead of like <sighs> Ursula, instead of uh, lower half fish, they're lower half octopus. Um, oh, incredible. They've kind of got a, a halfling of, vibe going on, tent- which is to say that. Um, head with a bunch of tentacles and then just two yeah, human legs head. sticking out the bottom. <laughs> just no. two tentacles for arms and Draw then human like legs. Draw me like one of your, your <laughs> French octopi. Yeah. <laughs> Draw me like one of your calamari. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, <laughs> cursed. Yeah, so they've they've got I kind of the thing going Monday. on, which is to say that they've got um, they almost look childlike, but it's just because their eyes are like very big proportionally to their head. So they've got this like these very very big kind of like dark colored eyes, and their skin is very smooth. Yeah, they're smooth sharks. I knew they're mostly they're most like like halflings. Yeah, they they kind of have like a childlike like very soft features kind of look to them. Um, and yeah, you see they kind of each poke their heads up and bob in the water. Uh, telepathically, you hear in your mind, um, "Who are you? Who are you?" Who are you? Uh, so I'm sort of the whole party. Uh, just a Finbar so far. Uh, uh, I'm kind of just leaning right o- over the rail, and I'm like, "All right, everybody got this stick now, so I guess that's the thing." <laughs> um, howdy, how y'all doing? Uh, I see that lighthouse out yonder. Is there land over there? Can we head that way? Lots of land. That's where everyone who comes here heads. Are you here to take a journey? Where are you trying to go? I, I this is like turn- they each kind of say like one line at a time. Right. It's not just one talking to you. I, I'm like, I, I'm trying to follow the voices. And I'm like, All right, one sec. I kind of, where are we going again? Uh, I'll walk over to the edge and I'm like, oh, uh, d- hello, 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 hello. Okay, hello, lots of hellos. Hello. Uh, hello. We are going hello. to the, the citadel that needs a little bit of freshening up. Um, I don't it's know which one place. specifically it is. The, oh yeah, the best, ba- I, I, I keep forgetting the banner of the, 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 of the blessed banner. The, this is yeah, your, like the, sacred quest, the right? Sebastian of the, I mean, you, you, when you're on the road for a few weeks, you start to forget things. Sebastian of the blessed banner. I, I don't know where it is. You see, uh, <laughs> they kind of look back and forth to each other, and then they go. No one goes there anymore. Are you sure? Uh, well, I will be the, the first one to go there because uh, it is my spiritual duty to Lethanda to go and do some uh, do some work, to do some, some penance and uh, uh, fix it up and get it in uh, good shape so that more people will come to it. Ooh, he has a quest. He has a quest. Oh, no. I'm Danny, remember when you said you were hazing him? I think he's already being hazed. Yeah, I'm starting <laughs> to get that vibe, too. <laughs> <laughs> they just have a very sing-songy kind of tone to them. Like, there's a lot of, like, up and down that they do. No, it's not uh, about no, the I'm not talking about these guys. I'm talking about his oh. whole vibe. His whole quest. To quote from an earlier... Spooky place. To quote Red from an earlier Paul episode, Junior. this is starting to sound like a great honor. <laughs> <laughs> Not before you eat this ladybird. <laughs> you ever get the feelings that you're being hazed by God himself? No. <laughs> nah, not me. No. <laughs> no. We're never hazed. Everyone here is quite kind. We're guides to travelers. Guides to travelers. Aww. Uh, I think yeah, they, so they, they, the guides is, to travelers. Yeah, uh, so there is Sebastian. If you were to like point to it and, and give us a, a general direction in which we should be sailing. It's going to be up. Uh, you see they kind of look off in one direction, uh, and then one of them uh, looks up at one of the uh, the lights. Uh, it floats down over to the bow of the ship, um, and then it looks back up at you, the the, uh, the Zavari, and says, you know, telepathically Thanks. speaks to you. The Lantern Archon will show you the way. It's the place that is lit. You will know it when you see it. Not far from the shore. Not far from the shore. Not far from the shore, that's good. Not far from the shore. At least we don't go all the way up. Thanks, guys. Good luck on your journey. Thank you. These guys are sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Just like you see, they kind of like dolphin (laughs) jump out and do like back, like go back into the water. 
With their human legs. <laughs> their human legs, yeah. No, no, yes. no, yes. 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 This is, You are blasphemer, you may, I will kill you. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> uh, hey, Cursed. I have a um, question for you. When you. What did you call me? <laughs> your name. Anyway. That's Hans, right? No, yeah. no, no, try again. Try again. Hans. <laughs> No, <laughs> you're, you're, you're not getting warmer. <laughs> Hainsy, I don't know. Anyway, when you were sent on your quest, um, the, they said the police was like, nobody goes there anymore. Did you think to ask why nobody goes there anymore? Well, nowhere can be that bad on, on Mount Celestia. Uh, it's it's mm. not necessarily that it is a, a problem that no one goes there anymore. It's just that it needs some repairs, and until then, okay. people are going to other places. So I, I took it upon myself to go and try to fix it up. This was I your idea? Assignment. Like, your whole idea? Like, nobody else suggested you do this? It was a better option. Okay. What, what do you mean the better option? What was the, what was the worse option? Yes. What? And you notice that Hans catches himself uh, in a deception. <laughs> <gasps> J'accuse! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess maybe you'd only recognize that if you did a deception check. That was that was you me just... as the player talking rather than My Hans. My passive so insight know. is 17. I think I'm going to see through you. Let me try. <laughs> That's a... Ooh, wait, wait. Hold on. I rolled a 17. Let's ooh. see what I... Let's see what I you get. Deception. It. Plus one, so that's an 18. I, I bluff you. I'm like, what? Oh, no, no. You bluff my passive insight. <laughs> Let's see what I roll. Roll and right. add Well, you bluff my, my active insight, too, but that's okay. <laughs> it's like you look at Hans and squint for a second and relax your eyes. You squint again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, nothing. You definitely said something that <laughs> whatever. So yeah, anyway, it's just over there. Look, we're supposed so, yeah. to follow the light. It's nice yeah, and yeah. easy. I just this want to put lantern archon in... is slowly drifting. <laughs> I want to put something mm -hmm. in perspective for you here, buddy. And nothing from here might be bad, but I got in here no problem. So something else probably could too, you know? <laughs> I just think that having uh... stood next to you while you fought, quote unquote, you might want to brace yourself for where we're going. Because we do this every it'll day, be... but you seem really green. Look, it'll I be mean, fine. It'll be fine, okay? We're, we'll we're be fine. On, we're on Mount Celestia. There is, there's no harm that can befall us here. It's the domain of Lathander himself. We're good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, so I can't good. help but notice the sun's not up right now, though. So Because we're Ludia. We'll get there eventually. Okay, all right. <laughs> Give Kiana a little side eye, like, yeah. <laughs> you're I, I, on alert, right? Virla and, uh, <laughs> Virla and Hans may know, yeah, the sun never rises in Lunia. The sun rises as you climb the mountain. Yeah, what? so get there as in, like, we'll get to the part where the sun is. <laughs> so, and that's still cool. the right. real actual sun? If you wanted oh, to, it depends who you ask. If you wanted mm -hmm. to see sunlight, you'd have to climb. To, to reach broad daylight, you'd have to climb to the very peak. Where's the, uh, can I do a religion check to see where, like, the dawn starts? And if that's anywhere close to where we're going? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, you're going, uh, the bastion's on Lunia. It's on the, it's on the layer you're already oh, okay, so you it's just in Lunia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're not getting any sunlight protection on the way. Awesome. And the stuff you need for the legend lore, you think that'll be at the Bastion or that'll be somewhere else? Uh, surely Just, nearby. Yeah. Someone will have a shop and we can get the components. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm okay. Good. <laughs> I have only the utmost confidence. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm tempering my expectations. Yeah, it's okay. I'm starting to think I, this job is going to be more I, of an unpaid volunteer right. trip than it is an actual There's, gig. There's got to be a cleric somewhere in Sigil who actually knows what they're doing. I just, you know what? It'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. I just don't have my components. I had to no, sell it's, them to, it's, to it's hitchhike. No, it's totally fine. I, you know, we all start somewhere. You know, it, it'll be. <laughs> Where did you let's, start? Let's just follow the Lantern Archon and get where we're going. I am being emotionally abused by his deity, and we're not helping him in the slightest. <laughs> no, no, I am Well, he in hasn't opened up enough about it. Next to uh, Virla, as we're, like, making our way towards the shower, and, and I, I turn to Virla, I'm like, they gonna tear that boy up. I, he ain't gonna make it. <laughs> I must admit Couldn't even handle the hot sauce. Hold my, I've been trying to hold back as much as I can, but I fear I cannot much further. Let loose! We got it. He seems very sensitive. We gotta try to be nice to him. Alright, we'll get him to where he's going. Fruit fin bar. <laughs> Don't fall into temptation. Not on the mountain. Not on the holy mountain. Come on. Very oh, well. No. We get like stab penalties for bullying Hans. 
<laughs> oh, you're sinning. That's a very naughty thing. <laughs> sin, sin, sin. None of you are free of you sin. You just see, like, one of those weird octopus, like, human leg guys come out of the water and, like, scribble something on a checkboard and then, like, descend back down. <laughs> <laughs> Fines all over again. Yeah. All right. Well, but, and I'll this head, is crucial. Head, They're wearing a little policeman cap. <laughs> I'll head wherever I'm being told to. I didn't We're communicate following the, with it. We're following the, the little yeah, archon. Like the, the, the legend, the legend archon. archon. Which is, uh, oh, God, I'm gonna get when you, killed. If, you, uh, if you venerate one of the uh, gods of Mount Celestia, so if this is the domain of a god that you venerate, uh, when you die, your soul gets brought here and you start as a lantern archon, uh, which is just a light, and then you work your way up all the way up to higher archons and you get progressively more powerful. Um, so as you is die, then, you, then you still lantern. gotta work? Yeah, this is an unpaid intern dead guy that. we're dealing with. <laughs> Eternity, I guess. <laughs> so much in the same way that Arcadia is a, a lawful good place, uh, trending towards lawful rather than just good, but trending towards lawful, uh, but still lawful good. Uh, that is all about community and uh, following Snitch the good. rules that, that support community. <laughs> the lawful good plane of Mount Celestia is about personal enlightenment. It is a, lo- is a mm. plane where uh, individuals come to journey to uh, better themselves uh, in the ultimate test of self-reflection. So, the, uh, while <laughs> of the which I am perfectly here. equiped to participate in. Yeah. <laughs> while the souls uh-huh. that uh, travel to Arcadia work as protection of the bastion of law in that world, uh, the souls here work to self-reflect and enjoy, uh, do many different tasks uh, on their journey to self-enlightenment. You know, I used to think that, like, Mechanus is probably the plane where I could cause the most problems just by being Danny, but I'm starting to think that maybe I underestimated how lawful and good can align to create problems. Well, I don't see any giant thermostat dials here, so we should be okay. (laughs) You follow the Lantern Archon, you drive past, you see, uh, there is, like, a small kind of, like, village you, you sail past. Uh, as you kind of like come into the light of the mountain where these like these lighthouses which as you drive as you sail past the lighthouse you see they're actually filled with lantern archons so Aww. like a bunch of fireflies in a jar kind of situation they're, they're lighting it up uh you sail you, past a, a little that tiny it's pretty adorable it's got like just lots of low it's it's at the base of this huge trail that travels cuts up the mountain like the switchback trail dotted with kind of like low trees kind of like olive trees you know I feel like Celestia is just taking advantage of these people trying to seek enlightenment for themselves. Yeah. Hey, Virlo, remember when we first met and you were like, hey, if you don't have a god to claim your soul, you might end up as one of these terrifying lost souls. And I was like, ooh, scary. I'm back to not thinking that's so bad, actually. <laughs> mm. Consider my perspective widened as well. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you do it long enough, you get to be really powerful. And you know, what's a couple thousand years in the face of eternity? Yeah. <laughs> sort of a drop of the bucket. Uh, anyway, uh, you do pass like a little town and you see it's very, uh, the buildings are very small. None of them have doors. Uh, you see a couple people, like there's some like dwarves around and they kind of, everyone kind of waves at you as you go by, but it's very sparse. It's clearly not a town people like live in. It seems more like it's a place people pass through. Huh. I'll find a suitable place to dock. You, well, the Lantern Archon's not leading you there. It's leading you past. Oh, okay. Okay. So I will follow the you continue on following it around. You come to the, you know, the mountain here is pretty, the, the sea level is pretty low. Uh, where it meets the sea is pretty low. There's beaches and stuff, there's shores before like kind of rising up to some cliffs. So the Lantern Archon turns and kind of leads you a little bit inland. Follow it, sail up over some of these low trees. Uh, and indeed after maybe like 20 or so, maybe closer to 30 minutes, uh, you start to see, yeah, there's like a building on the coast up ahead. Uh, and you can see, in fact, there's like, because it seems like firelight kind of dancing. The building's not on fire, but there's like no. firelight kind of dancing from part of it, at least. It, it's not unclear if the, like the whole thing is illuminated or if it's like part of it. And as you start to see that coming to the uh, Lantern Archon just kind of stops and then uh, floats back off to sea. Oh, so uh, this, I think we're here. I, I guess. Is this yeah. the Bastion? This looks like it has it more people so. in it. I don't think it. I don't think the firelight is people. It's just oh ambient aura, I think. Okay, um, cool. <laughs> more of the souls on light bulb duty. <laughs> yeah. I'll maneuver the ship and get down by it so that we can good either yeah, dock or hoist a rope over and just shimmy down. Anchor. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you bring the ship down a little lower. Uh, you come out over the trees and you approach. I assume you're trying to, you know, to get like within a couple hundred yards to land. Yeah. Uh, as you do... You start to kind of crest around and you see that it's that one side of the so it's a sort of like this not square it's kind of like starbursty shape 
So it's kind of like a yep. base square with these like other rampart kind of situations oh, no. coming off of it. Mm. Uh, and as you see, you see that like one side of that is where that orange firelight is dancing from. And as you crust around, I see. You see that is it's words that are written on the side of on the building oh. that are like that, uh, almost like someone poured gasoline and lit it. But there's no one around, so clearly this has been like burning on the side of this building for some time. Danny, don't look at me. I've never been to this plane. <laughs> Okay. You see words, sure. it reads, we are all fallen here. Uh, and as you read that, uh, hmm. bands of yellow golden energy burst from the ground and wrap around the ship and oh, you just gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> ground the thing. It skids uh, a couple feet and leaves like a deep like trench in the rock. Everyone just, you all grab on and hold on as best you can as the Except ship kind of, and the mast yeah, drag I've across the ground feet. and just, it just, Reduces the fly speed to zero through and I swear, if you fucking scammed us or something. If you so much <laughs> scratch the paint on this ship, you are going to be paying damages in cold hard gold, Buster. Oh, How long is the ship? Oh, had, I, I had think paint? it's scratched. It, it, it's definitely scratched. <laughs> I was told that we were going to be doing fun contemplation and pondering the eternity and the nature of the divine and like doing some gardening or some shit. I don't know what this fucking shit is. <laughs> right. Um, told by who though? Yeah. I am begging right. you to roll Good more question, insight actually. checks. Question, <laughs> <laughs> actually. Well, I think this is. Uh, oh, is that your patron hey. laughing at you? Do we hear <laughs> that or is um, that? Um, no, uh, just, just, uh, no, just uh, uh, just Hans hears that. Oh okay. fuck. Uh, Arcadios, what uh, the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? I told you Who's you were going to be cleaning it up. I never said anything about gardening. Oof. Okay, uh, that is what I get for swimming. Um, yeah, so apparently, uh, cleaning it up might have a different definition than, uh, I thought. Oh, not, we're not exercising. So zen. Oh, for crying so out loud. Oh. So is Arcadios mm. the voice of the, the, the name of the voice in your head, or is that somebody else? Yeah, no, that's the name of the voice in my head. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Okay. Oh, the voices, <laughs> have, the voices have names now? That, uh, well, some of them. It's my it. guardian angel. It, it, oh. it, it tells me things. And oh, yeah? By helpful chance, things? Are they a war guard? I'm very helpful. Tell them I'm very helpful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Arcadius <laughs> is from Lathander, right? <laughs> uh, he works for Lathander, yeah. He's yeah. a deva. Yeah, he's, he, he works for Lathander. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all right. get to sign them at the academy. I, you get well, assigned a guardian angel. You yeah. got you got a it's government part of assigned you being an guardian asshole. angel. What's the name of your academy? <laughs> the Spires of Morning in Waterdeep. He said, checking his character sheet. <laughs> morning, like no, like 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 the, the beginning of day, not like the sad part. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Like morning, like like when the dawn happens, not morning, like what okay. we are probably well, about you, to be doing in a second. Does your guardian angel have any? Um, you know, we're in a place of good or whatever so do, does he know what like we're up against or are we just gonna bust in there and start setting shit on fire hey uh, <laughs> Arcadios uh, not that uh, uh, I, I had much of an idea before this but uh, what exactly are we going up against in this uh, make persuasion check oof can, I'm going to surreptitiously mind time. link with him <laughs> and give him the ability to respond but That's I'm not going to say anything a ten oof Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Hans, you here, and Kiana as well, when she establishes Mind Link. <laughs> um, you are Dawnbringer. Bring light to this place. Okay. So, uh... What's a Dawnbringer? My job is... Uh, a Dawnbringer is, um... <laughs> can, I make a, can I make a religion check to... You, you just know this. Definition? It's like, it's a high-ranking uh, uh, priest of Lavender. Okay, yeah. So when you become a, high enough rank, you become a Dawnbringer. Yeah, once you once you are a strong enough priest of, of Lathander and have done enough contemplation and philosophical, you know, introspection, you become a Dawnbringer, which is someone who uh, brings dawn to places. And I guess my job uh, in this is to clear out whatever is wrong with this place, which is not what I thought I would be doing. Well, you know, Dawnbringer oh, does sort of sound like the kind of guy who would go and bring dawn to... Uh new place potentially by force so I feel or like, yeah. like restocking a library you never know <laughs> mm. well, you <laughs> this don't look like no library mm -mm. you are very optimistic all right well all right, let's, let's, find some stuff. let's all step yeah let's out. just go into the spooky building with the abandon all hope ye who enter here flaming letters on the side should we begin with the bands of fire that are encircling oh, yeah. and capturing our ship yeah should we be like whacking those 
I mean, I basically I mean, douse the ship in flame retardant just because I'm on board, but I feel like if it's magic <laughs> fire, it could still probably get through. I, I think the sooner we get the, the, this, uh, I mean, you recognize business. this. It's an earth bind, Virla. So oh. it's not, yeah, we're just grappled. Shit. I think we're okay. Okay, well, someone casted it, so I'm going to get out and, and look and see if there's anyone just immediately, you know, in my field of view that could have casted it. In fact, Docent, oh, do a scan. <laughs> uh, scan for life forms that are potentially giving off some sort of magical aura. Roll, roll an investigation at advantage. Thank as you. As you can do with, uh, with Docent. That's already an 18. That's pretty good. Ooh. And a 17. Ooh. All right. Um, so 18. That's a 25. Nice. nice. You see the blue light comes out and scans uh, in, you know, the radius you get. So detect magic. Yeah, the earth, whatever uh, school magic earthbind is, is coming up. And it's kind of got like, there's just kind of like a subtle permeation of that all through the ground around you in this area. Uh, but other mm-hmm. than that, you're not getting anything. I will keep it up and I'll sort of encourage. I am of the opinion that we should get out of the ship. Yep. And I will look for whoever is casting it. Although if they find me, most likely that some sort of battle would emerge, so be on guard. No, yeah, I'm, I'm coming with you. <laughs> yeah, um, I think yeah. you misunderstood. So, we're all coming with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as, as we're getting off, I'll say, uh, Vila, let me, um, let me do one, one thing real quick. And then I, uh, I pull out my, my, my holy symbol and kind of like put up a hand uh, and cast Guidance uh, as a cantrip uh, on oh. Vila. So uh, Ooh, this cool. should help you uh, find things. Uh, so you get one d4 to a, 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 a roll of your choice thank you yeah <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yeah so i'll i'll go i guess i'll take point i'll get out of the ship and i'll start can you describe sort of the environment that so I, i'm sort yeah. of envisioning so like you a guys, forested area but you had emerged out of that now it's just big flat rocky space as you approach hmm. uh cliff to the sea and the bastion is built right by the cliff okay i i guess i'll just do a yeah, I'll, I'll walk. To, I'll, I'll start by walking towards. Yeah, the let's bastion. just head towards the big spooky building full of monsters. All right, all right, y'all slow down for a little bit. I'm gonna bring what? out tiny, tiny candies. <laughs> uh, they, they, yes. they look perfectly spherical, um, with a slight caramel glaze on them. I'm just like, it's just, and uh, I'll give. I only have three, so Virla, uh, Kiana, and Danny. Uh, yes. so just try those. Let me know what what you think. Very caramely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are uh, I'll candy. Give mine to, I'll give mine candied tongues. spider eyes. No, I'll I'll, I'll say Ooh. no, 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 no. You you take the candy. Candy no, spider you eyes. Guys, you say you take you the guys spider eyes. A crew. I insist. No, no, no. You guys as a crew. I've I've gotten you into so much bullshit. I don't. You shouldn't have even taken me. I've caused so much trouble. You got attacked. We're doing whatever the fuck this is. Take take the candy. I'll take another spider eye. Take the cannoli. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so um, if you eat these, three temporary hit points, uh, I'm just going to this, <laughs> and then I kind of strap my shield to my back, hop off, and I'm like, all right, let's get this over with. Before we go in, I will just go and, and sort of turn to Hans and say, no matter what you may think, the loudest voice in your head is yours. Just keep that in mind. And I don't only say that because we will probably need your help in any combat encounter that ensues. <laughs> And then I'll head in. Thank you, Bella. I'm going to whisper to Arcadios via the mind, like, is it your job to be mean to him, or is that just who you are as a person? <laughs> who is that in there? <laughs> Do I hear this? <laughs> yeah. Didn't answer my question, Buster Brown. <laughs> <laughs> who is speaking? Hans, remove this. I, I, I'm going to be, like, in my head, like, uh, Hey Kiana, um, I, I, so, I guess you can you, you can hang out here if you want. That's that's cool. Um, uh, I, I guess I can't really speak for Arcadios. He doesn't really bully me that much. If anything, he's you know kind of the one who's uh, uh, stopping me from taking the, the easy out uh, in any situation I find. So uh, hmm. this is true. I am his moral backbone. My literal All brother right. in Christ. Well, just to give you context, I was raised by a secret cult of mind flayers trying to take over the world, and I had a less bad experience with them than I've witnessed with this guy. (laughs) They just didn't care very much, and that was less problematic than this kind of targeted barb. And I'm just saying, I'm not going to tell you how to be a guardian angel. Goodness knows I don't know how that works. Hmm. But 
You know, you might want to do some soul searching of your own, Arcadios. Yeah, I don't him. know. That sounds like some heretic bullshit to me. Hey, <laughs> hey, oh, great. Hey, <laughs> bring it back to the home game. <laughs> Congrats, the reference what? that'll that'll hit exactly, exactly the four the of us. Four people on the <laughs> podcast. Everyone you sure, you sure he's a, a diva, it. not a diva? Uh, <laughs> no. Can we contextualize oh, that reference, or do we just uh, need to yeah. leave that and uh, let it go? Just leave it. Yeah, go yeah it. it was fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Point of order, oh. <laughs> how long has it been since that uh, combat encounter with uh, Jesse and James earlier? <laughs> uh, uh, like maybe 30, 40 minutes. You get oh, to like be a short rest? Uh, you need an hour of short rest. If you want to stop oh. now, and wait. No, no, I'm um, good. Just because my cannon stays up for an hour, so and then I still have. Oh, uh, cannon's still up, yeah. Yes, yeah, so toddling behind Danny as we disembark is the uh, Force <laughs> Blister has a little trick and feet. <laughs> Yay. Mm, twisted, cool. Yeah, I'll leave Plug you on guys... the sixth crew member. <laughs> plug, that you is guys all. Disembark. I'll say Don't get tempted with the, the side of good. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll say back within the mind link. Uh, yeah, Kiana, uh, Z. Honestly, the only reason I'm I'm here at all is because I uh, I specifically managed to uh, after uh, lots of uh, attrition persuade uh, Arcadios to let me pick a, a different path from the uh, the fun summer assignments that I was previously doing. So it's uh it's not all terrible. Sometimes I can speak up for myself. What was the other thing he was making you do? Uh, it's not that he was making me do. It was the thing that everyone does is that we go out to. Uh, to work as as clerics and and healers uh, uh, out in the field, uh, trying to uh, guard against portals to the Shadowfell, and uh, hmm. you know you you help people who who get into scraps, and you you heal their wounds and stuff, and usually it's okay. But every once in a while, a monster will come through a portal closer than you thought it was, and then suddenly there's a giant. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, there's there's a Nightwalker in your camp, and then. Uh, your best friend Johan gets squished, and then suddenly something snaps, and you realize you've got to run. And then you convince your your guardian angel, maybe that uh, being a, a fighter out in the field, not even a fighter, but just being in the field at all, uh, not so much for you, and you tell yourself uh, things like, oh, go to this fun monastery, clean it up, no one has been able to get it to like, be nice and fun and bright in thousands of years, that's, that's totally fine, I can, I can do that, it's better than being all scared and with like people dying, so uh, I thought, yeah, good idea. And Arcadios eventually relented after weeks and weeks of, of you know, me bugging him about it. And then I uh, went on this little quest. Not fun. Yikes. Not fun. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Disturbing similarities to my it's own. It's gonna be a yikes. You, you get the sense that that Hans is not like saying this to you for the reason of like telling you or putting you in the know it's just no. that this is the internal monologue that cannot be ceased in any way <laughs> yeah, it's like as long as you're yeah. here you're just gonna get the full like cannon blast of like self-doubt <laughs> oh, and like geez. what was i doing where the fuck was i where am i going i, I was out there people died it was nuts uh, yeah <laughs> blue i cannot believe you killed my boy johan <laughs> in your tragic backstory for character number two <laughs> Two references anyway. to home games in the span of five minutes. <laughs> Stay tuned, listeners. Can we get to three? Wow. Oh, okay. Just you wow. wait. Fantastic. You guys approach the bastion. You see there is a big, like, wooden... What's the door? It's kind of, like, pointy at the top. You know, right, it gets to a point at the top. It's a big, fancy door. <laughs> arch. Right. An arch. Yeah, kind of like it's an arch, <laughs> but it's got a kind of point at the top. It's one of those big doors that leads in. Otherwise, the walls here are all about 40 feet high. And you see there's kind of, like turrets they don't have they don't have caps but they're like kind of like turrets kind of lining uh the whole situation what would you guys like to do do any of the hmm. turrets look active there's no like cannons or anything hmm. and no there's no lights coming from any of them they're just literal like stone formations oh, like, there's no like crenellations or door? something yeah yeah well, that's there's probably a better word than turret well i feel like our way forward has got to be through the Ooh. gate right i don't see why not we could have Kiana just if you take a look walk see, up the side. I was the considering map. that. <laughs> yes. Walk on the wall. Do, 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 do. Walk on the wall. Do, do, do. <laughs> I mean, if we want, I can just walk up the side and look in. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not? <laughs> right. Go for it. <laughs> Kiana, you want walk straight up the side. Yep. Just a little bit. For you. All right. I'll yes. be right back. With your boots of uh, spider climb, go ahead and see on the map there. So wherever you'd like to go up, Kiana, go, go walk yourself up. Okay. Just hip. Just go past up this nice little wall, and let's just pop up here. Yeah, you walk up, you see, uh, so 
like I described, yeah, it's sort of a square fortress, but with these other kind of jutting out shapes that sort of give it almost like a, um, not quite octagonal, like, like kind of more like a hexagram kind of shape going on. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just kind of empty stone other than, you know, there's these raised walkways along the outside and uh, these staircases that lead up from the bottom floor up on the inside of the fortress here on the ground. You see there's a huge brazier uh, unlit. And then they're kind of like bas relief is the correct pronunciation, right? Yes. Yeah, like mm. statues carved into the wall, basically that kind of surround uh, the entire courtyard area here. Um, for those of you looking at the map, uh, all of those um, big squares, that tile area, that's the uh, forty feet up kind of walkway, and all of those yeah. much smaller cobblestones, that is down on the uh, the ground level, so to speak. Uh, gotcha. And as well as the brazier in the middle, there's actually one brazier at each corner of the fortress here. Huh. And that little guy in the upper right-hand corner, is he supposed to be there? Uh, that's, no, oh, that's no one. That's, uh, I need that for, um, initiative tracking ah, stuff. Ah, gotcha. Ah, I wonder why we'd need initiative tracking. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. About it. Keanu, what you got up there? Do you see anything? Uh, no? Well, do braziers count? I don't see anything that wants to hurt us yet. Um. I, well. Yeah. I suppose we gotta, it's safe to enter, then. I let's not get crazy here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess I can take a quick circuit around the outside. I, okay, those those spiral staircase things, those lead up to the level I'm on, right? They don't go up yep. higher. Yep, those lead up to the level you're on. If you take them, you can go down to the ground level. And there's, in fact, if you see here, there's a, there's hallways underneath here that lead right. you to the bottom of the staircase. So you take the staircase, mm. you walk up onto the the crenellation up here. Mm. Well, this place looks pretty empty so far, but something hit us with a spell. I, well, while Hans is like, don't go too far all the time. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about is it. Is that yeah. a thing she does? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, she. Um, I can take a circuit up here, or I can come back down, and we can go through the gate. What do you guys think? Uh, let me see if the gate is actually like, you know, locked or anything first. And Daniel, walk up and like, just like a padlock or anything on it. Nope, no padlock. Any detect magic, uh, aura thingies. No, no arcane locks of any kind on it. Uh, does it look... Can I check for traps? <gasps> go ahead, give me an investigation check. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and say <laughs> it's not trapped in any arcane sense. Uh, 17. Uh, add your d4 from ceremony oh, if you haven't. Oh, I'd never get when the DM tells you that. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Yeah, no traps. I will try to open the gate. Make a wizard... No. Uh, it opens. <laughs> Uh, very, very slowly. It's very heavy, uh, with a huge creak. But yeah, I, it, it swings. I, I lend a hand. I lend a hand. In it. <laughs> yeah, you go. Dan <laughs> One hand, just like, oh, there we go. I got to a place, and you look up, and Finbar's just got his arm over, opening it for you. <laughs> uh, oh. All right. Well, I'm. So. I'm not just gonna start walking in. I'm like, we gotta find stuff, right? No, no better way to do that than to fuck around and find out. All I'm right. gonna shout up. Be like, uh, don't go too far, Kiana. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna go up to this nearest brazier, actually. See cool. if I can see anything weird about it. With my zero ability to detect magic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is there any kind of check you wanna make or you just want? Lick it, just, lick uh, it. Cool. I'm not gonna lick no. it. Lick it. Cool. You, you just um, look in. Um, yeah, it's kind of like an old brazier. There's kind of like a patina on the brass. Uh, there is some like oil in it. If you look in, there's huh. like some oil there to be lit. Okay. But how Not. will you tell if it's a fossil or a rock if you don't lick it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Haynes gets it. Well, fortunately, I don't have Danny in my head right now. Uh, Are you sure? So, yes, yeah, so we're not going to lick it. Okay, weird. Um, I guess just on like a basic level, looking around, are there any like footprints up here? Like I assume this place is pretty abandoned. There's like probably dust and leaves and dirt. I don't know. Make a uh, perception check. A perception check. Very well. Uh, 21. Nice. Uh, none of that nonsense. It's strikingly bare. This place is weird. <laughs> I'm gonna walk into the courtyard. Yeah, cool. You guys, anyone can enter that they want. Yeah, I'm gonna follow Finbar. Yeah. Yep, off we go. Oh, uh, yeah, so maybe we, uh, we, we put some light in the brazier and uh, light it up and then maybe everything is good. Oh, oh, ooh, yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, 
That is an unpleasant thought to contemplate. I, but, I uh, have a tinderbox in my adventuring gear. I will produce <laughs> flame in these brazers my hand. or what? <laughs> and Danny, hold it. by all means. Oh, really? We're just doing this? Yuck the produce flame into the brazier. There's some oh, overhand. Man. Cool. Danny, you light flame, it arcs, and then when it, you know, lands in, the big brazier in the middle lights up, uh, fl- firelight now dances across um, the entire inside here. There's uh, sort of a moment where all you hear is the crackling of flame now from hmm. this this brazier, and then you begin to hear whispers from all around. Oh boy. Um, damn it, This is damn some it. hot shadow magic, isn't hey, it? Nope, this isn't on me, this is on Haynes! <laughs> What? <laughs> Why did you abandon us? Uh-oh, and no you'll boy. see from the uh, the the relief statues all around, these figures oh, begin to crawl no. out, sort of partially corporeal, partially incorporeal, gaunt, mostly featureless, but definitely humanoid. Each of them uh, begin to crawl out. I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. Okay. Uh, Wait, this is stat- not my fault. The statues are moving. Or... No, it's it's shadows that came out of the statues. Oh, okay. Sorry, quick point of order, Austin. How high up am I? Just forty feet. Forty feet. Yep. Okay. What's the uh, what's the what's the fall damage from falling that far again? Just uh, four d six. Four d six. Austin, that's a that's a that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. It's a Uh-oh. lot of dudes. What can I say? It's a lot of dudes. Don't worry. Well, well hopefully out. they go down real easy. AOE, baby. I'm rolling. Uh, I'm rolling d4s on these to determine how many come out of each. Uh, each. Uh, Four thing here. d6. Oh, oh that's that. good actually. <laughs> that that's literally. Mm. It's impossible for that to hurt me if I use slow fall. Okay, we'll do that later. But I'm not gonna do that. Um, okay, sorry. I need to roll another. So, so none of them are popping out up here where I am. <laughs> nope, only coming out from down. Jesus Christ. So, oh, while I'm God. up here, do you guys want Fucking me to light the other brazier, or do we think that'll make this worse? <laughs> uh, as these things are walking out of the walls, they're like, uh, no, nah, I'd hold off on that. Let's take care of what's going on down here. Okay. Be down in a second. All right. So, before we begin the combat, uh, before I even take initiative, let me uh, tell you guys a little bit how this is going to work. These guys are not regular bad guys. Uh, I'm using minion rules. Oh. So okay. here's how this works. These guys have a certain amount of hit points, uh, which is a low amount of hit points. If you hit them with an attack roll, or if they fail a saving throw that causes them to take damage, they're dead outright. Doesn't matter how much damage it does, they're dead outright. Cool. Uh, they deal static damage. Uh, if they take damage, if they succeed on a saving throw but take damage, then we go to their hit points. If the damage that they get from the six, uh, sorry, if they succeed on a saving throw, and they take damage, then we go to their hit points. If it's more than their hit point maximum, they die. If it's less, they take no damage. So basically, uh, if you hit them with an attack or they fail a save, automatically dead. Otherwise, we check it against how many hit points they have. If it doesn't take them down to zero, they get to live. Uh, It's pretty straightforward. There is a rule called overkill, which is that all the other rules I have to keep track of, but the one for you is overkill. And this is that uh, if you deal damage to one that's, if you hit one with an attack that's within melee range of you, cool, that one's dead. You roll damage, and if you roll over the max hit point of another one that's near you, then you can, like, sweeping attack, kill a bunch of them. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like it. Cool. So, I know go. it's a little confusing. I'll walk you guys through it as we go. Uh, but, yeah, so this is a whole horde of minions. So, like uh, minions. did everyone add their D4, except, did everyone except for Blue add their D4 on these, uh, Oops. Oh, oh, I did not. I did, yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, roll them and uh, place them in again. Not please. much better. So this is going to be a game of uh, blasting all your AOEs, isn't it? I am <laughs> ready. <laughs> See, the thing that worries me is that none of these chumps look like they can cast Earthbind. <laughs> yeah, this is these uh, are the wolves. And then, oh, uh, Blue, what'd you roll? You rolled an eight. <laughs> I rolled an eight, yeah. Womp, Sweet. Womp. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the initiative is as follows. Bound Spirit, 19. Kiana, Excuse 17. Me? Sounds about right. Finbar, 15. Correct. Danny, 14. Hell yeah. Virla, 13. Hans mm-hmm. Jaeger, the junior, 8. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Fantastic. These guys are going to go first. They are going to roll up. They got 40 feet of movement, so Aww. let's go. It's okay. Get closer. Five, it's 10, fine. 15, Cheap bastards. 20, no, I had a super cool move I was going to do. Oh, it's fine. It's Whatever. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Stop it. Stop it. No. Five. It's all right, bud. I got you. Five there. Fantastic. You sure you don't want to move this guy so so he can get flanking on me? Or taking? Uh, they can't. They can't. Um, they can't benefit from that. So what happens is they attack in groups. The more of them attack, the higher their bonus to hit is. Uh, they don't get advantage disadvantage stuff. Gotcha. 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 Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. These guys dash. You know what? We'll hold them off. We're gonna do. We'll move the dashed ones after. But first, let's do some attack rolls. So, first things first. Uh, coming at Danny's only gonna get one attack. Alrighty. So this is just uh, plus three. Oh, that's I'm in danger. Uh, that's a crit. Uh, fortunately, uh, they can't crit, so they just auto hit you. You take three necrotic damage. Okay. Oh, not bad. It's just my uh, Finbar, we've got two coming at you. So they don't roll two attacks. What happens is they get a bonus plus one for attacking with more than one person. All right. Uh, so that's uh, 22 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, you take six necrotic damage. Mm. Hans, you're going to take two attacks. Okay. Or one attack, but with a bonus. Oh, that's very low. It's only a nine to hit. Okay, yeah, no. And then Virla, you're taking three attacks. Mm-hmm. So that's a... Uh, 14 plus 3, uh, 19 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. You take 9 necrotic damage. Ow. The rest of them are just going to uh, use their dash action to swarm up on you guys. Uh, so, for the audience, um, there are about, what, 20 or so of these creepers uh, yeah. rolling up on the party right now. Yeah, they're, uh, everyone's uh, completely uh, surrounded. Yeah. Not me. I'm 40 It'll feet up fun. on a wall. Except for uh, Kiana. Yeah, and Kiana's up on the wall. Yeah, Speaking of, it's Kiana's turn. Kiana, from your <sighs> vantage point, you look down and you see, yeah, just these, all these, uh, these spirits swarming your allies, reaching out with uh, clawing <laughs> hands, uh, passing th- straight through their bodies. What would you like to do? Okay, well, movement-wise, this is going to be a slight pain in the ass. Oh, excuse me. But it is going to look pretty cool. 5, 10, 15, 20. And then I'm going to jump. Cool. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I'm, I'm just like under this guy. I hope you can see. Um, I, I know where you are. Uh, you, yeah. can't, you can't actually end your movement, so you're going to have to stand next to him. If you want, you can stand right next to him over here. Well, what I was hoping to do is I, I want to mm-hmm. use my reaction to slow fall so that I reduce my damage my fall damage by 35 so yep, I take so no damage. Yep, so it deals no damage to you. Fantastic. And what I want to do is when I'm... Just 40 feet down and does a total roll into the bad right. guys. Well, okay, well, let, let's let's not get crazy because what I want to okay. do first yeah. is my bonus action Arms of the Astral Self, cool. which if they fail a save will do 2d6 of force damage to them. Okay. And I'm in so the middle <laughs> of like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them that are immediately on me. 9, it's 10, 11, 12 that are within 10 feet of me, which is the 10 range. foot radius? Yes. Cool. All right. Here we go. Your We're going to su- need dex saves. superhero from landing? 10 dex saves. I'm superhero landing, yeah. And yeah, I'm hoping to vaporize awesome. the one I'm landing on so I don't need to move. <laughs> All right. 10 dex saves. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Five. That's a fail. Yep. Mm. Natural 20. That's a success. Yep. Dang. One and one. Uh, 13. That's a fail. Yep. Uh, keep track. Someone keep track of for when I get yeah, to Yeah, I'm writing them down. That was mm-hmm. three. Thank you. 10, that's a fail. Four, that's a fail. Six, that's a fail. 15, that's a fail. Yep. 10, that's a fail. <laughs> okay, 19 succeeds. Yes. 14, that's a fail. Yep. 12, that's a fail. Four, that's a fail. And this is the last one, right, Noir? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 13, that's a fail. Uh, you, you, you rolled <laughs> 13? According I think I rolled... Uh, no, because I, I failed 10 13. and yeah. saved twice. But you so, failed 11 yeah. saved twice. Yeah. Oh, well, then the last one... So that one means should... you rolled 13 total. Yeah, so, so I, yeah. I, I, with the last one okay. failed, it doesn't matter. So we're going to yep. destroy... Uh, yeah, so the one you're standing over, first of all... Yes, good. Uh, ...goes bye-bye. Nope, I, I'm, so. I'm in the middle, actually. I'm, I'm right down oh. into the right of Danny. <laughs> ha, got it, okay. Mm-hmm. So first one, succeed, fail. One, two, three... Four, five, this one's fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then who's the last one who failed? This one. Ten. Spectacular. All right, just that was my wild. movement and my bonus action burst reaction. Burst of energy just 
<laughs> bursts out, and all nice. these things get smoked. And now I can take my action. <laughs> now you can take your action. Holy wow. shit. That's awesome. Gonna, it feels I'm good, doesn't it? I'm going to punch the one. Yeah. Uh, is this one that's on uh, Virla? Am I flanking that one with him? Uh, no. Ah, uh, fine. Then I guess I'll just roll normally. Uh, does a 24 hit? Very much so. Okay, and that's uh, eight points of force damage. Um, uh, does, uh, so that he is dead, um, it's not high enough to do overkill. Okay. Well, for attack number two, uh, I'll swing up and punch this guy up and to the right. Sweet. Sort of menacing Danny. All right. Hey. <laughs> uh, does a 21 hit? That will hit. Okay. Uh, ugh, five points of force damage. That will also kill because you hit with an attack, but again, not enough for an overkill shot. That was my minimum damage, but oh, right, yeah, because you hit with the, okay. Nice, that was fun. Okay, I'm that's uh, that's my more. entire turn. Hopefully none of I'm these guys have ranged more attacks. I'm pour out. <laughs> All right, Finn, you're up. Yeah, Kiana comes down, just falls into a crowd of these things, uh, and then the arms burst out. These things shred as if they've been like just pummeled with this astral energy. That's so sick. And yeah, then she just punches two of them and they both, <laughs> Just turned to dust, basically. Shadow and dust. This is more fun than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right, Finn, you're up. Um, okay. Uh, seeing uh, Kiana come in and, like, destroyed nearly half of them, I'm going to be feel fairly confident. Um, so I don't have anything crazy to do. I will um, use my bonus action to activate my starry form. Uh, this time I will take the form of the chalice preemptively. I have a feeling this won't be uh, the only en enemies we're gonna be facing. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will take the dodge action. Okay. Danny, you're up. So Danny is gonna run around just kind of like bob and weave so she's standing next to Virla. Hey buddy, how's it going? Mm -hmm. uh, and she's- <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And uh, she's gonna stick out her hand, and in a 15-foot cone, careful not to hit Verla, she is going to cast Burning Hands, uh, cool. which has a deck DC of, tw of deck them. save of 12, because it is my Reach the Blaze, is not an artificer spell. Um, All right, five deck saves. Natural one, it's a fail. 18 succeeds. 18 succeeds. Five is a fail. 18 succeeds. I rolled 17 twice, so. Uh, <laughs> They do take half Dead. damage they if they succeed, so. Uh, yeah, go oh. ahead and roll half damage. Let's see what half damage is. Yeah, Ooh, I rolled pretty good. Uh, 12 points of fire damage, so half to six. Cool, so that is not enough to kill them outright with their, so the, the ones that fail automatically die, the ones that succeeded, uh, we check against their hit point max. It is not, uh, six is not over their hit point max, so uh, they still uh, are alive. Beans, okay. Uh, so the cannon, five, 10, 15, is gonna scoot up along behind Kiana, and for my bonus action, it will be firing off. Uh, I'm gonna aim at the guy who's right in front of Virla. Please go for it. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. That hits. Alrighty. Yeah. Don't worry. So it just you hit with an attack, poof. so it automatically dies. Woohoo! Force ballista. Oof. Nice. Virla, you're up. Uh, what would you like to do? Could I, before my turn end, oh, yeah. um, use a mm -hmm. reaction to just yell to? Hands, oh wait, hands! Light it up and point to one of the to point to like the braziers up top. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. uh, can do, can do. Uh, real quick, um, can we put a marker on which of the braziers is lit? Because the, the one at the top is lit so far, right? I'm, no, it's the one in the center that's lit. I'll draw the one in the center, center right now. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Then I suggested I not like the top one. <laughs> Okay, I will go ahead and draw a little red uh, I'm on it. I got us, guys. So that's lit. <laughs> I suspect oh, this will be uh, relevant so graceful. <laughs> to gameplay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Let me yeah, know if you want me to run you, you, you up know, there. You know what I was... I was... <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Art. Oh, yeah. I've been drawing fire all day, and that is some of the top quality fire. <laughs> mm. oh. No one gets an inspiration for that one. Fearlo, what would you like to do? <laughs> yeah, sure would be okay. a good time for an insect plague. Sure would, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get your staff back. Would you accept a Let's fireball see. instead? <laughs> I will do five ten. I don't know if that elicits an attack of opportunity from that one sh uh, spirit. Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Nineteen to hit. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that hits. Take three points of necrotic damage. Eh. Ouch. Oof. That's all right though. 
Uh, I want reaction. That's okay. For my bonus action, I'd like to move Bing. It's not restricted by gravity, but it can only move him 30 feet at a time. So I will scale the wall, thir- just like follow the wall up 30 feet. Oh, yeah, so that makes 10 sense. Feet left. I have 10 feet left to go till I get to the top. Um, bing, bing. Sweet. And then, for my action, I am going to attempt to cast a cantrip that I do not know. <gasps> yes. No. yes. I will attempt to cast Thunderclap. <gasps> yeah. Sweet. Yes. Okay. How does this work, Virla? You're using your hat of wizardry. Yes. So I need to roll, and I need to make uh, a DC 10 intel- uh, arcana check. Ooh, Ooh so scary. Um, yes. If I succeed, then uh, the, I, spell the, I, I cast the spell. If it fails, then I have spent my action doing nothing. You can add a d4 to that, right? Because of the Yeah, thing? you get a d4 yeah. From, yeah. The, from the, what do you call it? Stop drawing fire what? bits. <laughs> it's Natural seven. So Natural that's a 15 seven. total. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so it, you cast it. All right. So I cast Thunderclap. I draw upon energies that I had, then draw upon knowledge that I had not previously fully fleshed out, but I know the, you know, vague uh, sort of base and I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I know, like, the foundations of Thunderclap, but uh, not enough to, like, have it memorized, but I will attempt to draw on that. And they, uh, each creature within a five-foot range of me, I believe, is what that is, Yep. Uh, must succeed in a con saving throw or take 1d6 thunder damage. No, 2d6, right. because I'm past fifth level. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so, uh, con save. They add nothing to this. So... Ooh, 19, 18, and 2. So two of them succeed. One of them is okay. automatically killed. Oh. And mm-hmm. then the other two, go ahead and roll your, your damage to see if you beat their, their max hit points. Eh, uh, 7. That is not high enough. Unfortunately, uh, they still yeah. live. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and I believe that's all right, anything all else on your turn, Birla? That's it. All right, Hans, you're up. Okay, uh, so I'm going to be like, okay, let him up, let him up, can do Okay, cool, cool. Let's go, let's go. Uh, and then Hans will, uh, will with one hand, uh, grab his uh, his holy symbol around his neck, the amulet, uh, with the uh, amber containing the uh, the drops of... Oh, the fire's looking pretty good right now. Right? Uh, containing like the it. drops of Lathander's <laughs> blood. Uh, and will put out one hand and cast Scorching Ray uh, <gasps> yeah. for one Ooh. beam each on, on Mooks one and two next to Virla and the third one going to the one next to Danny. Uh, so that is, what the hell do I roll for that, uh, on a hit, plus eight, okay, uh, and is it the same, do I roll three times? Yep, you roll yeah, three each d20s. Okay, so first yeah. one on the left is a 14 plus eight, that's 22, so that's lefty by Virla, uh, that hits. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, then righty by Virla is 19, so that hits, hits. and Dead. finally, uh, six plus eight, mm, 14. That hits. Uh, okay, wow. Nice. Dealing any damage to them kills them with an automatic hit. So I, I, I look at Danny and I'm like, like that? So good, yeah? Dude, I met the Brazers. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cool. Nice work. Uh, it was Hans very, was very like, cool. It was very cool. The first cool. useful thing he's done all time, uh, all, all, all game so far, and it's like, this is not good enough. Noir, stop drawing ah! a little guy with a top hat. I know it's you. <laughs> I didn't draw the top hat, but I'm not I'm not, not liking it. I was wondering who the guy was. He's just a guy. He's just turn. a guy. Hans, well, is that your turn? I can't believe they brought back our place 2022 for this. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Is that the end of your really turn, Hans? Yes. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Cool. Uh, <laughs> bounce spirits. Uh, we get four more over here. Oh, yeah, this I more knew it. I thought. Okay. Only one from this. this. Video, so oh, you know it. I don't I'll give the... a little, a little, I'll have a little pop up in the corner that's like, here's what the art looked like. <laughs> 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 okay. So do we think lighting up the braziers in the corners is going to help? I don't know. Might as well give it a shot. Yeah, that's going to mm. be my next move. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, do you want me to carry you up the wall? I'll take it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we, we're mind linked, so that was diegetic. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take it, yeah. I choose to believe that you don't have an accent in your own head because that's just how your brain works. No, I absolutely <laughs> do. <All right. laughs> uh, here we go. So oh, this yeah. one goes five. This one goes... Oh, they get to spawn and move? Boo. 30, 35. 
dash. You know, I'll take care of the dashers after this. Uh, first attack coming at Virla. Uh, that's only a five to hit. Second attack coming at Danny. 18 to hit Danny. I will use my reaction to cast shield to bring my AC up to 20. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Uh, one attack on, uh, yeah, one attack on Hans. Uh, okay. That's only a 12 to hit. One attack on Finbar. Only a 14 to hit. And two attacks on Kiana. Uh, only a five to hit. <laughs> uh, and then the rest of them are going to roll up uh, with their dashes. Mm-hmm. These guys over here. Oh, boy. All right, cool. That ends their turn. That's all the attacks they can do. Kiana, what would you like to do? Come well, on, uh, first of all, I have that bonus action disengage thingy I can do so I can move through these guys without getting oppie attacked, right? This is true. All right. No ops. One. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. One, two, grabbing Hans. Cool. Swap That's one okay, attack so five, ten. One, uh, But he's, one is he resisting me? No, you still have to use an attack to pick him up. Okay. So you don't have to roll because he's not resisting, but oh, use well, one. I... You do have another attack, that means, if you want to punch someone on your way out. Oh, yeah, why not? Let's punch the guy next to Finbar. Uh, cool. May as well. I'll just, uh, just roll a hit. I, foolishly, I rolled an attack to grab uh, Hans. It was a good attack, but um, uh, 18 to hit? Uh, Hell yeah, this guy does. Okay. Poof. All right. Now you uh, are at yeah, half here. movement moving Hans, remember, because he's the same size as you. Just, so That's, just keep that in okay, mind. Okay, so 5, 10. I've already used that. Uh, okay. So you have 35 left, so have down to 15 movement. Okay, so we're going to get 15 feet up the wall. Uh, well, I mean, we can just hang out here, I guess. Uh, 5, 10, 15. And then I'm going to use my um, action to dash us the... You just use your action to attack, to pick him uh, up and to punch. I use my bonus action to... Disengage. No, I use my bonus action to disengage. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, that's okay. I guess I gave you a nice vantage point. We'll get up there the rest of the way uh, next round. <laughs> Out of curiosity, can I see any of the braziers on top of the wall, or am I still too low? From here? No, I, I'd say that you could definitely see the ones uh, across from you. Like, okay. the ones yeah. all the way across, they're kind of far away, but you can see them. They got a little bit of cover, but they're currently, the farthest one is 120 feet away from you. Yep. Good to know. <laughs> All right, Finn, you're up. S- still within guiding bolt range. Come on, Finn Bar. <laughs> All right, let's do something new. Uh, I'm going to... Mm, uh, I, I don't think I have to... It's not centered on me. No, it's not. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick a point, uh, let's say, around here. I should be... Oh, let's say. Get, for the hell of it. Uh, mm. Okay. Yeah, so this is anything within 10 feet of this point. So let's see. I'm trying to get as many as possible. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to point like five feet in front of me um, as uh, sort of the, 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 the very dry vines and vegetation um, around me all of a sudden burst into uh, like spores as I cast um, Wither and Bloom and I suck mm-hmm. whatever remaining life is... Uh, in this uh, courtyard, um, mm-hmm. I need every creature within a 10 foot radius sphere to make a con save. Does that include Danny? <laughs> That's fine. Uh, uh, it's no. It's going to include oh, okay. Danny. It's creatures no? of my choice, so oh, uh, okay, yeah. none of my allies. It includes so Danny anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> That's seven creatures need to make a con save. <laughs> yes. With a nothing, no bonus to con, okay. DC so 16. One, fail, succeed, so here we go, ready? Fail, Yep. Oh, delete, fail. Succeed. Fail. 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 Succeed. Okay. Nice. Cool. Uh, they take half damage on a save. Cool. Roll whatever the uh, the half damage should be. Uh, it's gonna be uh, one necrotic. Uh. Oh yeah, that does not kill them. Okay. Um. But, uh, and sort of as they drop, uh, sort of the, the remaining life essence um, sort of swirls around in the air. Uh, and uh, I'm going to heal myself. It's a super dope spell, man. Yeah. Um, cool. with it. Like so, it, so it floats in the air and it goes through my armor and I'm going to heal myself uh, with nice. the remaining. Uh, and yeah, that, that'll be my turn. 
Fantastic. Yeah, all the life drains from these undead guys and sucks into you. Uh, Danny, what would you like to do? I'm sorry, my cat just took the most rancid shit. I have, I can smell it from where I'm sitting in my apartment. I don't know Plug what, no. Ziggy, what did you eat? Mouse. Maybe a mouse. The mouse. We finally came full circle. It's so bad. I'm in an entirely <laughs> different room than the litter box. Jesus Christ! What? God oh damn. my God! Anyway, oh, you, you no, need a minute. Might have been the mouse. I'm gonna Febreze real quick. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Get some fresh air. I'm leaving this in the podcast. So we're keeping... This is important for our listeners. Yeah, we're keeping all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, shadow I'm being glad cast everyone's enjoying this fight. Face. You got four more braziers. Yeah. Yeah. I guess my question is: do, I sure hope does, lighting those braziers does something. Does Danny have line of sight on any of the bla- braziers as a spell sniper? Uh, Ooh. yeah. You have line of sight on every single one. They all have three quarters cover, and it doesn't matter for any of them because you're a spell sniper. <laughs> I thought you said braziers. <laughs> yeah. The so there are the four uh, braziers oh. uh, standing. Miles. Very handsomely. Set them all on fire. The other board. One. The the, these walls, yes. I'm about to change wait, this right. whole Wait, is Fraser his first name or last name? Fraser is his first name. His cause it's Fraser Crane. It's Fraser Crane. Because it's Fraser oh, and Niles. Oh, Niles. Fraser. Never mind. Man, casters are busted. All right, let's go. Uh-huh. All right, so... Uh, what are you going to do, Danny? As a spell sniper, I ignore cover, and I think that means I have line of sight on all of these braziers, correct? Yes. you. Uh, they'd all have three-quarter cover, but that doesn't matter for you, so... An AC of a brazier just to hit it and get the fire, I'm going to say it's 15. So right. normally that would add a bonus because of three quarters cover, but there is no bonus. So, uh, however, you are rolling a disadvantage while you stand next to all these mooks. All right, I'm just going to use my movement. I'm accepting the opportunity attack, 5, 10, to get closer to the center brazier. So three of them get it, so they're just going to roll once with a plus, uh, with a bonus of, to hit. Uh, 21 to hit? Yeah, I'll hit. Oof. That's fine. That'll you'll take nine necrotic damage. All right, eh, I'm okay. Uh, then it'll be like, oh, jackass. Uh, and then she's going to whip out the baronium fluctuator and cast scorching ray with one going to the top brazier, one going to the far uh, right brazier, and the other going to that bottom brazier. Cool. Go ahead, roll an attack for each one. The first AC one 15. is a twenty-six. The second. Cool is a 17, and the third is a 16. Oh. Every single one, D- Danny, describe this moment <laughs> as three braziers alight. <laughs> like, like uh, as Wally was saying uh, earlier to me off- offline, like Zuko, when he's trying to impress the uh, Earth Nation chick, <laughs> she just like points at each of the braziers one by one and just <sighs> shoots off little flames at them. And then I'm gonna whip around to Haynes uh, who should be closer to the one that's left unlit and be like, come on, hands, finish it up. Uh, and for my bonus action, the <laughs> the cannon will fire at the at disadvantage at the uh, mook who is right in front of it. Do it. Uh, not amazing. That's a uh, 16 to hit. Poof, he dies. Cool. I don't suppose Ooh. it overspells damage onto the one directly behind it. Uh, actually, there is a ranged attack where, yeah, so go ahead, roll damage. <laughs> cool. Uh, what is the? What do I add to this? Because I just rolled. Really Has hard. to be in the line. So yeah, it's just the one. It does technically get pushed back five feet. Although I imagine it just kind of poofs instead. Uh, that is fifteen points of force damage. That is enough to hit the overkill. Ah, nice. Oh, Woo! nice. That one dies as well. All right. Very, I'm very cool. to add to the All fire right. on the map. <laughs> Danny, does that does that end your yeah, turn? Yeah, it's my turn. All right. <laughs> one bridge left to Vila. What will you do? Well, I can't. Actually, hold oh. on. <laughs> uh, do I not? God damn it! I don't have a Tinder box. Hmm. You didn't get the adventuring gear kit? Come on, bro. Nah. Ha! Ah, I don't think I can do anything. Um. There is nothing that makes me happier than the fact that we are all in on the same joke when it comes to shows. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Yeah. Um. Taking out some of the mooks would be good. I don't think we want to let these guys just overrun us. Yeah, okay. So I'll... Yeah, I'll just go for the the three that's very conveniently lined up. Yeah, so it'll be... That. It'll be two attacks of opportunity, but I will go five, ten, and line myself up diagonally with uh, three of them. Cool. 
So they mm -hmm. just get a bonus of two to this. Uh, <laughs> natural 18. Woo! Yeah, even with shield, that still six, gets it. You take six points of necrotic damage. No. Okay. Right, we're um, good. We're barely getting scratched. But I will do lightning bolt. Third level. Ooh. Yes. Dex save for them. Uh, correct. Sorry. One, two, three. Uh, that's a d12. So they definitely won't <laughs> succeed on that one. Uh, an 18, a 19, and a 12. So uh, one fails. Go ahead and roll. Roll. Uh, tell me what the half damage is on the lightning bolt. Again, 12. 12. Huh. All right. Uh, enough? Yeah, that's enough. Uh, that's yeah. enough to kill it's these cool. guys. That's over their uh, overkill damage. Nice. Perfect. Or over their max hit points. So. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Even though they don't fail, yeah, you just smoke these guys. Nice. nice. And that brings us to Hans. Hans, what would you like to do? Come on, Hans. Okay, so Hans basically having like his one moment, like spell snipes. <laughs> Not that like <laughs> Danny did the wrong thing, but it was like, okay, yeah. So I I I did the wrong things that Danny told me to do. And then Danny did the thing I was supposed to do. Okay, I can shoot one fucking firebolt into this into Come this on, Hans. It's okay, uh, man. Come it's on, okay. buddy. So, so Hans is going to once again cast. Uh, where the hell is it? Uh, Scorching ray uh, at the second level, uh, aiming for Ooh. the the nearest uh, brazier, uh, yep. assuming I can see it. We're 15 uh, feet up the wall, and it's yeah, like a I think you know what you could do is hold your action until Kiana gets you to the top. I can get us right up there, so. Uh, right now, okay. I'd, I'd say up against the wall, you don't really have line of sight yeah. on that one. So yeah, basically, you, you just move on my initiative instead, so. Yeah, no, so, that's, yeah. that's fine, okay. Uh, I will then, uh, and I can't like shoot two and hold one, so okay, yeah, no, like, I'm, I'm gonna hold my, uh, I'm gonna hold my Scorching Ray. Scorching ray. Yeah. Okay, but then we'll you'll get, get to choose second. who you attack once, you know, once it's your Sorry, what? all right. You'll get to choose who you're attacking. Like, you can do one yeah. at the Brazier and then two at other people um, on Kiana's turn. Yep. All right, yeah. bound spirits, we got two. We got more. Oh, two. God, yes. Yeah. Swarms. Oh, but that's a, that's a different number than it was. Yeah. We got one. I'm rolling a dice to see how many come out. Ah, that's one. And I'm rolling one poor this time I was the last couple times. One. Oh, my God. Different D4. Another D4. It doesn't right. change because the fire has been lit on those corners. Mm, no, nope. I don't know why it would. Okay. Oh, why does any of this work? Suspicious. Is there water in those fountains? There's. Is there fountains? water in those? They're not really fountains, so much as just statues. And no, there's no water here. Don't get to draw any water. <laughs> there are fountains. Okay, cool. So that's eh. on Finbar. Three are going to swarm Virla. No. Oof. Who's drawing the do something guy on the left? Stop. <laughs> 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 All right, we got uh, this guy will move into Finbar. All right, Finbar I didn't coming. I think you would. Four attacks at you. So quick. Okay, go for it. Uh, that's a 16. <laughs> Uh, At least let me draw the three, stick. So 22 Yeah, hit. no, go ahead. 22 hits. Years before I you take this 12 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> okay. Yikes. No! Virla. Bidbar, please heal. Five. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, can I, um, before that uh, before that lands, uh, yeah, what's can that? I use my warding flare, or is that specifically I have to do it before? Oh, uh, I'll allow it, because you're, you're new to this. Okay, so well, I'm going to roll a disadvantage. Uh, also, I rolled the Virla 1, and it missed. So oh, I'll roll, I'll roll again for Finbar. Uh, it's okay. I don't know if it's going to hit, though. Uh, 14, 17 to hit. 17 Finn? will not hit. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. So I see this, like, flash of light um, uh, appear. Uh, and, oh, wait. Uh, you can't use your reaction because you're holding an action, which uses your reaction. Oh, to I was worried right. about that, yeah. Okay, so, all right. Never mind, sorry. By... No I winding mean, so, back the clock today. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me be clear. Sorry, Hans. Let me be clear. You can do this. You can warning flare to negate the damage, but you won't get your held action on your turn. Yeah, no, I, I, I I've, I've got to keep my action then. Okay, in that case, yeah. yep, it still goes through. Sorry, Finn. I've got heals I can use All later right. after we light it. <laughs> oh no, we got plenty of heals right. Now. Yeah. All right, Kiana, it's your turn. All right, we're getting up the rest of this friggin' wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're All right. what, fifteen feet up? Uh, yeah, we're fifteen feet up. There's twenty-five so... feet to go. 
and you're you at half movement you have 20 so if you use a bonus action or an action to dash you that's what i was there. thinking so i can get us up most of the way with my action i'm going to use my bonus action to just pop us up over the edge um and uh cool. yeah i i mean i can't lug us closer uh, uh i mean once we're over the edge that's that's enough for me to be able to see it because then we're in, in line of sight kind of just no... drops them it's just like we're here <laughs> <laughs> all right Roll the hit. Uh, Roll the hit with your uh, your held. Yeah. And, all right. Uh, let's go. So first spell. one is. Oh god, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Uh, score training plus eight. That is a fifteen. That'll just hit. You so light the final hit. brazier. Ooh. Yeah, okay. baby. This has been my favorite battle map. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna do? You got two more, I think, right? Yeah. From... So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn back around. There's a couple moves uh, down and there. look down to. Oh, these the, guys didn't dash. Uh, I'll move. I'll dash. To, to two of the four mooks that are right next to Finbar, so I'm gonna point to the one at the bottom and then shoot the other Scorching Ray at that one, and that's a uh, nine plus eight, seventeen. Okay, uh, that'll hit. So and the last uh, one. Okay, dies. Uh, I'll, I'll go for the one on the right. That's a five plus eight, thirteen. That'll also hit. That guy dies. Oh wow! Okay. Wow! Look at you, nice. hands. Cool. Uh, can I roll for overkill? Because I mean, I get two d six. I don't know if that's gonna do it. But uh, no, these get those. It's not a line effect, and it's not a melee oh, okay. attack. You just target gotcha. one guy and you hit him. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You Alrighty. line up the shot. Two uh, go wide and hit these other uh, spirits. One lights the brazier. You see all the braziers burn a little brighter. Uh, there's a pause as the crackling dies down, though. Like the sound kind of gets quieter, and you hear. Oh no! The sound of hoof beats. No. Oh, no. Emerging oh, no. from the no, fire no, in the no, middle. No! 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 You see you what right? can only be described. It's a man in the as top a hat. Nightmare. <laughs> oh, okay. No! Hold no! 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 no. <laughs> you good, Danny? You see? Hold on, I gotta. I gotta. Oh move. shit! <laughs> Uh, you see, uh, here, I'll put Danny back now. There we go. You see a horse with flaming hooves, uh, flaming tail, flaming mane, oh riding on its back, a man oh, dressed rider. all in black. Sophia, do you know what this is? Uh, I just don't like horses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. Should put in the lines of the guy on the horse? I no had, problem. I'm not scared of horses. I just have personal beef with them. <laughs> I, I like totally understand you're not, you're not oh no knowing at a nightmare like a, 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 <laughs> yeah. a fueling fiery you know steam. Like it's just a not at all. It's a horse. I just have personal <laughs> beef with horses as as creatures in general. We that's fair. We're not friends. We don't align. We don't work together well. We haven't really collaborated well in the past. It's just you know. You see a man with a huge great sword, car uh, clad in spiky black armor. His eyes like two little pits of hellfire. Like black robes and chain mail. He emerges from the fire and he calls out Zariel! What? You come for our reckoning? Oh, uh, and okay. then he looks around to all of you. He sneers. He says, No. Insects. His I... voice, like, like a voice from beyond the grave, almost like disembodied, coming from his mouth. Um, he says, Send you in a place. You will fall before the blade of Avernus. Ah, fire god. Oh, we've been there. Shit. <laughs> I, I think you got the wrong guys. Uh, that ain't okay. That's some episode two bullshit. Callbacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hans, you want me to leave you up here on this wall while I go down and punch that guy? Yeah, sure, if I not. Cool. <laughs> Just check it. Haruman rolls initiative. <laughs> Garumon? He, yep, he comes no. out at a 15. Okay. Oh, weak sauce, bro. So, Harmon and the Nightmare are both going on 15. Oh, his name is Harmon? Get it? Nightmare? Like, uh, Haruman. Like what a female horse ha is Harmon. called? Harmon. The, the Nightmare? Haha. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is yes. the original etymological source of Nightmare. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Learn something uh, new every It was day. like, yeah. All right, Kiana, that's your movement. What would you like to do? Well, I also use my bonus action to uh, get us a that's little. True. Actually, I didn't use anywhere near all of my movement. No. You can go so... right back down. 
Yeah, <laughs> and now I've got my full speed. I can get almost to the bottom again. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I was just kind of pop myself like uh, here-ish to indicate that I'm close to the bottom of the wall again, but I don't, um, I moved up like, uh, I got us almost to the top and then five, 10 over. Yeah, so uh, I basically have 35 movement left to get down the wall. So I'm like 10 feet up still, I think. Um, About five feet up. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I counted the five feet to move back to the wall. Oh, I'm really not close enough to, well, you know, I'll just punch this one that's on Finbar that's actually close enough to me. Um, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, hey. Uh, 18 to hit. Poof. Sweet. I did something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's uh, All that's right. my action bonus action. I didn't need to use my reaction because I didn't jump this time. Oh, but that would have been so much more efficient. No, we're good. Everything's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's me done. All right, Finbar, you're up. Come on, All right, Finbar. uh, uh, Help. you look a little uh stuck over there, Vila. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to once again cast Wither and Bloom, uh, centered on his location, but not targeting him. I need con saves from every single one of those enemies. All right. uh, I was kind of scared there. Does a 15 I'm save? A uh, 15 does not save. Yeah. DC 16. Uh, so they. Fourteen. So I don't even have Three. to roll damage. Ten is um, a so fail. Yes. Oh. Four is a fail. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Good shit. Um, so the way Wither and Bloom works is technically you roll a hit dice in order to determine um, how much you heal. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you get the heal from uh, Leyland. So, uh, no, from the... From Leyland and the uh, Chalice. So, uh, uh, Noir, I need you to roll a hit dice. And then you're going to get uh, an extra. Yes. Yeah, just get a d6 on that. Yeah. Then you get a d8. One. One, okay. Uh, one plus... One plus 16, so 17 hit points. Oh! Oh, that's a great... Nice. That, like, that... That, I'm, I'm up at full again. Nice. Woo. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Quick sound off. How many uh, HP does everyone have? Start with Finbar. I'm at a solid, uh, I'm at full. I'm at 69. Nice. Cool. Hey, nice. Yeah. nice. <laughs> Me? Yep. I haven't been hit once. I'm still at full with my three bonus hit points. Cool. Which is 43 total. Danny? 29, maybe, which is not that far off from my maximum, but I, it's, it's also not great. <laughs> Virla? Not great to be facing down a nightmare. Uh, full at 40. And Hans? 80, uh, uh full. Cool. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sli a little slip there. Hans, Hans. I'm Sorry. Full. What are you doing up full. there? <laughs> I know I put you there, but you let me. <laughs> Harmon will draw his 80? sword. Oh, I didn't want He's you to waste to the make... action on me. I'll be fine. <laughs> He's going to make three Hellfire Lance attacks. Oh, well, he's got three. He's going to see how many he has to use. Uh, first one against Danny. Oh, great. All right. Now I got to go help Danny. That's okay. uh, natural 19 for a total of 29 to hit. Ah! Uh, I'm going to use one of my warning flares to make that a disadvantage. Yeah, baby. Oh. Okay. D nice. Did you? Yeah, your turn came back. No, wait. Has your turn come back around to get your reaction back? Uh, wait, so hold on. He no, your turn has not. No. To, to go on my turn. He, yep, and then his reaction comes back at the start of his turn at initiate count. Initiative but he didn't count. use his reaction last round. He did. He used his reaction to hold his action. So what happens yeah. when you hold your action is you, your reaction triggers it. Oh, what? Fine. Yep. Weeks okay. That's, the, that's the strength of holding your action is that you lose your reaction. So uh, that's, that's a 20. Yeah, so 29 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. So that's going to be... Uh, ooh, I never get to roll d12s. Oh, boy. Uh, what? Uh, that's, si uh, I didn't roll that good. Uh, seven piercing damage. Yes. Okay. 13 fire, so that's half to six for you. Okay, Danny is still up. Not for long, I imagine, <laughs> but still. Maybe he's going to attack, attack the rest of us. I don't know. Uh, second attack is only a total of 18. I will use yes. shield to bring yep. my AC up to 20, and so that one does not hit. Uh, and then, uh, only a 16 hit. I can roll right there. My AC's 20 now. Cool. Whew. Okay, uh, good. He will use, uh, Terrifying Command. Mm. Can I get everyone Oof. within 60 feet, which is everyone, to please make a constitution saving throw? Okay. Oh, sorry, oh. charisma saving throw. Charisma saving oh, throw. No. Charisma. charisma. I went from being huh. like, that's fine, to being like, oh, God. 
Oh, oh beans, you know what? No. I don't think I have my uh I don't have my, my, my face mask up, so I don't have a bonus on this. I will mm. use my flash of genius oh. to oh, on myself. Shit. And Danny bobbing and weaving after just being stabbed is like hoo hoo. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if I bob and weave I wonder if I could go under the horse. And I'll add three to my roll. <laughs> I rolled an eighteen total, so So Kiana, 18 saves. Danny, Good. what'd you roll? Uh, with the Flash of Genius, uh, 21. That saves. Also, I'm just going to say, Hans is 40 feet up, so he shouldn't be within 60 feet of this. Uh, so, okay, non-Euclidean, uh, you uh, take the longest side. So 40 feet and 35 feet, so he's 40 feet away from Harmon. God, that's stupid. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Uh, it prevents us from having to do so much math. It's yeah. just uh, Finbar, trigonometry. You roll? Uh, I rolled a 14. Fail. Kiana, what'd you roll? I said 18, so. Oh, 18 succeeds. Sorry, I already did. Virla, what'd you roll? 13. 13 fails. Hans, what'd you roll? Yeah. One. <laughs> One. One. Failure. Everyone who failed is frightened of Haramon. Okay. <laughs> is that everyone or? Uh, Danny's Wait, not that's, and Kiana's not. <laughs> uh, Kiana and Danny succeeded. Girl's so nice. a reminder, <laughs> frightened creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls while they can see the thing that's frightening them, and they can also not willingly move closer. Then he will command the nightmare. Mm. The nightmare will hoof Danny. Oh, good. Uh, I only terrible. Eleven doesn't hit. Dice is twenty. Dice is not on my side. New D twenty coming out. Boy. All right, that there is Harmon's turn. Danny, what would you like to do? Jesus, all right. Uh, Get <laughs> away from the nightmare. You see, he looks down at you as he slices and then pounds harmlessly against two of uh twice against your arcane shield the the nightmare rears up smacks its hooves down uh <laughs> nothing happens it can't crack your your shield uh and then he uh looks up to the sky and he shouts out this is what you send to me these pitiful <sighs> and then it's your turn the you, force Dad. ballista behind me is gonna and turn around and now be facing the nightmare. Uh, and I'm going to fire mm -hmm. on it with my bonus action uh, with the force ballista. Please. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. 23 will hit. All right. Good. So it's going to have to be forced to move five feet away from me then. Uh, that is 14 points of force damage and he's pushed five feet back. Cool. He maintains his grip. Okay. I just mean like the, oh, no, I was aiming for the nightmare. Oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. So, uh, what did you say that was 14? Yeah. That, oh, that, yeah, also that hit to really hits a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It hits that guy even with his armor. No, that really hits a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I want cool. him to have to be. And then for an action? Yeah, yeah, because I don't want them uh, anywhere near me. I imagine he has a range of 10 feet, so I'm still within melee. Uh, you're actually correct about that. Mm, hmm. Shocking. Oh, do I do the safe thing or do I do the fun thing? You don't have enough hit points for the fun thing. <laughs> I never have enough hit points for the fun thing. That's what makes Danny oh such an exciting God. and thrilling glass cannon. <laughs> it's going to be my job to run in there and grab your butt <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you get taken out. I'll do the safe thing and use my action to disengage so that I can run away. <laughs> Yay. Uh, okay. So Danny's just gonna go her full movement uh, out of there. 15, 20, 25, I'm pretty sure this guy can Fantastic. catch up to me anyway, but I'm just kind of hoping he'll pick a different target. <laughs> well, he is riding a horse, so. Yes. Yeah. Oof. Um, and then. All right. Does that end your turn, Danny? So I'm just gonna like look back towards hands and just do like a frustrated like ah. <laughs> Fearla, you're up. Uh, okay. Uh, there's not much that I can do, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move 15 feet. No, I can't move 15 feet towards him. I'm frightened. You cannot yeah, move closer. Ah. Do you keep making will saves about that or something? Or at the end of his turn, he gets to make another save. End of my turn. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run back towards the rest of the group. I'll just move 30 feet here. Bonus action. <laughs> I'll move Bing back 
<laughs> back down to ground where he was, basically. Elevator's back down. Because I can't, uh, I can't move towards him, but Bing can. Oh! oh. There yeah. we go. Smart. I mean, I am moving Bing, so once again. I, don't, I don't know if that counts. I think that counts. But, sure. anyway. Go for it. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, so he's back down to ground, and I will just use my quarter staff. Um, so I just pull out a quarter staff, but you can see it's sort of tied to the lower half of it is, is that rain stick that I got as a gift. Uh, Aww. <laughs> so you swing it, and it just goes. <laughs> it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so yeah. soothing. Yeah, and I'll go and I'll, t I'll, I'll attack the, the one that I'm flanking Finbar with. with 2d6 with ASMR Finbar. damage. <laughs> Uh, and I'll hold it with both hands, so versatile. Casting fireball on your left ear, now I'm casting fireball on your right ear. <laughs> D&D ASMR has to exist, right? 100%. Probably. <gasps> Whole new meaning to slime tutorial. Ah. Okay, okay. All right, to hit is plus It's getting fours. a little Let's late. <laughs> it's getting very late. We had technical difficulties. Rolling. That's a natural one. Thank you, oh, wait, I'm flanking, Whoa. so I have an You're advantage. flanking, yes, yes. at an edge. Get him, get him. That's a natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> Do oh, boys, destroy them. Virla, go ahead and do the math because you might get an overkill here. I might. Uh, well, so I get a, I'm, I said I'm doing verse, but I also have the D8 plus one plus eight. Yep. Oops. No, just, geez. Oh no, I'm fumbling, I'm throwing. Three plus nine, 12. Hmm. 12 will do it. Nice. Overkill. Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. You swing okay. the staff through and yeah. It can awesome. make collision okay. and then just swings right through. Totally surprising you, I imagine. Yeah, I am surprised. This is probably the first time I've used the quarter staff in a while. Yeah. Because even when I was like attacking as a quarter staff, I was just using the staff, the clockwork swarm. So yeah. <laughs> Second quarter staff. All right. Does wow. that end your Second. turn, Birla? That does. Yeah. All right, Hans, you're up. Okay, so uh, Hans is quickly in the however many seconds I have to chat, uh, talk to uh, Arcadius and be like, "This was your." Big fucking idea! What the hell is this? We were supposed to be contemplating. <laughs> yes, you're contemplating your place as Morning Lord. Haramon, there is a fallen follower. End him. What the dip, Arcadios? <laughs> you can oh, tell yeah, what's about to prepare first. <laughs> thank you, Kiana. Thank you. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like try to psych myself up for a second, like still absolutely terrified because I've I've got like the frightened effect on. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna be like, okay, okay, okay. You can do this. Not going to be Junior anymore. Uh, <laughs> and then what Hans is going to do is cast Blade Barrier at the sixth level, huh? calling Ooh. a uh, oh god, what's the the um, a twenty foot uh, twenty foot tall? No, a twenty cool. foot tall, sixty feet in diameter. I need to draw more squares. Sixty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, giant a ring overkill blue spells. around this horse and Harmon. Uh, which... That's thirty feet in diameter, bud. It's oh, twice okay, as big as on. that. <laughs> okay. And I'll just make like a. Uh, gosh, hold on. Uh, sixty feet. Are diameter? you gonna coincidentally shred up? The last little shadow ghoul thingy. Oh, am I? You can basically. Oh my god! I don't know how you're gonna. You... I can't. God, how do I undo lines in D and D Beyond? Well, so <laughs> merciful soul, and please also, go in and delete. There's those. basically no way to do it. It's uh. I think only Austin can. Only Austin can. can delete those lines. Yeah, I can only. I can do it, but then I'll start deleting like tokens. Only Austin. Oh, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Sure Pretend we'll that my elements. my drawings don't don't matter. So I'm gonna do is if I can get All my the drawings in this map my, matter. My stuff right. It's gonna be everything's made up, and the drawings five, don't matter. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and then basically a circle on the entire like this half of the the thing. But of course, like slightly to the left. So, oh god, why can't I draw this? <laughs> ah, this is so difficult. You can just like draw the 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 barriers, like like just like thirty feet. I think you can kind of like wall them in, essentially. Um, you yeah, can also make it a straight line if you want, dude. Just cut him off from the rest of you. Yeah, yeah. okay, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> My big cool moment, I can't draw shapes in full <laughs> play. Um, yeah, okay, so it's a hundred foot long wall. Um, Dang! So now I can draw freehand. It's just like... <laughs> that. Okay. Uh, and it is a giant wall. Oh, why, is it still, why is it still going? Okay. <laughs> God. The it's big that. one is the right one? 
There's my wall. Big one. Yeah, right there. That's my wall. And Ooh, it okay. does, for anyone who's that. inside of it, uh, 60 10 damage <laughs> on <laughs> a um, That's failed sick. deck Let me see. save. Yeah. And uh, anyone it's... who's behind the wall, which is the left side, has three quarters cover. And crossing yeah, so... the space is difficult terrain. When he crosses the wall, so any creature that crosses it or starts its turn there takes the damage. So if he has to cross on his next turn, then... He's going to start his turn in it, though. Like uh, That's true, actually. He's standing in the wall, so you're right. Yeah, so that was my intent. Both going to take damage to begin with. Is that the, uh, yeah, the, the thing happens, uh, like... Uh, cool. Uh, yeah. And just the walls dope. area for a first time, which I guess would be right now. Um... Uh, no, that's on oh, its uh, turn. No, damn. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, the warning so, means on So don't worry. You're gonna get. Yeah. To, he's gonna make deck saves. He's gonna take some damage. We're gonna do it on his turn. Uh, gonna it's roll some dice later. Bounce and then spirits. do I get to make a, a roll to not be uh, terrified anymore? Uh, yes, charisma saving throw, and we've got oh. one for Virla. So Virla, right, yeah. you're at it. Do that. Uh, that is a fifteen. Uh, a four. That does not. No succeed. two. Neither uh, of okay. Well, I didn't expect uh, a two. To I have a minus two to charisma, so that's no. Uh, it's a two. All right, here we go. Oh, you're going to have a hard time with this one, Virla. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm Sound spirits. Uh, are you They're serious? still coming? Are you? Okay. Oh, it's fine. why would we think lighting the brazier They're would gonna help? They're going to walk I don't right know. into the wall of uh, blades oh, and just get eviscerated. These guys, yeah. Actually, all these guys are just going to get shredded. Um, <laughs> there's no way for you to roll. Even if they make the save, there's no way for you to roll low enough, basically, to not... The, the odds of that, that happening are so small. So we're going to say that those ones just emerge and immediately get shredded. Ha. Skip over to this side. Amazing. How long does you'd, Blade you'd Barrier have to last? Roll, uh, six six turns. turns. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Oh, no. Sorry. It's concentration up to 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Up to 10 minutes? That's bonkers. Hey. Yeah. Well, I'll six just have level. to knock out that concentration beforehand. <laughs> That was my one six level spell. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, especially when you're supposed to be casting Legend Lore on someone later. I'm, I'm, that, 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 that's fifth. Two, I've still three. got it. I've still got it. Oh my god. That's fifth level. 40. Cool. And then uh, we'll move those guys afterwards. Uh, cool. So attack on Danny incoming. Hell yeah. Aren't those the guys that got shredded by the wall? Nope. The ones that got shredded on the wall I never even put on. Oh. Mm. oh, wait, wait, wait. You, oh, you drew the line straight across. Sorry, yeah, there's yeah. green lines here. The line is like straight, straight, straight up and down. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. It's, it's oh, in yeah, between the my, my circles. So shredded on <laughs> you, could, you could have picked yeah. any other color, that my guy. Dead. You that one's picked. dead. These ones are all dead. Oh, right. sorry. As they, yeah, they're not color. smart enough. This, okay, so this this guy lived. The rest of these ones down here died. <laughs> my brothers. And uh, avenge me. those guys are all All right. Attack on one attack on Danny. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Uh, I believe my AC... No, actually my AC would not be 20. Uh, I will use my reaction to cast shield because uh, it's my turn again. Has passed, so... Ah. Uh, my okay. AC is 20 now. So no. Cool. Uh, three attacks on Virla. So that is uh, 16 to hit Virla. Uh, I will use my reaction... Yes. Actually, no, because 16 still hits even with shield. Nah, never mind then. Yeah. Yeah. You take nine necrotic damage. Eh. Oof. Uh, and then this guy down over here is going to dash. We're 30, 30, 40. There we go. He yeah, runs up. Okay. All right. Go Good join grief. your friends. Kiana, you're up. Uh, I don't like anything that's happening here. Um, Not even my cool blades. <laughs> I do like those. Those are very cool. 5, 10, 15. Punching Lefty Magoo, the one that's right by Finbar. One of okay. the two that's right by Finbar. Uh, 14 to hit. 14 will hit. Okay. It goes poof. Uh, roll damage just for overkill. Okay. Uh, nine points of damage. Nope, just the one. Okay. Second attack on the one right above me. Uh, uh, oh, wait. 15 to hit. Oh, yeah. Roll yeah. just for o overkill. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10 points of force damage. No, uh, still just the one. That's the maximum I can roll, so. Oh, uh, um, okay, yeah. So, never mind. Yeah. You'll never crack. You'll yeah. never crack. You have to hit 11. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I guess if I critted, maybe. Um, That's true. If you crit, you'll you'll be able to do overkill. Uh, I really don't like these things, Monchin mon uh, on Verla. So I'm gonna flurry of blows. Um, just spend Thank that you. two point real quick. No problem. Uh, let me just hatcha. Okay. Huh. 
Oh, hello, natural 20. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, I'd have to crit to overkill. Uh, uh, all proceeds right. to crit. Uh, D6 plus four plus six. Uh, oh, wait, but that is 12, which is exactly one over, over what I needed, right? Yep, overkill on both of them. Nice. All right. You punch right through, get two off to okay. them off of Virla. In that case, uh, I'm going to use more of my movement to close and get the one off of Danny, too. Thanks. I have 10. No problem. Huh. Uh, yep. dirty 20. Oof. I mean, it hits, so. Poof. Adios, amigo. I mean, I'll roll damage just again. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it does damage, so it goes poof. Austin? Yep, he goes poof. <laughs> okay. Sorry, check it, double checking rules. I got a lot of rules going on right now. Yeah, 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 All yeah. right, <laughs> that's, that's me. Battlefield cleanup duty. <laughs> All Please right. Battlefield cleanup, I think it's going to go to the blade barrier that shredded two-thirds <laughs> of the minions. Yep. On this yeah. turn. Like Finbar, order. you're up. All As they right. just walk uh, into it and just get shredded up. Cool. <laughs> I will walk up to Danny. Hi. Um, I will put my hand on her shoulder and be like, you doing all right? No. Uh, he has, <laughs> he's a little bit to help. Uh, and I'm going to do a third level cure wounds. Oh, thank you. So this is going to be 48 plus a d4 plus 8. Uh, and we got, ooh, big, 15, 20, 21 plus 8. 29. Thank you. I'm back nice. up to my maximum. Woo! Very nice. Which is 38, nice. but still. <laughs> oh, finally, I have slightly more health than someone in the group. <laughs> okay, uh, now uh, get back in there, and I'm going to uh, bonus action. Uh, does the chalice rebound some healing, or did you add that into Danny's? That's, that's all of it, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Fantastic. Can I get another quick... Uh, oh, yeah. Anything else, Finbar? Oh, uh, bonus action, I will turn invisible. Ooh. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Boop. Nice. I gotta set up next uh, turn. Sweet, uh, quick hit point sound off. Uh, Danny's at full at 38, yeah. Kiana. Still at 43, at, baby. Still you haven't hit me with anything. <laughs> uh, Virla? 31. 31. Finbar? Um, still at max, 69, baby. Woo. Nice. nice. Um, uh, I get my and, uh, Christmas saving throw at the end of my turn. Yep, you get your Christmas saving throw at the end of your turn. And Hans, what do you got HP wise? I'm at full. Mm -hmm. You're full. That's a natural 17. Whatever that is. Natural 17. <laughs> 17 succeeds. All right. Yes, at last. All right. Okay, I'm good. Dex save for the horse, dex save for Haraman. As the start of their turn. That's a uh, 16. Let me just double check, make sure no one has any magical resistance. Harmon does, so Boo. he's gonna get to re-roll. The horse, I'm pretty sure, failed. This poor fucking horse. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, it's an evil horse, don't worry. Yeah, the horse oh, failed okay. with a 14. Harmon uh, rolls a, a one, so they both fail. Go ahead, yes. roll. Uh, what is the Holy damage they take? Shit. That's that's Six, a nice 10, big... Right? 60, 10, that's a 38. Oh, <sighs> baby. Jesus Christ. Huge chunk good. out of both of them. Yeah, eat it. Just a little you bit see the half. blades shred as they walk what as they walk out the terminator style <laughs> magical blades that are bathed in this kind of goldeny rose colored <laughs> dawn light uh That's and I, I shout from over the uh over the crenellations in the wall eat daylight bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah hans you see uh Harman emerges uh looks up at you i have known men of god like you Enough pretending to be what you are not. You think I am fallen? I rise to shoulder a cosmic burden that none of you dare take up. Well, you think oh, you're a hero? Think... Well, I've dealt with these assholes for like two days, so I think I've got you beat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I've been only kind and supportive to you. It's probably fair for me. You see, he turns his head and looks over. He says, they they let me help heroes. you with that. Okay. He raises a finger. Points Thanks, to a Hans. space in the middle of all oh, of you. No. Can I get everyone to please make a dexterity saving throw? Ooh, this Gladly. Like I love dexterity ball. saving throws. Uh, this feels like shit. perhaps not great for... Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, Don't I have a thing about this? I rolled a natural 20 go, plus 2. So 22. The most useless of all natural 20s and yet also very reassuring. <laughs> we just Also just rolled a, a nat 20. Hey, I did 20s. not. Hold on. Iconic duos. <laughs> the two... 
Uh, we're kind of no, standing next to each other. <laughs> oh, we're right. we got the D4 high five, five and like duck uh, at the same time. Uh, uh, that's okay. only the D4 is only on ability checks, Kiana. Really? This doesn't count? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so well, I got a 15 total. Um, Kiana, that's a fail. Finbar, okay. you got a nat 20. You succeed. Dan, you got a nat 20. You succeed. Virla, what'd you roll? 12. Virla, you fail. If you failed, you took 24 fire damage. <laughs> no, uh, I don't. Half, I take half. You take half, so half to uh, so Virla takes twenty four, oh, Finbar yeah. takes twelve, Danny takes six because <sighs> yeah. she's resistant, and Kiana takes twelve. Yeehaw. Uh, am I in the range of that? No, nope, it's only a twenty foot radius, so it blasts up the wall, but it doesn't get you. Thank God I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> in addition, if you failed, mm-hmm. oh, no. uh, you take twenty nine necrotic damage. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, sh- Virla. Ah. Oh. Which Ow. is <laughs> which is halved uh, if you succeeded. So 29 down to 14. So uh, Kiana, you have evasion, so you take 20, uh, you take 14 necrotic. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Finbar, Let me just heal back some of that. <laughs> Finbar, you take 14 necrotic. Danny, you take 14 necrotic. Uh, Virla, you take 29 necrotic. Virla, no. Virla's down. Virla. How many hit points did Virla have left? Seven. Hold on. I was at 31. Well, like before what? the necrotic, you mean? Before all the damage he just took. 31. He had 31 damage and he just took 53. So oh, yeah. minus 31. Uh, only 22 into the negative, so you're not killed outright. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. He it. uses his Hellfire Orb. Oof. All bing, right. Bing, I remember this thing. As it explodes okay. outwards. Textbook orb strategy. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Danny, what would you like to do? Oh my okay. god. This wizard ain't pondering this orb. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the nightmare's gonna uh, go. Of course, the horse. Real quick. I'll <laughs> kill you. Five, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> I swear to god. <laughs> oh no, please. <laughs> <laughs> the nightmare's going to roll. I didn't do anything. Advantage. I'm just a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> the nightmare's going to he roll at advantage. to be a real boy. <laughs> to hit. Wait, can I can I can I use my my warning flare to make that a disadvantage? You absolutely can. So it's going to be one dice roll. Oh. He adds six to this. I'm going to roll this in front of the whole group right now. Do it, bitch. One d twenty plus six. Mm. Oh, twenty five to hit. Oh. Barely, you take two failed death saves. Yeah. Okay. 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 Barely, it's your turn. I'll Please make a death oh. saving throw. Oh, my no. Turn? no, no, yep. no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Um, you got any, insp- anyone got any inspirations in the bag? Yes. I have one. Virla, would you like it? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. It's a Boy, D8. That'd be great. If you roll, Thanks. It's a D8. If you roll a one, it's impossible to succeed. Can I also give him my inspiration? <laughs> you cannot stack inspirations. Fine. Okay. Here we go. That's a 10. <laughs> So, a 10 is a uh, success. Okay. Yeah, Holy shit. What the Two fuck? Two failed dude? saves, one successful save. I'll kill you in real life, Austin. Hans. <laughs> I can't believe you're attacking our Pinocchio boy die. like this. Hans, it is your turn. Okay, I can't I can't move any closer. Ah! Okay, it's okay. What I'm gonna do is is Hans is gonna be like, okay, you've seen people die literally in front of your face and you ran away. Not going to do that anymore. Arc. Good. I can't run. I can't run towards the combat because I'm frightened. But <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a um, mass cure wounds oh. at the fifth oh. level, uh, which is going to be a 3d8 plus four. Uh, that'll be for a uh, uh, 3d8 plus uh, four. Who's who's low? So we've got Virla. Virla's uh, definitely uh, lowest. Uh, mass cure wounds can hit. I think five different people. Uh, for me, it says. Does Let it not add when you quick... add, like, if you upcast? I guess I don't oh, know what level it's Oh, no, at. never mind. Never mind. It's up to six creatures. Yeah. Ball yes. One. Okay, cool. So it's so everybody, everybody gets uh, uh, 18, oh. 22. Everyone gets 22? 22. Nice. Oh, thank you. Big. Thank you. You. I'm so, almost back up to full. <laughs> Hans, please tell me what that looks like. Okay, so Hans still absolutely panicking. It's like I did my I did my biggest spell. I, I did the, the, the blades. The whole thing was like, oh, if you're ever in a real shit situation, pull out this. You can only do it once a day, but it's super cool. And I did that. 
and it didn't help. <laughs> so, so Hans is like, okay, okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. All of his worst fears of like, you've been out in the field, you've been out in like like war scenarios out, you know, like near portals to the Shadowfell, like people die in front of you, you can't save them. Yep. Like all of these like Vietnam flashbacks are playing like over and over and over just on a constant loop. And I'm sure Danny is, or not Danny, Kiana's getting like all of this. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, and interesting is a like, word. I, I, what was that? Interesting is a word for it. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> um, oh so Hans is like, there's so many people I haven't been able to save. I'm not going to let that happen again. And then just like puts the hands out and then just like boom, healing energy, you know, flowing golden pink rose colored, you know, sunlight spilling out like a, like a kind of like celestial spoopy looking waterfall uh, down off the, uh, the side of the wall and, and in towards the, uh, the, the kind of castle keep area flowing over the uh, four party members, not that fuckhead horse. Uh, <laughs> you, you uh, and healing for 22 points. You know what occurs to me? If we hands. could just push him like five or ten feet back, he'll be back in the blade barrier at the beginning of his turn. So, <laughs> don't worry about it. Just saying. Another tasty 60 10. Uh, and then after that, as a bonus action, uh, I'm going to use my uh, Celestial Revelation Radiant Soul, hmm. which is uh, basically I grow like, no, I don't grow, but like I, I produce like celestial wings and can fly and then I'm like glowing radiant and gold and fantastic. <laughs> what? Uh, the flavor you text is, is cool, but uh, <laughs> it, it's amazing how such a cool spell is so dry in the rule book description. <laughs> um, so I... Uh, I basically get to, you know, luminous spectral wings sprouting out from my back, uh, and I have extra flying speed and, and things like that. So I'm basically awesome. going like, like uh, ultra instinct, uh -huh. uh, binary star mode, uh, Hans, uh, right now. Nice. Now make your charisma and you, save. And I make my fucking charisma save. <laughs> make your charisma uh, save. You know, I, I'm gonna roll this. I'm gonna roll this on the table because I don't. I don't, I don't trust this piece of shit. Oh, two. It's a two, oh. baby. It's a two. Oh, you, you're still scared. <laughs> you're still a coward. <laughs> you raise your hands. Sunlight f f washes over these people. Oh Virla, gosh. your eyes open. Uh, oh. And Hans, you evoke your true, like, internal godly form. You bring out the, the god half of your half-human, half-god ancestry. Hmm? That's awesome. <laughs> He's an Asimar. Yeah, that's my baby. Yeah. As oh, you yeah. do, as you do, um... You try to shake, you hear uh, 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 Arcadius uh, come to you in your mind. He says, yes, show them. He calls you coward. We know that it's not true. Show them you are a champion of the rose and gold. Show them you are Dawnbringer, Morning Lord, Crusher of the Dusk. Fuck off. <laughs> and then... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Hans you is, try is, to shake is, it, but you're you're not ready to shake the fear yet. Yeah, I, at this point, I'm like I'm scared of what I've just done. I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah, your guardian oh, angel man. has the vibe. Role of play moment. Like, if I could have rolled a twenty on the that, kid but, who's yeah. peer pressuring you in an after school special from like two thousand six. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, you want to try some drugs, uh, kid? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right, here we go. Down spirits. We get three over here. Even when clutching, I'm abysmal. <laughs> Still a disaster. There's something so endearing about a total disaster in the middle of combat. You're gonna attack uh, against Virla. They can't get advantage, but uh, because even though you're prone, but two of them roll up mm -hmm. on you. Uh, that's terrible. It's like an eight to hit. Ha. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, this one is gonna dash around Finbar. Doesn't get an action, and then this one down here is going to dash. Uh, the other portals all produce people. But they get treaded by the blade barrier. Yep. <laughs> they just walk mindlessly into the blade barrier. <laughs> Kiana, what would you like to do? Well, my current plan A is grabbing Virla and Danny and sprinting up the wall. <laughs> sure. I don't know if that's what people want, but yeah, I just saw it. Virla nearly die. Yeah. Live your life, man. I also have currently 19 strength. I don't know if that means I can carry both of them without penalty, but it sure would be nice. You're you're a, you're gonna be at quarter speed doing it. 
quarter speed. Hmm. Yep. Like they're, that. they're within your capacity to lift, but just being a medium creature, lifting up another medium creature, you're already at half speed. So doing it twice is... Yep. Hmm, quarter speed. That wouldn't get me fully up the wall, but it would get us out of reach of those fuckers. I'm not really that mad about it. Um, if you're going to take one of us, get Virla out. I'm getting Virla out, obviously, but I think I also want to get you out. I'll be so fine. I'm, I'm going to scoop make sure Virla's okay. Get him. You will not be fine. Oh, I'm grabbing fine. you both. Get We're getting him. most of the way up the wall, baby. Uh, <laughs> um, guys, guys, can we save the arguments till after we kill uh, this this dude over here? Absolutely not. Like, you gotta get him out. Get him out. Who said that? <laughs> okay. My my attacks that are left are only melee. They are. Yeah. I don't care. You're like super flanked. Um, yeah. Hey, right. I know. I'm grabbing both of you, and I think oh, I can do dang. that as one action because I get two attacks per action. Yep, that's right? your whole action. You can pick up both, and then you have 45 movement, so your 45 movement becomes uh, 10 feet of movement. Yep, we're uh, and then I can use my bonus action dash for another uh, taste You can move feet. your bonus action to dash. Yeah, so I can get cool. halfway up the wall. Sweet, okay, he's gonna take his attack of opportunity against you. On me, yeah. <laughs> Shit, 14 misses. <laughs> nice, <Fail>. fuck. <laughs> We're okay. going, baby. Let's go. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. Everyone, go ahead. and Move your token so I don't have to. Hacha. Yeah. Finbar, you guys can do up. whatever you want. I just don't want anyone getting stomped this round. That's my entire round. <laughs> yep, that is your entire round. Finbar, what are you gonna do? It's big. Okay. Um, they can't see me, so they can't take that opportunity. I will Correct. slide over to where Kiana was. Um, when I uh, reappear, I am holding my star map in my hand, um, and I will. Uh, let off um, a guiding bolt uh, on Haraman. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe this is at advantage. Because uh, you were invisible, yes. Okay, come on. I'm gonna actually I just feel need... very silly if he was supposed to have advantage on attacks because he is uh, mounted on a large creature, but you know, so it goes. Sometimes you forget about mounting rules because no one ever uses mounted combat. A large creature. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Finn, roll at advantage. 19? 19 will miss. 19 will, oh my god. Could you aim at the horse instead? <laughs> <laughs> I, too late, no. I already called Arma. Uh, fuck. I really needed that to hit. Yikes, yeah, I really You got an inspo? I, I do not, no. Do you want to borrow mine? <laughs> sure. Sophia's is also still technically oh, yeah, not that's used. True. That's true, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it's a I D8. I said it first, you could take mine. Yeah, D8. Okay. Drop it okay. out of my notes. Um, okay, that gets me up to a 23. That'll hit. Yes! Okay. It's gonna be 4d6 radiant. Okay. <clears throat> um, and I need him to make a strength saving throw. Trash, two, plus, I mean yeah. plus stuff, but Ooh. not 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 plus 13 or 14 or whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the pixie special, so nice. it's going to, the guiding bolt is going to hit him square in the chest. Um, it's going to do 11 points of radiant damage. Um, okay. And as it erupts, the uh, pixies will uh, appear um, and they will drag him 15 feet <gasps> into the blade barrier. Into the blade barrier! Oh, yes. oh sweet. Yes, another All delicious right. yes. 6 d10 of damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, on his turn, I think, hold on, let me double check the wording. That's great synergy. Uh, yeah. Synergy. So Team double check comp. the wording there. Hold Team on. Blade comp. barrier. Uh, when a creature enters the walls area for the first time on a turn, on a turn, this is a turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Not its turn, a turn. Or starts its turn there. Or, uh, so, wait, yep. does that mean that Finbar takes the damage, or that he takes the damage now on Finbar's turn and when he starts his turn in it? Correct. Hell he failed his, oh no, he's got advantage on his deck save. Hold on. Hell to the, yeah. This was uh, a strength save. Gah! Uh, the strength save he failed, he got pulled in. Then it was a deck save against the blades. Oh. He failed the deck save against the blades. Nice. <laughs> oh. So 60 10. Oh, I feel so bad. All right. We got 28. Not as good. Jesus. <laughs> got two ones. That's okay. Very you get good. to roll again in a little while. All right. Um, yeah. And I will make sure uh, the nightmare doesn't move, and I, I'm, I'm going to wade closer to this mass of uh, enemies standing right here. Cool. Haraman turn. Uh, he's going to make deck save at advantage because of his magic resistance. Um, mm. Ugh, I don't think that's... It was better, but I don't think that's going to be high enough. Oh. Yes. Oh, no, 17 against your spell save? Yeah, that's, that's half. Okay, so he's going to take half this time. 
That's okay. Let's go. Roll Again. high. Roll high. Let's go. Okay. 38. Yes. 30. Wow. So Woo-hoo. that's what? 19. 19. Oops. I did 18, so take one more off. There we go. 19. Yeah, you yeah. see he goes in and kind of just disappears um, into these blades, takes the damage twice, and then his turn comes around. You hear the footsteps. He emerges. Uh, he is like his armor's like shredded and messed up. There's a chunk of helmet missing and you can see scarlet red face underneath. Hey. <laughs> All like scarred. Hey, my IP. He's going to go, he's going to go five, 10, 15 and flank Finbar. Oh, he does no. have a token. Oh, he was like barely visible. And he's going to make three, three yeah, hellfire lance attacks against <gasps> Finbar. No. Uh, I'm going to make one of those uh, warding flare disadvantage. Okay. Yes. Uh, did you already use that against... No, that was last turn? That was yeah, last that turn. That was last turn. turn. It's gone cool. around again. So here we go. First roll is straight. First roll is a 26 to hit. Uh, okay, yeah. He is going to use his once per day Ferocious Surge. Mm-hmm. When, he okay. hits, when he hits with an attack roll, he can choose to turn that into a critical. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fuck. So he crits. No, 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 no. Uh, so that's 1d12 on the Hellfire Lance. 12. So that's, hold on, six, 11 plus 12, so 23 piercing damage. Okay. Gross. Oh, God. I take those. And then 39 fire damage. Yeah. Cool. Oh I will God. absorb elements now. Okay. Ooh. So that goes down to 18 fire damage. Okay. How are you doing, Finn? I'm what at 24. Got? Okay. Second okay. attack at advantage. <laughs> oh, right. Ah. There's more. <laughs> Uh, at advantage. Oh, I rolled. I rolled a six and an eight at advantage. Eighteen to hit. Eighteen does not hit. Oh. <sighs> Plus ten. Final attack at advantage. That's a natural nineteen. Okay. All right. Uh, oh. Yeah. That is. I am currently like resistant deal, right? against fire. Yep. Uh, that is nine piercing. Okay. And uh, six fire down to three. Woo. Okay, Finbar. I rolled terrible. I rolled a four and two ones you. on the dice. Holy. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. That ends his turn. Danny. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Nightmare does go. Mm. Uh, Nightmare will attack you at advantage with hooves. Mm. Okay. Nightmare, no. Uh, not the horse. Uh, 16 will not oh. hit. So, Danny, you're up. I'm getting the vibe that this guy might be fire resistant and or immune to fire. Mm, probably he's riding a fire horse. Yeah, and he's so. doing fire damage. Uh, so every time Danny has tried to use the power of gun, it has failed. <laughs> is there any mm-hmm. way to vibe check that like this guy can actually take uh, damage? A powerful guy is gonna be immune to non-magical attacks. Mm, Danny can do almost nothing. Oh man. Okay. Uh, force ballista. I mean, the force ballista. Yeah, but that's a bonus action. I'm trying to actually make. Uh, Scorching you can push him five feet into the blade barrier. It's not enough. It's ten feet away from him, I think. If you can push him closer to the blade barrier, still. <laughs> How does, does this guy look hurt? Does he or like has the? He looks. Yeah, pretty he's pretty fucked, fucked up. Yeah. Hmm. Do I try and blow a high level fire spell and hope that even with the resistance he takes a lot of damage, or do I try? It? If you can All at right, least take need, out the horse, that would probably quick, Danny. help. I think the horse might have similar issues to the guy in terms of fire, and res- <laughs> since it yeah. is on fire. Yeah, you, know that, I mean, you know that bit in Avatar where they try to send the letter to Toph, or is it to Katara, and she's like, Toph can't yeah. write, and they're like, we'll yeah. just send one to Toph, and they're like, I think yeah. we'll have a similar problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The fire guy and his fire horse. Mm-hmm. I'm detecting mm-hmm. a theme here. Uh, uh, Crippling over specialization. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, Danny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I can't find my computer mouse to do any more. Yana is holding me, which does make it difficult to make my range stuff. Or... Yeah, right now your speed is zero. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. But the cannon can move 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. So the cannon's going to loop around to the front of the horse because, or you know what? The cannon's going to walk and stand next to Finbar. I'm just going to scoot right under his legs. like. Uh, and I'll use my bonus action to fire the cannon on um, old pointy man. All right, disadvantage. Because mm-hmm. he's close by. 
Plus, uh, 17 and 18, so plus, uh, what is it, plus 7 or something like that? I don't know, some 20. Uh, it was plus 6 to hit, Yeah, so okay, that's good 23 to hit. to hit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ability to grow math, do math is directly proportional to the hour <laughs> to the evening that we get to. Uh, 2d8 plus 3. Oh, not terrible, not terrible. Uh, that is 16 points of force damage, and he gets pushed 5 feet away from the cannon. Punk. Fantastic. I can't move to get into a better range to do my only other push spell. Um, I'll get you to the top of the wall in the next turn. Yeah, that's not actually helpful for all the spells I have left. Uh, well, Danny will try to make him less effective at hitting things. Uh, I, nah, I'll snipe some of those little guys out. I'll take some so none of them can hit Finbar. Uh, Danny will cast another Scorching Ray, and I'm going to aim at each of the three... Little sure. dude's closest to Finbar. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I rolled really bad. Uh, the first one is a dirty 20. Um, then an, a 9 and a 14. <laughs> uh, a 9 will actually miess. Oh, no. Shocking. But the other two do, right? Yeah. The other two hit big. Okay. Nice. Uh, so the first one, the dirty 20, is going to be the one that gets the D8 added to it. For... Uh, you hit the little guys, yeah. right? Yeah. Overspill, yeah, there's overspill no... though, right? She uh, might be no, able to take over... out the others. No, it's it's when you do a melee attack or if you do like a line effect or, uh, or an AoE. These <gasps> Each spell just targets one guy. It doesn't keep going through gotcha. them. Gotcha. Okay. In that case, then two Otherwise, you could just, poof. you could just, you yeah. know, jump them between guys infinitely, which doesn't That would really be pretty work, cool, so. but... Uh, no. Yep. Okay. Danny, does that end your turn? Yeah, that ends my turn. <laughs> Virla, you're up. Okay. Don't suppose you yeah. can summon Bing again, can you? No. It's just oh. once uh, per long rest. Oh, no. Um, I will cast Tasha's Mind Whip yes. on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That damn horse. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Horse. Smart. Okay. Uh, intelligence zero. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that fails. Psychic damage. Uh, nine. Nine points of psychic damage and no reaction. Okay. It can only either move, attack, or bonus action. Very good. All right. Is that your turn? Yeah. I'll stay held on to Kiana. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hans, you're up again. So, since I cannot consciously move closer to uh, Harmon, bastard, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, using my, my flight, uh, of which I have uh, 30 feet of, I'm going to go kind of like tangential 1, 2, 3, 15, and then down 15 feet, uh, which should put me in range to cast in this little this little square right here, uh, Guardian of Faith, which uh, creates a large Ooh. spectral guardian uh, for the duration of the spell um, uh, in a place that I choose. And any hostile creature that moves to a space within 10 feet of the guardian for the first time on a turn, take a dex save or take damage. I don't know if this means that it does damage immediately or if it's only like an opportunity attack sentry turret. The wording is not super clear. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say I'm um, any creature that, to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the guardian for the first time on a turn. Yeah, I'm just going to say if they, yeah, if the, once a turn when they're within 10 feet, uh, they they have to make a dex save or take radiant damage. Okay, cool. In that case, that's not good. concentration. Uh, uh, since I can... Nope. Uh, no, it it's nice. not. I, it is specifically not. Uh, so I'm gonna put it here. I can only draw in green. So I'm just gonna <laughs> fill in this box right here with my with my little guardian. There you uh, go. And then at the start of next turns, it starts dealing radiant damage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that there. Uh, again, you know, like rest the holy symbol. Put the hand out. I've been yep, through this already. Yep. Uh, and then a glowing like kind of sentinel type thing in, in similar armor to, to Hans's, but um, without the cloak. It's just like full beaming bright, you know, all kinds of cool fancy stuff uh, with. Uh, with no, no, um, no, like weapon, but just a gigantic shield in its left hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, the blue of it all is starting to come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you'll see how he uses it next turn. Um, and then uh, he's gonna do that uh, for bonus actions. I've got nothing. Um, oh, I can do healing word. 
that? Uh, oh, no, no, I already cast a spell. I already cast a spell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, and then I will make my uh, charisma save. Yes, uh, yes please. Mm-hmm. That's oh. oh, that's cocked. That's cocked. Can I retroactively make my charisma save as well? Like forgetting to do so. That yes, please. Less. Uh, wow. That's just a ten. Damn it. That does not save. Uh, uh, does not save. Fifteen doesn't save either. Come on. Nope. <laughs> gotcha. All right. More spirits yeah. emerge. So I'm gonna move here. They're actually they're all just gonna gang up on. On you, Hans. Yes, no. Oh, even so. at my height. Oh, I yeah, thought you were. Fi- oh, you're 15 feet down. You're right. Yes, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So that's still way up in the air. So yeah. So Power these other guys are just gonna try to get Finn Barnes. Uh, oh wait, they have to make saves because they start their turn within 10 feet. So first of all, these guys each make a deck save. Um, uh, one succeeds, one fails. But oh, so one takes 20 damage, one takes 10. That kills them both. Mark hmm. those off your your Guardian of Faith, dude. Yeah. How many times can it do that? It, it 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 does until it deals sixty damage, so it's dealt thirty oh, so far. Oh, interesting. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just gonna kill all these guys, honestly. Cause <laughs> oh uh, no, <laughs> they're just gonna dash up to Finbar, and then when they do, they get into melee a uh, hit. So there's there's another one. Uh, so he makes a deck save. Nat twenty. Uh, so he saves, but he takes 10 damage, which is enough to kill him anyway. Okay, okay so 40 got point. 20 damage left. Yeah. Fail. The guy's dead. How much? How much damage? So 20. Okay, so then it's it's spent. Okay, and then one guy will get into melee with Finbar. <sighs> and roll terribly. He doesn't hit you. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh my Kiana, god. Kiana, now you're up. Okay, everyone's getting up on the wall. Why? <laughs> no. I did you see what it did, you guys? <laughs> All right, so that's my action. Ten feet. You're just dashing up the wall with your spider climb boots. Each person underneath an astral arm and yep. just chuck them up on the way. Okay, ten feet, twenty feet with my bonus action dash. I technically still have an action left, but like, what even to do with it? <laughs> um. I guess I can take my bonus action dodge. <laughs> I don't really have any ranged magic attacks. Um, I guess, yeah, yeah, I'll do my patient defense, or I guess my, just my action as a dodge. Uh, oh boy, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can close with the guy next round, it's just <laughs> I kind of wanted to get both squishy mages out of trampling range first. <laughs> uh, let me just yeah. double check wording on this. Okay. Cool. All right, time for my last big heal. Um, Secure wounds on myself. Uh, It's going to be uh, the D8 is going to land on Birla. Um, And here we go. Uh, So Birla uh, just gets uh, eight. That's fine. Thank you. Points. Um, I get 10. 1621 uh, for myself that is my action that's my last third level spell slot um, bonus action I don't really have anything um, you have a healing potion on you you could uh, yuck no no I've got nothing. I need, to, I need to remember I to buy healing like, potions. All right. Uh, we're, um, we're so good for it, too. I, I just got to take the rest of these hits. No. Uh, uh, I can use a warding flare on one. Yeah. Harmon walks up to you. Oh, no. This is going to be guess? the first attack. I assume you're going to use your disadvantage on the first one? Yeah, why not? Okay. A flash of blinding light. He rolls a disadvantage. That's only a 12 to hit. All right. Second Woo. attack. That's a 26 to hit. Mm-hmm. It's going to hit. Oh, man. That is max piercing, which is 17 piercing. Okay. And I and will five fire. immediately absorb elements that. Okay. Final attack. Does an 18 hit? 18 does not hit. Damn, what is your, how is your AC so high? It's 19. <laughs> oh, cry me a river. Oh, I took the armor. <laughs> protection fighting style. Oh, so okay. I have a plus one AC. Oh, yeah. there you go. That's, I'm like, I'm trying to do the math. I'm like, 
We've got the breastplate plus shield, shield. but that plus doesn't sound magical. It's a fighting style. There we go. All right. That was Harmon, and then the horse is going to. Oh well, the horse could have moved on. So well, at least the horse gets a roll of advantage. Uh, dirty twenty to hit. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's gonna hit. Uh, it's just a hoof. Oh, that's way better than I thought it was. I oh. swear to God. <laughs> I've yet to actually roll the hoof uh, yet. Uh, <laughs> nine bludgeoning. Oh, okay. And nine fire have to four. I am at one hit points. Uh, oh. Hans, if you don't heal him, I swear to God. <laughs> that is the end of Harmon's turn. Danny. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um, first, the cannon is going to, I guess, scoot and... I don't want him to right just push him back five feet. He's right up yeah, on the barrier. Right into the, the cannon barrier. doesn't no even need to move. Too. The sentinel's gone. It spent all its stuff. Oh, yeah. so, okay. Sorry, gone. I thought yeah. it was still there because it's a little marker. In that case, uh, yeah, the cannon will fire on him and try and push him five feet back. And also... Okay, a disadvantage because there's a guy within five feet of him. No shit mm. because bludgeoning, but that's fine. Oh, man. It wasn't at 20, but also um, uh, it's 22 to hit. Not a net 20. I added to get to 20. 22 will hit. Okay. Nice. Let me get pushed five feet Jeez, back. Get... Uh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay, damage from the thing, and then also I'm going to need go. you to roll damage from the blade ward. So that is uh, Which he 15 fails to save points on. of force damage. Nice. 15 points of force damage. And is that you, Blue, 27? Yeah, 27. I rolled like trash on that one. Guys, okay. it's so close. All damage is good damage. The sound of blades scraping against plate mail turns to the sound of blades cutting flesh. Ew. You want to hear something even worse? What? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Shatter! Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cast it in the middle of, like, basically, it's a, it's a, what is this? 10 foot sphere, radius sphere. So drawing that little bad boy on. Uh, where are my circles at? I'm just gonna freak hand it. You're gonna hit. You're gonna hit Haramon and one of the other guys. Oh yeah, I guess I could do that. I was just gonna cast it in the middle of the blades, but that actually makes more sense. Oh. I don't want to hit Finbar, so I was All trying right. to veer away from him. Um, yep, I get it. Uh, well, this dude's dead. Yeah. He failed to save. He has to make a then DC Harmon. 15 con save. He makes it. All right, he still takes half of 3d8 thunder. Actually, 4d8 thunder damage because I add my artificer <laughs> bonus. You'd have to roll so high, but it is possible to kill him on this turn. Come on, bud. <laughs> I don't want him to kill Finbar. Can I add my inspiration to this? Not to a damage right, roll. Dang it. Damn it. Yeah. Damage roll. Okay. Didn't roll terrible. So let's see. Uh, 23 points of thunder damage, which I guess gets half to 11. Math? Correct. 23 is half to 11 hit points, which is the exact amount he had left. <laughs> <laughs> Finish him! Oh my god. Get wrecked. Guys, the horse is still here. It's not oh. done yet. <laughs> Finish him! Oh, the horse runs away like Finish the coward it. it is. Finish him! How does how does he how does he go down? I like to think that like it's just all of the blades clanging together at once, amplifying the shatter sound to just a cacophony of horrible shoes. You know when the witch king gets like imploded yeah. on himself with all that black armor? Yeah. It's the exact opposite of that. <laughs> As he's shredded and the force of a concussive blast just destroys him from the inside out uh you see bits of little metal go flying flung by the, the sonic burst and also from the blade barrier itself just shredding him to pieces uh the nightmare uh lets out a whinny and then uh like kind of burst into flame and gets sucked into you see um uh two spurs go skittering ah. across the ground and it gets sucked into those oh Whoa. but they're still there that's nice uh-oh. Yes. They are yeah. they're magical, they're not destroyed from stuff like that. So they are still there. <laughs> they are still there. And a silence falls over the fort as the firelight 
illuminates it not with dancing orange and red, but with pale pink and gold of sunrise, illuminating all the walls. Oh boy. Is everybody okay? <laughs> I'm Am fly. I still frightened? Nope. He's no, gone, man. Source of your okay. fear is gone. Your fear yeah. fades. Oh. oh, boy. Tell me that was everything. That was everything. Okay. I I hope so. I, I'm going to take a second to be like, uh, Hey, uh, Arcadios, if that wasn't the last of it, then... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was everything. Yay! Mm, good work. I see perhaps there is chance for you to be a hero after all. Wow. You know there are people out there who just give unconditional positive reinforcement, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm, go, I'm going to do some thinking about how to how to navigate this whole guardian angel thing because I don't. I don't yeah, know it's if not this a great is setup out. the way it is. No. <laughs> you do hear he says. Hmm. Ah. Almost forgot. Someone is coming to meet you. Mm. If I remember, you made a promise to someone. The um. Annoying one who speaks in your mind. Oh. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, of, of course, of course. Sorry. I thought you were thinking about uh, someone else who I, like, some other person. I thought there was this backstory stuff that I totally forgot about. <laughs> no. <for> a second. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> um. He goes, hmm. Well, let none think that a servant of La Thunder would go back on his word. Uh, and no, then you hear, um, very distantly, you hear. <laughs> The cry of an elephant. Oh, no. Oh. And you hear. And uh, from the sunlight uh, emerges, you see this golden mastodon, uh, like 15 feet tall. Jesus Christ. Uh, giant curved tusks, uh, angel angelic wings on its back. Um, <laughs> it walks up to you, uh, gets down on its knees. Uh, and produces from its, uh, it unfurls its trunk and produces uh, incense and four strips of ivory. <laughs> wow. Finbar, at one hit point, like yeah. charred up, laying on the ground, sees, the, I'm, I'm assuming you're still in your angel form, and then this elephant yeah. show up, she's like, so this is what dying's like. I. <laughs> that guy hit me yeah. harder than I uh, thought. Hans hears that is like, oh shit, Shaisa, fuck, 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 okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, and then runs over to, <laughs> runs over to Finbar, uh, and casts a uh, a fourth level uh, cure wounds, which is uh, forty eight uh, plus four. Oh man, awesome. Uh, there we go. That's a twenty. Nice. It's, okay. Uh, Little bit for, for, for the road. <laughs> All right. Oh, Fantastic. Okay. You did good, Hans. You did good. Oh. Thank you. All, oh. <laughs> all right. I, I don't know if I necessarily learned everything that I was supposed to, but I feel like I, uh, I'm not who I was when I stepped aboard your ship. Hmm. I'm certainly not who I was when I was uh, out on assignment uh, over by the Shadowfell, and I'm... Definitely not who I was when I ran away. It's the first sign of danger. So, uh, thank you all for that. I think well, your we journey is only is beginning. The... Yes. Does the sun merely rise and then stay where it is? No, it travels across the sky. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, well, you... with this kind of tone, the positive encouragement is a lot better. I think we can make good progress with this. Not so much the other stuff. Yeah, I hope he's not just trying to impress me while I'm hanging out in your head, because this I... is some real good stuff. I still don't know who he's talking to. So. I got nothing, man. Oh, you're not missing much. He's kind of a jerk. Danny's like there. poking yeah, around at the fun. ground trying to see if there's any like ashes left from either of the baddies that we just busted. Uh, they they smoked. Mm. The body parts turned. Well, the uh the, the, the nightmare went into the the spurs, and the bad guy's body turned to smoke and blew away. Mm -hmm. But are the spurs still here? Yep, spurs Good. are still there. 
Okay, we got weird magic hell horse spirit. Uh, spurs, I feel like maybe I we think. should give this to the new owner of this castle. In case you want a really sweet but evil ride. Well, for one thing, I don't really like horses. But for another, like, it does kind of seem oh, like yeah. maybe he had a whole heroic quest thing going on. And as someone who doesn't really believe in God, this is probably more his jam. That That's fair. I mean, Kiana, I won't does... deny you a flaming horse. I care about you way more than no, I care no, about no, no, hands. No, 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 no. But, like, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. The only riding animals I ever dealt with were giant spiders, and they sucked. Yeah, so. we have a motorcycle in the... Then the ship, I feel like maybe the horse can go to our heroic companion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I agree. Great. I'll, I'll oh, throw man. the okay. spurs at him. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best to catch. Uh, if if we're going to embarrass me by making me roll a deck save, I'll no, do it. No, no. I'll do you, it. You get him. Uh, you, you can add infernal moment. tack to your inventory if you want, but I wouldn't worry about it right now this moment. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the, oh, okay. the Hollyfin just sort of backs up and observes you guys and is just kind of standing there guard now at the front of the, the Is that the bastion. elephant? Yep. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. Can I can I commune with it in any way? Uh, how would you? Um, I don't know if there's like a mind link or if it speaks celestial. Uh, well, I could mind link I'll, with it, but... I'll just, I'll just try in, in celestial, like, um, thank you for the, the magic components. Um... Please let uh, the rest of the, the wandering souls and uh, maybe the, the thunder, if you can get in touch, that uh, this uh, this keep, the bastion of the Blessed Banner, has been yeah. uh, brought back to life by uh, Hans and the, the crew of the, uh, the Spelljammer. You never learned the name the of our ship, did you? Oh, oh there we go. No, no it's the Prospera. <laughs> yeah, he got it. It's, he got it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It says it's on the hard. side behind all the scratched off paint. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, um, I true. believe you owe us um, some. Yes. Oh, hold on, please. Very quickly, Danny. Uh, speaking like a wind chime, uh, the Hollyfin responds in Celestial. Oh, dear. Eh. Oh. Uh, it lets out a little giggle um, and then says, <laughs> Thank you for all your help clearing out the bastion. The risen angel appreciates what you did. It will not be forgotten. And she's sorry that you had to deal with her disgraced follower. Glad to, uh, glad to be, be useful. Maybe this, uh, this, uh, field, uh, excursion wasn't, uh, maybe it wasn't so terrible after all. Is that <laughs> elephant talking? I'm like, lean over. Yeah. It's yes. actually being extremely polite. <laughs> yeah. Very pleasant sounding. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let me put down the stuff and we can go do the spell yard. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. So Hans just like sits right down and <laughs> starts like laying out spell components, prepping uh, everything and and getting stuff ready for uh, for cast. And one of them, one of them, legend lores. Uh, you I, like the I don't incense. Know lay out the ivory sticks. Yeah. Um, Kiana, much like when you uh, spoke with Enoch that one time, uh, Hans has you sit across from him so that mm -hmm. you two are facing each other when he prepares the spell. Hmm. Uh, and Hans, uh, you offer you must offer a prayer to the Morning Lord to uh, for the spell to work. This, In fact, your, your spells are, are prayers. Uh, so what do you, to, to call upon wisdom to learn some secret knowledge, what do you say to Lavender? Yeah, so I'll, I'll, you know, open up my hands and I'll, I'll, uh, I don't think I can cast light on, on top of the, the legend lore spell. No, totally, go for it. Uh, <laughs> just like, you know, like a little light, uh, in each hand, like, uh, oh, great, uh, Dawn Father Lathander, uh, please, uh, as I have done a service to you, uh, and your kingdom of Mount Celestia, please, in this moment, help me help my new friend, oh. Kiana, to learn what it is that she seeks about... What am I casting this for? Is this is this for something or is this for you? This is on me, I think. <laughs> to, yeah, to, it's on her. So that Kiana can learn about uh, herself. I, I I don't ask questions. I just cast the spell. You'd so. think it wouldn't be this complicated, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, with the day we've had, I am not about to ask questions. Mm. <laughs> you can be tired. To the, I'm so tired. <laughs> to the other three of you, uh, it seems that sunlight seems to emanate from this spot. To the two of you. As you cast the spell, the world falls away from you, and you are floating in a dark void, lit only by distant stars that you can see on all sides of you. 
You stand across from each other, or rather float a few feet away, facing each other. Looking around, you see, uh, for lack of a better word, spirits drifting across this endless astral expanse. Some are shapeless, others are more defined. Uh, they come in blues and golds and in iridescence like greens and pinks. There's a sense among the both of you that you're watching a dramatization, a retelling, not events as exactly as they happened, but in a way for you both to understand them better. A ship emerges from deep in the silver void not entirely unlike the Peraspera, but smaller, uh, more humble, if any such thing could be said of a spelljammer. Uh, you see a mortal woman walks to the bow where one of these golden forms floats. She holds out her hand. It reaches back with a spiked arm. Everything fades away from view except for these two figures. A voice speaks out. The same voice coming from both of them simultaneously. I am a child of the astral, a being without body or form, only spirit. I am a child of the material, one soul bound to one form. You see a union between these two, their forms blur, they merge together, and the voice comes back. I am possessed of the material, able to walk in all worlds. I am possessed of an immortal soul bound to bloodline. We see the scene changes, the woman, we see her t uh, again, but this time a little older, tired, happy, holding a newborn uh, baby wrapped in blankets, um, uh, familiar kind of golden hair and eyes. Uh, before your eyes, this baby, he ages to an adult, um, stands tall, and then next to him, his son appears, ages, uh, those same golden hair and golden eyes, uh, and then his granddaughter next to him, and so on and so forth. We move rapidly through this line, down each person, uh, until finally we arrive at who we knew, know to be Kiana. Mm. Her form fades, leaving behind the golden form of the being that bound itself to her ancestry all those years ago. Clear as crystal, the uh, the shape of the face with the, the sort of jagged edges, um, the, the arms that you're familiar with, uh, a body that uh, has a torso but sort of fades away near the bottom, kind of uh, twisting into golden light. You hear that voice comes to you and speaks. It says, I am Suvi, and together we are Kiana. And I think that's probably where we'll end the episode. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. Lore. Wow. So Nowhere much. Nowhere in this happened. did anyone say Kalashtar. <laughs> <laughs> Kalashtar is the Eberron word. Oh, Kiana Suvi. Just like he's not a warforged here. Ah, oh, gotcha, you can gotcha. Use that as the last name if you wanted to. You don't have to you be Kiana, no name, name provided. You can be Kiana Suvi. <gasps> oh my goodness. Two characters with last names now. When will the rest uh, catch you up? We're slowly oh, y'all are grown up. I'm so oh, proud. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for sticking around for a very long episode. Thank you, Blue, uh, for oh, joining thank us. Thank you, players, for sticking thank you, Blue, yeah. for a very long episode, especially Blue. This was very fun. Thank you, thank you for, for bearing with me as I, uh, as I yeah, jump into I, your I hope... game. The absolute disaster that me as a player and a character am. <laughs> no, that was, was fantastic. No, that was great. Everyone had fun. It was, it was long combat at the if end. If you thought um, the party experienced a long combat the, the, the crew experienced quite a few yeah. of our own hurdles Ooh. in recording this episode Ooh. oh my god let's, not, let's not jinx tonight. it we're in the home stretch let's <laughs> not mess up hold on hold on wait definitely rolling with the one oh, wait blue had difficulty red had difficulty at the beginning yep wally had difficulties right yes Noir, the like, yeah. you had yeah. technical difficult you had difficulties with the fire alarm uh-huh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And Sophia's got to do all of it. I gotta fix it all. We almost got bingo. We almost got bingo. I'm sort of like the oh free space. Thank you guys so much for joining me. <laughs> uh, technically, you're so much for joining all of us. Oh, and uh, yeah, we were really rolling with difficulty tonight. Thank you yeah, so much. Wow. Uh, we'll catch you next time on the Astral Sea. Everyone, say goodbye Bye. so I can go to bed. Please. Yeah. Bye. 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 I'm so Bye. sorry. I'm so sorry. The fight that you orchestrated that was a living nightmare. I'm sorry that it kept you up past your bedtime. Bye. That must oh, be so hard. It was way less less nightmares than the last one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>
right. All right. Mm, no, no, this one was actually yeah. much harder. Okay, bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophia, a.k.a. Danny, and thank you for listening to this week's episode of Rolling with Difficulty. If you have any questions for the show, feel free to tweet at us, hit us up on Instagram, or email the program directly at rollwithdifficulty at gmail.com. Rolling with Difficulty is now available on YouTube. Check out our video offerings for battle maps alongside the regular uploads, and if you enjoyed the show, please rate us and leave a review on your preferred podcast platform, or comment on YouTube. And we'll catch you next week for another adventure.